Hey, hey. Me. this is <laughs> this is comic burrito. A live stream. I'm Todd. I'm Nick. He's boobs. <laughs> Great start. <clears throat> oh, hi, Flash Ray. What's up, everybody? It's Sam. And hi, Sam. Steve. It's Steve. Hey, hey. Saturday nights are all right for fighting. Yeah. Am I too green? I feel like I'm too green. Impossible. Okay. I, ask, I don't care. <clears throat> What's going on? Not much. How you doing? Good. I feel like uh, I feel like I haven't done this in a really long time for some reason. I don't know. It was. It felt like a really long week and really long day today. Yeah, it's like it's been since. I got a lot done. I got my garage cleaned up. My wife asked me to do that. Like I don't know, like six months ago. So got it done pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's good. Can, we can park our uh, car in our garage, um, which is nice because then when the plow service comes to remove all the snow we're getting, they can actually clear the whole driveway. Nice. Hey, King Paul. Fun. Hey, Frank. What's up? Um, so we have a very exciting episode today. We're gonna, we'll talk a little bit of comics, wait for our guests to trickle in, and then, uh, well, one of two, but... Um, I do, uh, since it's obvious what we're doing, we're going to have a, a, a good old-fashioned uh, hoot and Annie debate about uh, Kong versus Godzilla. Um, obviously, one's the answer, but it's fine. We'll still just call it a yeah, debate. We all, yeah, there's yeah, one. We all know, we all know rah, who's yeah. right. Um, <laughs> but what's really exciting is I, got, um, I talked to Warner Brothers earlier, and oh. uh, they said that uh, I could use the trailer. Which is really oh. exciting for them, but they said that I have to do a um, just make it my own cut, do a burrito, release the burrito cut, release the burrito cut right now. Yes. Um, oh. So to get everybody hyped and everything, I'm really excited to show you. Uh, so just to get pumped for it and everything uh, for the debate and for the movie. Um, yeah, we'll just, I'll just play that now. So sit back, get ready. <laughs> I'm wow. so excited. Wow. I'm, I'm I'm hype. You know, I can't, believe, minute, they us, I can't believe they let us show that on you. Know, for a minute, I thought it was going to be that clip uh, that um, uh, what's his name, Ant Man plays Paul <laughs> yeah. Rudd. Oh, Paul, it's the falling guy. Out. Yeah, uh, yeah, Mac and Me. I think yeah. it was uh, something like yep, that. Yeah, the Mac and Me. Oh, so uh, good. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, what's uh so it's yeah I'm, I'm very excited about it. it looks great the uh the effects are pretty amazing it looks like real the effects are amazing yes thank you steve King. <laughs> yeah it's, it's pretty incredible what they got going on over there well there goes our whole budget for the entire year well warner brothers sponsored is well thanks warner brothers yeah it was very nice of you guys <laughs> <Thanks again. laughs> i'll mark this episode uh with paid promotion <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, so um, I don't know how much we can talk some comics or, uh, we do. Oh, I do want to say we had our black hammer thing ended today. Oh, I don't yeah, know yeah. how long this discussion will be. Um, but, uh, we finished volume one. It's we'll probably talk about that for the next couple of days on the discord. Um, and then more after, uh, if this debate is basically never ending though. So we might be on here for the next like three days. Um, so it's going to be tough, yeah. but maybe afterwards we'll talk about Black Hammer. <laughs> sure, but that's a really good book. It's really fun to reread. It's a really yeah, I, when I started it, I couldn't even really remember what happened. So yeah, it, it had been oh, a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And each time I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then the only problem was that I, uh, I procrastinated, but then I finished early this morning, and I just wanted to start Arc Two. Mm -hmm. Um but I didn't want to start reading it because then tonight 
or in the next couple of days, I wouldn't know where to wear the mark off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, no, I won't. But, but yeah, because after the second arc, I think is where I start to get to some stuff that I haven't read yet. Pick the wrong way. Stop sniffing. Oh, hey, dad. <laughs> oh, Ver, uh, Vern, where do you lie between um, Godzilla and King Kong? I'd like, to, I'd like well, to know. We're, I mean, let's be fair. Even if you have an opinion, uh, our our guests that we're going to introduce, uh, they will possibly completely convert you. Uh, Maybe. Well, that's why I, I kind of want to know where everyone stands now. Yeah. At the end, I did set up a straw poll. So at the end, we will do a uh, straw poll for... Uh, nice. Who would who, who's better? Who would win in a fight? I think is what I put. But I, I had know. a I, I tweeted a poll, but I I highly doubt I could find it. <laughs> so without further <laughs> ado, to dig in, uh, our two uh, correspondents in the field of kaiju, uh, <laughs> we have leading experts, leading experts for a very special drive through. <laughs> Anthony Cleveland. Hey. On. <laughs> what what an incredible graphic that was. That was really Should we, that's should we play it again? Like, yeah, should, let's do it. Let's run do, it back. Let's run it back. Run yeah. it back. One more one more All time. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice they were driving the first time. Like, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. that's why you got to get the rewatch. Yeah. Yeah. You really <clears throat> get in the whole um, story when you watch it a second time. <laughs> yes. All the Thanks subtle Thanks for joining nuances. us, guys. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks for having me and also Anthony, I guess, you know. like. <laughs> 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 it lag, sorry. So, no, yeah, that drive through took... I mean, I spent halves of hours on that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, I feel like we're on appropriate sides. Um, if, but if you want to uh, introduce yourselves, say what your like, what you've comics you got going on, and then uh, opening remarks about why the other person's opinion is stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll start. Um, I'm Jared Luhan. Uh, I I'm a writer. I wrote uh, Thrivelet for Mad Kids Studios. Yeah, it's that one right there. Um, I don't... Yeah, in the frame one. Yeah, first yeah. title. Yeah, it's really good. It's a really good book. The trade comes out February 24th. You check out. Um, yeah, wait, what are we doing over here? Oh. Sorry, I thought... Oh, oh, there we go. Yay! So, uh, I am, I'm obviously Team Godzilla, uh, but I don't like, I, yeah, I, I think, like, Godzilla is a walking nuclear reactor that, uh, can breathe fire, and, uh, is, 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 like, I don't know, man, Kong had to, had to get his weight up, you know, like, he's already fighting out of his weight class, so, I, I, I don't, I don't really know, but anyway, that's my opening stuff. Am I going? Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I like I'm the like, I was listening to her like, that's some bullshit. No. <laughs> I thought you were going to come in and just like, nah. <laughs> just, uh, Anthony, <laughs> I'm Anthony Cleveland. I wrote uh, Stargazer and Chosen. Uh, Stargazer still going, wrapping. Not this month. Next month. There's a delay. Sorry, guys. Early next month. Um, Never I'm here for the Get king. Here. Yeah, I'm here for the, I'm here for the king. I don't know. Like, I think about like that, like nu walking nuclear reactor thing a lot, and it's like he's going to turn him into a Chernobyl. He's going to turn him into a Three Mile Island. That's what my king's going to do to him. These things melt. Know. These things fail. They melt down. They're not reliable. In, in the last, I don't know if, if 
Well, seeing King of Monsters, he was definitely walking around Chernobyling all of Boston, right? Like, and he was fine. He was with just Mothra's like, help. With Mothra's help, he didn't do that on his own. He, she, she's fair. dead now. She's dead. She ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> but it was against Ghidorah, right? Which, like, Ghidorah is like a whole different beast than King Kong, right? King Kong is basically a monkey who uh, has spent like the last apparently couple of years eating a lot of protein and benching fucking weight, you know? Juicing. Well, well let me stop you there. He's an ape, not a monkey. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's a pejorative like, germ. Like, that's the thing. Like, We'll see how he got that size. In the last movie, this this piece of shit that's on, he, <laughs> he uh, ate lightning. <laughs> yeah. he, drank, he drank a bunch of berry booze, and that's how he was able to... I don't know. I don't... He, does anyone remember this movie? Like he kind of beats Godzilla, but like it doesn't really show it. Like he just kind of walks off in the ocean. Like it's a long fucking walk, but here you go. Yeah. He, Godzilla kind of just swims off at the end of the at the end of it, right? He just kind of like okay, well, because he. If, I'm talking about saying Kong like absorb. He, like you're saying he absorbs lightning and he uses some newfound lightning powers to beat him or something like that. Yeah, it's like uh, he like chew. I just saw him chewing on power lines. It's been a minute since I watched this one, but I just remember it being shit. It's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I not, like not as, not as bad as the last Godzilla movie though. I oh, oh because that last King Kong was so good. Was I, it on Island? Yeah, it was really good. It was. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Only, only one of these characters have a movie that includes Jack Black. So let's 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 not forget that, right? That's it's I swear to God, there's a King Kong movie that came out before this one. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Jack's remake. What's wrong with that? I it, he did a it's not school of rock, dog. Like it's not <laughs> John C. Riley and the other one. We got uh, uh what's her face and we got we got Loki. Yeah, we got we what's got, her face. Uh yeah. I don't like Marvel movies. Damn it. Uh, Samuel Jackson. No, yeah, yeah. Um, that was good. He's Marvel. Okay. Captain Marvel. She's in it too. Brie Larson. Brie Larson. Thank you. I don't know what is the issue with King of Monsters was though, because it was like a self-aware. I don't I don't watch Godzilla movies because I want like a a strong like examination of the human existence, like the human <laughs> dilemma, you know? I watch it so I can watch monsters fuck each other up. And that's mm -hmm. what it was. It was dope. That's what we got. No, yeah. it just yeah, it was just. That's why Anthony writes Stargazer, and I write Mar Mexicans with swords. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I still liked it. I still liked King of the Monsters. They were all right. I better. I liked them more than Godzilla. I don't know the first. Godzilla one. got Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. There we go. I was like, give me some more names. <laughs> um, uh, God, I can never remember his name. Walter White. Oh yeah, Brian you got, you got him. Yeah, Brian Grace. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. Yeah. yeah, see, see, look at the star power that Godzilla brings in. <laughs> we've only had yeah. one, though. We've only had one movie since uh, the MonsterVerse, and we've it's pretty stacked in the first film. You had to do it. Well, it's because it's you because King Kong, movies. King Kong is such like a. It needs more pizzazz. For people to be invested, whereas Godzilla doesn't need a supporting cast. Godzilla is just Godzilla. King Kong's like, wow, this guy is really boring. We should probably get Samuel Jackson. Do you so, think he would do it? No, you guys need a supporting cast and a script. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a good dig. Um, I have nothing for that. Atomic breath. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the one, yeah. But then, like, it shows it in the trailer. Like, he's got the... Kong's got the dorsal plate he ripped off. But it's like... I'm going to jump sides for a second, is if that's okay. It's like... There yeah, are new rules. <laughs> Godzilla, or King Kong could definitely take Godzilla if he has a battle axe made from the, this plate and Godzilla is shooting his <laughs> fire breath onto that plate while he's jumping through the air. Yes, God, King Kong has a chance then. Yeah. You know, I do want to point out in that trailer that even even Kong got a cool guy jumping away from the explosion thing. <laughs> yeah. it, it it almost looks goofy, but it's just like the sort of goofy I find really entertaining because he's just like this big ass ape. <laughs> just... 
<laughs> just arms up, jumping, and then just big atomic <laughs> behind him. Um, I do think that the battle axe thing was super weird. Uh, to be fair, like if it's a, you know you don't bring a knife to a, a fist fight, you know. I'm on board with it. It's you know I think both have like X factors. Godzilla is his X factor is like we don't know all of his abilities. Um, I mean, just think about Shin Godzilla when he's shooting lasers out of his back. And then in the last Godzilla movie when he uh, became like what? Meltdown Godzilla, pretty yeah. much. We haven't seen that since uh, Destroya. Um, Shin Godzilla guess- was dope, by the way. If anybody hasn't seen that, that's a really, really dope, weird Godzilla movie. Yeah. Which it's one? Like Godzilla Shin- versus Destroya. Oh, Shin, Shin Godzilla, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Both are weird. Both are weird. Like I, I am all for AP using tools. I that happened in uh, I think it was Son of Kong where he grabbed a tree and like ripped all the branches off and then it was like batters up and yeah I'm I'm all for that. So the the axe thing it'll be interesting to see what happens. Like did it fall off during their fight or or yeah. what? But uh, I'm I'm definitely all for that evolution part of the character yeah they, I, they, go ahead i don't know who's talking I, I desperately hope there's a montage of kong fastening this axe from a, a fin of godzilla oh you know, yeah like they're they're, they're playing the up. best around and he's benching <laughs> weights in a cave and i think yeah. a training montage to explain why he bulked so much would be great like he's like climbing tall buildings up and down a lot and like <laughs> lifting, like throwing a lot of school buses and things, but they give yeah. them just like this little like land to train on to beat up Godzilla. And then there's just a little girl in the middle. Touching oh, like, a, like a stitched, <laughs> like a stitched together Godzilla uh, <laughs> yes. that, he's, that he's punching. He's punching. <laughs> yeah. And then, it, and then he, hit, and then he does the little the Superman punch and it breaks off the rope. Yes. What would be <laughs> his, that's how he knows what he's would ready. be his like um, cow carcass equivalent, like a blue whale. He's yeah. Like, punching <laughs> a blue whale beefing up. <laughs> Walking around Skull Island with two shake weights, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Did anybody read the Skull Island books? Not the books, no. I the read book, the graphic novels. Uh, yeah, I me too. yeah I, I got the first one inside, and I'm flipping through it. Like, how does this motherfucker get so big? <laughs> Is there any secrets in here? But even even those apes in there, like the like his parents, like they're not you know giant like they are now. I don't know. Well, they said in Skull Island, they said he was just a baby. Right, they said he's yeah. still growing. Because it, since it's the new, new start, they're they're basically just saying he was gonna be this size all along. Yeah, they're like, but there's there's that. there's no explanation, so they're just like, let's just. They could have though. They could have like had the first fight, and then maybe some of the nuclear energy from Godzilla. Yeah, he should like, have been and, born and in. He, grew, he was like, born in a zoo in Tokyo or something like that. Yeah, and then probably. Godzilla attacked, and he was born. It's kind of like Blade, but <laughs> King Kong and Godzilla. <laughs> he would have. You can't have the first fight with him that size. He would have gotten stomped. Like yeah, he would have. <laughs> this is that balloon part I was talking about beforehand. Oh my god, they're shipping him out with balloons. <laughs> they're shipping him out with balloons. <laughs> 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 oh, I wish they were all saluting him. That'd be so. That'd be so great. <laughs> yes. Thanks, King Kong. <laughs> and he's just drunk, passed out right now. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So I think they, I think they gassed him this time before. He likes, he likes the party. That's how we get Nick to the streams, which is yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the only way I want to travel from now on. I really hate playing <laughs> my balloons. Yes. Uh, you get super drunk, and then we just string balloons on you, and just. I'm just I just want to push be, you in the direction you needed to go. I just want to be floating on a balloon, spread eagle through the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's the American dream, right there. That's what yeah. we all strive for: spread eagle balloon flight. <laughs> so, like realistically, though, Godzilla and Kong in an ocean, like that—that—that's—that's that's like 
all sorts of advantage Godzilla, right? Like the man, it would just, I don't go into a swamp looking for alligators for the same reason. I don't want to get fucking death rolled. Yeah, like there's, I don't know where he would be able to escape or how he's going to get away from that. Um, uh, maybe a battleship will fall on Godzilla's head and give him an ouchie. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Like That's going to be probably their first fight. Maybe get the dorsal plate and then assemble the axe in his cave in the montage. <laughs> yeah. That Tokyo, maybe, is it, it could Tokyo be just right? offshore. Maybe that's close to shore and like his jump was like getting to like shallower water and he just like trucks uh, into a city. <laughs> this is not my anti uh, King Kong thing, but that was not a, a big jump. <laughs> that was a that was a very large mammal making a last ditch like a like a six foot jump, you know? <laughs> it's, yes. But if the, it's six foot for King Kong though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang, he just swung up on him. Oh, look at him tumble. That's he, so they, bad. He articulated legs that aren't moving. <laughs> yeah, they use, like, fake, like, I don't know, puppets to roll down hills. Then they use stop motion. And then they use guys in suits. And then, like, there's one scene, you, if you watch, they're on a mountain, and they're just, there's just guys with action figures bumping each other. It's real quick, but it's in here. Amazing. It's fucking terrible. That's, that's incredible, actually. <laughs> that's how I want to make comics. I'm just going to draw... Anytime an artist asks me for layouts, I'm just going to do like, all right, the action figures. They're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You storyboard with pictures of you hitting <laughs> action figures together. And it's never going to be just the action figures. It's going to be a picture of me with them, right? So I'm in the yeah. background, like looking lovingly at the scene, you know? <laughs> yeah, with their tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> How do you make the kung fu work? <laughs> yeah, that's how to get blacklisted from comics really quick. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in for it. Hey, random J Justin Birch run in. Hi, Justin Birch. Justin. Justin. Hey, hey. Justin Birch does a couple of Mad Cave books like you guys. <laughs> God, he does like all of them. Yes, he does. <laughs> it's like all of them. Every time we have like a, I, I zoom with Justin every now and then, and uh, he's like always doing a book. <laughs> like it could be like nine o'clock on a Thursday, and he's he's working well, he's, on a book. He's working right now. He just <laughs> well, he's on. He's probably on Two Brothers stream right now, yeah. whilst working, whilst running in with us. <laughs> I gotta text him and get his opinion on this. That's what. That's what. That's that's who we need to ask. Is is uh, Justin Birch on who's who's the where are we at here? You know, he he would be another expert to uh, to confer with. So, oh. okay, so you both believe that they're better and that they would win in a fight. I'm assuming it's not just you're like King Kong's cooler. Yeah, you also believe that he would beat Godzilla in a fight. Um. I don't know if I would say beat him in a fight. I mean, it's going to be... It, it's like when you talk about Batman, it's like, if he has time to prep, he's going to fuck him off. <laughs> Kong yeah. has time to prep. Yeah, Kong has time to prep. And how much time does Kong have to prep? He's got one he week. <laughs> can he, can he make an axe out of a... <laughs> does he have time to put that together? Anthony just did the best, the, the, the best impression of every DC comment section of all time. Like, it just... Just nailed it on the on the. So like I don't know like if there's prep time if there's like open ground, I don't see King Kong walking away from that. Um, especially if it's their first encounter, like that water battle is going to be pretty interesting to see how he gets away from that. Um, I'm sure it's going to be accidental. Like I said, something's going to happen to Godzilla. He's not going to win and walk away. It's going to be like oh, I'm going to slink away. I'm going to run away. Bye. Right. <laughs> See you in Tokyo. Like he does he fall asleep like he's doing right now behind you? Yeah, he looks like he's, he's, he's just falls him. asleep and then Godzilla just kicks rocks at him instead of like doing something that can actually do something. I really oh, like that kicking rocks now, my that's, God. Yeah. That's how you show disrespect to your opponent, you know? It's his wrestling. They do like yeah, that's that's he's he's him with his tail. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, now tail bash. Oh, tail whip. That's really good at lowering. Um, 
what does Tail Whip do? Lower defenses, I think, in Pokemon. It does, it does lower defenses. Yeah, There's Tail Whip. Yeah, that was good. Oh, that's uh, a person rolling, I think, that time. So, like, I think, I think King Kong. I think Kong's probably smarter than Godzilla, right? Like, I think that there's like an intelligence difference there. Um, that that he's probably got the advantage, and like making a tool, even though it's maybe not like the coolest thing to roll up to a knife fight with a gun, is definitely the smarter plan. That's how you win the knife fight, right? But uh, I definitely think that in terms of like just brawn and ability and raw ability, I definitely think uh, it's Godzilla, like for sure. And in, in a back alley, you walk into the wrong alley, motherfucker. You know, like it's it's a it's a rough time. If he, if yeah, I he, mean, if your if your opponent can blast like radiation, and you're only bringing an axe, I think that's a poor decision. <laughs> I know you keep saying like bring a gun to a knife fight, but he like literally shoots like nuclear lasers out of his mouth. Like <laughs> it's it's not like he's uh, just a big lizard or anything. Like if you got, start a if you start a fight with someone who has mad hands, <laughs> yeah. like it's not like, oh man, it sucks. Like you should have brought something because you got your ass whooped. No, it's still like it's not like he's bringing something additional. It's not Godzilla's fault he was born with fire coming out of his lungs. You know, was he born with it? No. <laughs> like that's the thing. If he runs out of it, or if it stops for some reason, um, it's gonna be Kong. Like if that atomic breath goes away. Um, yeah, Kong is going to get my complete... Do we know like, if this current iteration of Godzilla can use up his uh, breath powers? It's <laughs> never been off, clear. Yeah, off screen with that one. I don't know. So that'll be interesting because this could be the debut of like <coughs> Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> weaker or something like that. Yeah. And, I mean, like, we, we've seen him drain... In the last movie, he was drained of power. That's why he had to go to the temple and eat yeah. your vegetables out shoves this freaking in his yeah. mouth. Uh, she had to go to the <laughs> temple. And, um, but yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Did we'll he see run that. out of power so much as just like get his ass whooped and just needed a nap? He got, you know, the oxygen. Yeah, he was hurt, right? right? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. And he walked away this time for some reason. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quick note. Uh, if you're a military professional and you're developing a weapon called the oxygen destroyer, Maybe just stop. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> just, just shell that all that whole idea. <laughs> it's like the, the water. It's, it's the water thing from Batman Begins. Like you assholes, you literally just went through with developing this. <laughs> what the hell? That's terrible. There is no good application for this. You're just dicks. Yeah, like, exactly. You're just being a bad person. <laughs> They developed it for desert warfare. It's like dehydration in the desert. Great. Ooh, also, apparently, it doesn't affect the water in people for some reason. Yeah, right. right. It seems like it would Thank microwave God. people. <laughs> yeah. That would have been, that been really trying to do. Bored. They were disappointed by this that, one. That could have been a really cool moment in the movie. When everyone <laughs> in Gotham just, explodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The first time we watched uh, King of Monsters in theater, I was watching with my wife, and uh, the guy comes on the screen and he's like, "All right, we're gonna unveil a new weapon against them. Pull back! It's gonna the oxygen destroyer." And I looked at my wife and I was like, "Did that motherfucker just say the oxygen destroyer? Like, who who in the Department of Defense is funding the oxygen destroyer?" <laughs> What what where's the secretary of defense right now? Like someone we need to have a conversation. Like <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta call it something fancy, you know? Apparently gorilla fur is highly flammable, according to Sam King. I agree. He I, should I, he should it should he should have to pat himself. I'm gonna off need to see a source on that. Is Does your hair flammable? No. Got a hair spray no. <laughs> I mean <laughs> No. <laughs> Hold up a lighter to your head, Nick. There's your source. Fur, yeah. fur isn't. Fur isn't. That's why they have um, uh, fire dogs that just run into burning buildings because they're fire retardant. Yeah. <laughs> like wool doesn't burn. But like, it does uh, with enough time. It'll, it'll like melt and shit, sure. But it doesn't like burn. So it's worse. It's not, it's not flammable. <clears throat> 
I had literally never considered it. Okay. And then also, apparently, uh, Godzilla's second has North Korea's second rate new, which, by the way, El Crudo Manny couldn't be more biased in this in the least with his dope orangutan comic book. <laughs> <laughs> he is Team Ape, like at none other. That's oh, let's do Sam King has great ideas for once again going let's to jail but that. getting results. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Asbestos is inflammable. <laughs> so Godzilla has asbestos armor on. Yeah. Genius. That's a, a, a king has got to have armor, right? Wasn't original Godzilla skin made, like, repre- was re- representative of the people who were um, actually, like, hit by a nuclear bomb in Japan? Yeah, Hiroshima survivors. See, it's that kind of shit that's like, how does just a big ape beat somebody who represents humanity's worst? And it's not like King Kong represents like humanity's best. He's just a big gorilla. (laughs) Whereas Godzilla is like, is messed up. (laughs) There's a lot of, go ahead, go Jared, sorry. Sorry, no, you're you're good. I just want to add in real quick. King Kong does represent humanity's worst because his first few iterations were him just kidnapping women. There's okay, a lot that's of, there's great. A, there's a lot of ground like the worst. It's nuking people. white people coming yeah. and chaining him and bringing him away and putting him on display. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, he's chasing after white women. There's a lot of things going on in there that they were definitely like oh, pointing at. Like with the, I, the, the like, all black. Symbolism and stuff. There's symbolism in King Kong, 100%. For sure. No, I get that there's it's symbolism. It's very bad. But, yes. God, but Godzilla is a nuclear bomb in a lizard who shoots said lightning, fire, whatever you want to go with. And it's like a big gorilla who, yeah, does has some uh, rough symbolism, but he doesn't also come with anything extra. He's just a very large gorilla who represents some darker sides of humanity. Whereas Godzilla's like, fuck your shit. I'm going to just blow it up. Godzilla's more like nature's response. Like, yeah, yeah it's the backlash. That's, that's what Godzilla is. Um, I think King Kong's like a mix of just like man's rage. I don't know, kind of personified in a gorilla. Like it's, it's lust, it's anger, um, envy, fear, fear, for sure. Fear. Um, but yeah, and like dominance, wanting to be the king and shit like that. Um, and it, I think that's what it's kind of about when we meet like someone that can um, put us on our ass like that. That's everything that we are, you know, I guess. Yeah. Always We're both good. Kong as like sort of like a, a pride, like he, he's really, and I'm not, I'm not saying this in like a, a positive way. And I don't want to interpret that, that like that. But it's sort of like a, a primal analog, you know, like where, whereas. King Kong is, is sort of, or I'm sorry, Godzilla is sort of like a reflection of man's uh, fear of nature and its and its retribution. Kong is more of a fear of itself and, yeah. and its primal origin. Yeah. Um, you know, we all, everybody, it's not like Darwinism didn't exist beforehand and mm-hmm. colonization didn't, it, it, it's all existed within this bubble, you know? Um, yeah. And that's why I really like I, I do I do like Kong. You know, he's not as good as Godzilla. Obviously. I mean, I think I think everybody likes the other side too. Like, it's, I, I, yeah, don't, it's I don't I don't I don't think I don't I don't actually like dislike Godzilla. I like all the Godzilla movies that I watched. I I, yeah. I watched the original, and it I, it might have been the first time I've ever watched it uh, last week, and it was like this is really good for a movie that came out in the was it the fifties. The first Godzilla, yeah, fifties, fifty three, I think, or something like that. And it was like I watched it, and I'm like, this is like a solid seven, eight out of ten movie as is. Like, no, there's there's no nostalgia or anything, you know, helping it out for me or anything. It was like this is just this is a good movie. <laughs> and, and just consider, like, I think the really cool part of that, like, not not to to sort of bring it back to what Anthony was making, the point that he was making. They made that movie 10 years after the first nuclear bombing in human history. You know? That's wild. And I, I, I'm, I'm always here to watch a big lizard blow some shit up. But to, to make a movie of, like, that concept 
10 years from from Japan, 10 years after you experienced by mm-hmm. far one of the worst human tragedies in history is is nuts. It's just a creative like a uh, nuts. It's just bonkers. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's movies. It's one of those things where it's like you, we have a lot of movies that represent some of the worst things that's ever happened. Like Shin this is amazing. Yeah. It's not from 10 years after it happened. The fact that like society was able to it's really cool that it was able to take that and be like, we're going to do something fun with it. That's tough. That mm-hmm. would be such a hard concept just 10 years later, making something for entertainment. It wasn't like a PSA or anything like that. They did a big monster thing and it was, yeah, Wait, I agree. I'm, it's tough. I'm sorry. How was yeah. that shot, Nick? I saw that. I yeah. saw that. <laughs> so, it's a really cool. Yeah, there it is. It's a really, <laughs> it's a really cool bottle, right? It is. Yeah. That is that is cool maybe bread. the worst vodka <laughs> I've ever had in my life. That's why they put it in bottles like that because you won't buy yeah. it. I'm still gonna buy a couple more of these so that I have like a full set, but I don't think I'm gonna drink them. I'm for sure gonna mix it with something because that. Oh. Have you guys ever had MD? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to wash it down with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. I got that. Repping both sides over here. Hell yeah. yeah. Have you guys ever had MD 2020? MD 2020. Mm-mm. That mm-hmm. is the most. I when I was a a younger man, uh, MD 2020 was a uh, my drink of was my drink of oh I can score this. And it was the worst thing of all time. It was disgusting, and it was it. It's yeah, I have whole, nothing but war stories. Isn't that like yeah, really there's someone wine someone wine. in the chat drink. Yeah, mine dude. mine really, was really uh, mine was five o'clock. That was my garbage grossness. Oof. There's the also apparently the worst thing that ever happened. 1997 Godzilla is the worst. <laughs> Thanks, bearded. That's the one with all the eggs and uh, yeah. That's, that was my childhood Godzilla. Um, I but it did have a really good song by Puff Daddy. Yeah, it did. And it uh, the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you want to rewind that and pause that, Anthony? Did you see that? You should it's rewind the, that. I'll put it on solo so we can read it. It's the colorized version of King Kong. I've had this for all these years, and I didn't know it was the fucking color version. Yeah, that. that's wild. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, that's weird. Oh, the whole thing's like that too. Oh, that's weird. Oh, oh! Look at that! It's colors. Well, weird. It's like a, it's like a colored Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not right, man. Uh, that I was eight years old when 1997 Godzilla came out. I loved that movie. It it is like my first Godzilla movie that I ever watched. I got the novelization of that book. Ooh. I, I love this that. so much. I got you know those really cheap novelizations where they're like the cheap paperbacks where it's like seven dollars, maybe six dollars at the time. I had that and I laminated the cover <laughs> because I loved it so much. I tried to find it somewhere in my house. I have a laminated novelization of the 1997 Godzilla movie. Uh, I will fight tooth and nail that that was a good movie. I know objectively that it's not, but I love <laughs> that movie. I think if I he it. had atomic breath and didn't lay eggs, I think people would like it more. I think it's, it's, missing. it's like, why fine. didn't you give it that? Like, yeah. it, it was, it, you were very close to just having like a good, stupid movie. There's no and excuse. Like, I feel like they thought that it was it's going Hollywood. to be Hollywood. Give them lasers. <laughs> no, they, they thought it was going to be better. They were like, we're going to save that for the sequel. Yeah, oh, it'll God. level up oh, and the kids oh, will have it. Oh, and yeah. The babies will have it. It'll be fun. Like, no, no, no. Lasers, no. That would never happen. He, no. he would never. Just, just try oh, this. Someone was fired. That would they were be like, crazy. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I, uh, we're talking giant lizards here. What are <laughs> you, stupid? I, I had a – my uncle – uh, this is a really, really funny story just because my, my uncle is like – my uncle Brad was like this really – nerdy passionate guy um when i was like when 97 godzilla came out i was like seven or eight years old 
and I was like super about it, right? Because like Todd, it was my first, it was my first real Godzilla movie at that time. I saw it in theaters; it blew my fucking mind. I was crazy about it, and uh, it was like all I talked about for like three months, you know. Yeah. And I saw my uncle at a at something for Christmas, and I was telling him about it, and he was like, "Oh, so like you're into Godzilla?" And I was like, "Yeah." And I was, keep in mind, I was like eight years old, right? And he goes, so have you ever heard of King Ghidorah? And I was like, no. And he goes, well, you don't really know shit about Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks away. He doesn't help you learn anymore. He's just done. Yeah. Like, and that was the last time old. I ever saw him. <laughs> <laughs> eight years old appalled. <laughs> you stupid kid. There was a... Uh... One day my daughter came home from preschool and she's just like sad, like on the verge of tears. And I'm like, well, what's wrong? And she's like, nobody at preschool wanted to play with me anymore. And I'm like, okay, well, what happened? She's like, they didn't want to play my game. I'm like, what game were you playing? She's like, King Ghidorah. <laughs> <laughs> she explains it. It's, you know, three of them hold hands and then the ones at the end flap their wings and each one is a head and they run around the gym like that. Oh, that's amazing. That's a creative game. What a good game. <laughs> she said, yeah, they didn't want to play with her anymore. I'm like, well, how often do you guys play that? We used to play it every day. <laughs> like, this is <laughs> every day. In the middle of the school year. I'm like, well, maybe it's time, like, we start another game then. Maybe they ask them what they want to play. Because I'm sure they're not just bringing up, like, Eudora. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'll never forget that. <clears throat> maybe they want to play Mothra or Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, it's just other <laughs> Yeah. Do you get do you guys think Mecca is gonna be in the movie? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Because I've I've seen there's like I a blurry be, still from the first Terminator where it's and like it, the fist coming up and it's Mecha Godzilla like rising out of lava or something. <laughs> it just seems like people are so sure from that that I mean, quick clip, but it I can confirm it if you want. Spoilers. Oh, I guess what? I already said I can. I think I confirm. Yeah. I guess I kind of. Did you it. just? Didn't you just do that? <laughs> he could confirm that it's not. Yeah, <laughs> I, messaged, I messaged Jared about it as soon as I saw it, but there was a, a toy leak, and one of the toys was. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. nice. Cool. No, that's, that's super cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Everything uh, about the the direction of these films and. Like from like, I mean, we've talked about like the intricacies and the and the heaviness of Godzilla, but like the way that it is in these films, where it's kind of like oh, big lizard, like everything about it has been a commitment to the 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 batshit crazy part of it. And mm -hmm. Mecha Godzilla, I think we you and I even talked about it, Anthony, about it being Jet Jaguar. Um, yeah. There's a commitment, like yeah, you gotta go that you gotta go that next level and just do it. I, I would love to see something throw back to him. I guess the Netflix anime has them in it, the new one, whatever that's called. Can we see get like goes. suited up Kong then? They, like there's another, a Mecha like, Kong. Yeah, exactly. But Mecha I don't Kong. see them going full Mecha Kong. Oh no. Jared, yeah. this is when you talk shit. <laughs> oh no. Because he just dropped out. <laughs> Well, it says device not connected, so something happened. Yeah, I'm assuming he'll come back. Yeah, but I would love to see. I would love to see Mecha Kong. I don't see them doing Mecha Kong and Mecha Godzilla. I don't no. see that being something they do. But I do. I could see a. Um, there it is. Hey, I could see a Mecha Godzilla versus like a leveled up Kong, like using the Godzilla carcass. Yeah. Or doing something to like upgrade himself in some way, I think that'd be cool. What, what is the Mecha Mecha Kong. What's Mecha Godzilla? Mecha Mechazilla? Is that what is it called? Mecha Godzilla. Mecha, Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. What's, what's the what? What is? Because I, I didn't get. I was trying to watch through all the films. I didn't get to it. But what? What is that? Is that like the government developed a robot to fight him? Or in the nineties, okay. that's what it was. In the original. That's what I I think um, I don't know. Am I right, Jared? Is that aliens? Yeah, I think, right? it, was, I yeah. think it was. I, yeah, it was aliens. Yeah, it was aliens. Them's aliens. Aliens made the yeah. robot. They made a 
at first it was like uh, it looked like Godzilla, but then like when he got into a battle with the real Godzilla, there was like a chip underneath it. You can see yeah, it was shiny. It started like spray. It did the the classic. Yeah, you could see underneath it. Yeah, it was like a Terminator. Yeah. Godzilla Terminator. Yeah, yeah. yeah you nice. get like the, the eye <laughs> that's just glowing yeah. red. Mecha Godzilla, I think, is my favorite Godzilla. There was another Mecha Godzilla in the thousands. That was also built by the government, but they used Godzilla skeleton as Genius. like the frame, and they built um, so good. the metal around. <laughs> that doesn't it make, it got, doesn't make any original, sense. The original, it's the original Godzilla. The original Godzilla spirit took hold of that Mecha Godzilla and became evil. Yes, Godzilla. <laughs> so good. Fun. That's why There's you someone... don't use bones to make your robots, because ghosts can then take it over. I, I, that is like the best. Duh. That is a, a plot I wish I thought of. That, <laughs> <laughs> his soul is gonna take control of the robot. What a, what a fucking act of brilliance! You know, it is. It is. It's too bad. It's like a mainstay thing. Because I mean, you could rip it off easily. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it a, a little bit of a twist. Do it because it's a great premise that they use the bones of something so it haunts it. Like, come on, don't use the bones of something. You're asking for a haunting. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've heard of that. Uh, you don't put people in walls anymore because too many ghosts. Right. <laughs> you've heard of the haunted burial ground trope. <laughs> Get ready for the haunted <laughs> giant lizard trope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. old cliche five years from now. Can we just no. be done with this? <laughs> we someone do is there a haunted mech comic yet? Haunted mech uh, comic would be kinda haunted, of. haunted Gundam. Give me a haunted it's like, Gundam. <laughs> it's kind of Ava, isn't it? It's a little bit Ava. Yeah, it is kind of uh, Ava. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, and then yeah. Uh, Anthony, it's okay. You can still be twisted. But if you can only name it's one, good. then it's <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's pretty have good. You, have you read yeah. Homesick Pilots? What is it? Have you read Homesick Pilots? No, yeah. but I've heard the premise of that, and it sounds somewhat similar. Oh, Brock, haunted house. Dude. Is it like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's, it's 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 literally one of the fucking... It's the only pool... Well, not, not the only, but... It's one of the pulls. Like I have like three or four on my pull list that I'm like look forward to every single month, like really intensely. And it's so fucking good. I think you'd like it. I think I really do. It's kind of like a it's a really new take on horror. And it's a little action-y, but it's really kind of it's it's yeah. a little bit leaning more into the haunted house sort of tale. It's fucking amazing. Well, the first one was definitely a little bit more action-y. The last two have been much more like story driven and character driven. Yeah. Oh, I Is love it. it. Like similar to the mecha plot I had, or no? No, it's, it's a it's a house that's haunted. Yeah, okay. she, she the haunt she. So the premise was that uh, that hooked me was it's a, a where a teenager uses a house a, a haunted house as a mech like, and that was not necessarily what came of it, but it's a good hook. It's a really good hook, and it's a really good comic. So I didn't give a shit. That, I got, that's what I, I heard too. I got hooked by punk rock haunted house. That was all I needed. Dude, and the um, art, art. This is this really is good. the first page. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Uh, what vibes are you getting from this page? Because I'm getting some Stargazer vibes. Just saying. <laughs> some of that coloring and all that. Yeah. yeah. The covers. Yeah, that's what oh, I thought that as well. Yeah, Dude. yeah. Blue the and purples and the blues right and all of that just kind of blending in. Um, <laughs> we have shown this on the stream, and it literally is not a spoiler whatsoever. But it's a oh, they do a whole page where people are entering oh. and it works its way from this way down and they meet and then it works them entering this way whoops Oops. and going it's around two separate two separate parties it's two separate yeah. parties working their way it's like a great. Wes Anderson scene on the page yes. yeah. Yeah. There's a. It's the whole reason I bought the book. It was because he got it for me because I was like, oh, I need a number that, one. He picked it up and then this is yours. Dad, like, by the way. I say he still has my number one. That's that's yours and and that's yours. Oh. And uh, well, that one's Cole's. But, it's my. Know, I, I'm waiting on my bad cave because I'm, I'm finally going through here. I need my villainous. I'm I finally going it. through my stuff and just separating the stuff that I need to bring you guys because I'm like this is starting to pile up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. 
It's really good comics. It's really, really Which good. Which is why King Kong is better than Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> you make good points. <laughs> Homesick pilots, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> the real question, could a haunted house mech beat Godzilla or King Kong? No. Do they have access not, to... Not this one. But but a oh, but we don't know everything that's in that house yet. I can see Todd gearing up the 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 how much prep time. Yeah, I got a, I got a horseshoe. Much, I got a I got a lampshade. Come and fucking at me. Come how much prep me. time does the haunted house have? How much time does the haunted house <laughs> the possessed person haunted yeah. house have? <laughs> About a week. A week. Yeah. Nah, it's that think, time that you, always, you say for I Batman. Think Godzilla, still like, you got Godzilla still got him. <laughs> still a wood house. So it is guys, a wood house. You guys are making me thirsty. I need something to drink. I was getting into pee, so we'll let uh, Nick and Jared duke it out. Oh. Did you just blow into hot sauce? It's stuck. That's a it's terrible too idea. I got a. I got a. Uh, you know, blowing on it doesn't cool it down, right? It's not temperature no, hot. It's all stuck in the thing. I uh, I made some barbecue sauce like last Tuesday. That was fucking amazing. Oh my god, I have to pee. But then, can you tell us how you make barbecue sauce? Because the last time Anthony was on, he taught us to make hot sauce. Yeah. And now we're all making hot sauce. If barbecue sauce could be our next thing, it'd be amazing. Yeah, That's Anthony, nice. those are all his hot sauces that he's made. Nice. Since you've been on, Cole and I have also made multiples. We all got into hot sauce after the last time you were mm -hmm. here. My wife says I'm not allowed to ferment anything in the house. Yep. Same thing with my wife. Really? <laughs> really? We live in an apartment, I guess, so my, my I don't get to do it. <laughs> oh, I love the smell of it. <laughs> I mean, the hot sauce doesn't really make a smell. Well, I did. I, uh, yeah. I really wanted to make my own beer. Um, mm, dude, that's really that here. You gotta worry about it blowing it up. It can, or like you could have it with me, where you're making a dark beer and you you have your carboy in your walk-in closet, and for whatever reason the bubble trap gets clogged, and then dark beer just goes, yep. dude, in your walk-in closet, which is where all your clothes are. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend of mine who yeah <laughs> who was making beer in that cool dark place. And um, it blew up, or they had an apartment then, and it blew up like it, like a, like a lot of beer blew. Oh up. yeah, oh it and will. Landlord <laughs> called the cops because like it was a whole <laughs> fucking thing. But it was really, it, I I really want to make my own beer like super bad. But yeah, I'm not I'm not a. I've done a I've done a few. I have some down here that I made, but it's it's pretty old at this point. Um, I've done it a few times. It's 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 nice. You can get. As long as you don't fuck it up, you get like craft beer quality for like Bud Light prices. Is yeah. how it kind of like it's like you get to drink good beer, like better uh, beer, but it's cheaper to make. So it's it's nice. I, I used to only like the beer that I wanted to make was like shit I couldn't buy in stores, and like I could never find a good pumpkin beer for cheap. That's what mm -hmm. I used to brew, but now it's just cider. I mean, I'll, I'll still ferment, but like. Hot peppers, like the cleanup is rough. Like I had an issue when I did my last batch that like shut everything down forever. I was doing the cleanup and it's, I want use hot water to wash it out make sure it's all clean. And when you put hot water to peppers, it just fucking spreads everywhere. So then like, I, I couldn't take it anymore. So I threw everything in the dishwasher, but I put too much soap in the dishwasher and the soap started to leak out cause I was in a rush. And so I opened up the dishwasher and then the steam came out from the dishwasher and just filled the whole house. So the baby's coffin, the oldest is coughing, and I'm just like, that's it. No more hot sauce. In the house. <laughs> yeah. so I, See, I, started... I haven't done anything like crazy, super hot, like this green stuff. I could just, I could probably eat most of this and be totally fine. The, the habanero sauce will, will get me a little bit, but mostly cause I put a lot of garlic in there. <laughs> yeah, that that's something I, I I keep I don't really do as often, but like it pays off, man. When you put the garlic in there, you can mm -hmm. tell. 
Tell the difference. Well, I, I put a lot of I put a lot mm. of garlic in there. It's a good thing I I like garlic. I, I've yeah. I've shared it with a few people, and beforehand, it's like if you don't like garlic, seriously, like don't don't eat this. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think the I think the recipe I used ca called for six to eight cloves, and I think I used like sixteen instead. So, oh, yeah. it's good. <laughs> I I make really good salsa, but like I, like I can't ferment it. I, I'm I'm forbidden for fermenting anything in the house, and so like I don't get to make like like hot sauce, like pepper sauce and shit like that. But. Um, she never, my wife never complains when it, the hot, the hot, the salsa is good, you know, like she's, she's always about it, but, uh, anything that I think anything that could risk either one, the apartment smelling like shit or two, something blowing up. She's just opposed to. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Which, if it's, if it's got an airlock and you're burping it, or if it doesn't have an airlock, you're burping it, op opening up the lid and doing it, you should be okay. But I understand the fear from it. Cause it's. I, I remember one time I had a growler of beer from a, like uh, just a craft brewery um, local, and I forgot there was still some beer in it. So this must have built up in, in the sun over like months and months and months and months. And one day I'm walking past it, and I, it blew up, and glass shards flew everywhere. And like I was damn lucky not to get caught by them. But yeah, it, it's 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 nothing to fuck around with. It'll 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 hurt. <laughs> I did a dandelion wine once and brought it to a family Christmas party and just like set the six pack in the corner. And we're all like, you know, on the other side of the room playing like phase 10 or whatever. And it's just all of a sudden it's just boom, boom, boom. Just started, started oh, going up. I didn't yeah. use the, uh, you can use something that stops the fermentation. Um, and I, I didn't, I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah. I forget what they're called. And, um, yeah, something there's, tablet. Yeah, there's something you can put in it that'll that'll stop it. But it was I was young, and it was like, but if it ferments more, it'll be stronger. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, th that's one thing I did. The dandelion wine was really good. That's I wanted to make one with uh with honey, so it was more of a dandelion mead. Um, mm -hmm. It's one that I'd like to do, and I. I live in a spot that if I wanted to, I could start like a beehive. But from what I've talked to people who have kept bees and stuff, they're like, it's just, it's just a lot of work. Like make yeah. sure you, it's like, they're like, first of all, you're going to have a solid year at least where you don't get honey. And you know, it's, it's, it's long haul and, one little thing can go wrong, but I live by a, a nature center and they have some bees. So basically I could just like pay for a hive and set it next to it. And there'd be, I think there's two or three guys that kind of just take care of it together. Um, so I'm thinking about it. I'd, I would love some honey, some fresh honeycomb. I don't, I don't know if this is like a, I don't think this is like a real Southern thing, but have y'all ever had moonshine? Yeah. Yeah. I've gotten shit face drunk on some moonshine and that I don't think I've ever regretted anything as much as, as drinking moonshine. Um, at a, we have a, a liquor store that's sells like moonshine soaked cherries and, oh, yeah, yeah. and stuff. But I had a guy, I, this is, this is, this makes me look like a person who makes bad decisions. And I probably am. I bought moonshine out of this guy's truck. Um, <laughs> He was like, uh, he was like, hey, it was a guy I knew. It wasn't like a stranger, you know. I was, I make it sound like I'm 15, but it wasn't like a stranger, right? And um, hell yeah, office. And uh, he was like, hey, do you want, do you want to buy some moonshine? And I was like, hell yeah, I want some moonshine. And he goes, okay, it's real strong. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm a grown man. I was 23. I was like, I'm a grown man. <laughs> and I got wrecked, like. Uh, <laughs> Oof! I felt did like I. I, I did you tell you was it like apple pie? Yeah, did, was it like apple pie moonshine or was it like moonshine? It was like moonshine. I could set on fire with my spit because I did that. Because I was back. I was smoking. I was still smoking. Well, I was like, I smoked. Smart. Man, I really hope my mom's probably asleep. But I smoked from when I was like fourteen until I was like twenty-one, like a pack a day, and um, I quit. And then I was on and off until I was about twenty-five. 
And at that time, the moonshine time, I was smoking because I remember thinking it was funny if I lit my spit on fire, and it did. And I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna fucking die!" Like, yeah, it's over. You know. <laughs> I uh, uh, before we get back on topic, have a uh, one of my favorite stories was I was at a friend's house, and a guy from his work gave him some moonshine uh, peach hooch, and it had it had like a couple like super rotten looking peaches just floating in this like pitcher. And we were drinking that all night and me and my friend decided that, you know, we were going to go outside and kind of walk around and it was an apartment complex and there was this bike rack and we saw these bikes that weren't chained up and we were like, Oh, and they were little kid bikes. And we were like, this will be funny. Let's ride the little kid bikes around. And so we got on the bikes and made it about 20 feet and a truck came around the corner. This has got to be two o'clock in the morning. And it was the largest Mexican man I have ever seen in my life. And guess whose child's bikes they were. <laughs> <laughs> and we ran into the woods and it was just a, it was a crazy night. But oh man, yeah, that, that kind of stuff can really get you uh screwed up can't take <laughs> yeah can't be trusted <laughs> nick you gotta you gotta analyze who your homies are because i don't know who makes hooch that isn't in prison <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man it that stuff was whew, it's it was, like, re it was nick, really good <laughs> nick, nick lives off hooch he actually whenever he gets a new place he has to make sure there's at least two bathrooms because one toilet is just <laughs> Make hooch. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, if somebody was to be like, "Hey, Jared, you want to come over? I made some hooch." I'd be like, "No, motherfucker, I'm not." <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll bring my own. <laughs> I, 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 may, I may not have been of legal drinking age at the time, oh, okay, okay. and anything you could get is, uh, you know, worth putting in your body. Here's a good theory. It's definitely not just for family time and stuff, but mm. <laughs> cool, cool. Is not cool here. Cole hasn't spoken to me the same since he read Dry Foot number three. I'm <laughs> I'm doing my best because you're Team Godzilla. If you were Team Kong, I'd be ripping you to shreds. <laughs> I have worked really hard with professionals of blocking that out of my mind and forgot about it until just now. What's funny is I only and have Dry Foot <laughs> one through two now. Uh, three and four uh, flew out the door. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it just leaves on a weird note. It's very strange that the series ended at two. Um, <laughs> I mean, so, 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 so angry, in the, so angry in the in small the best trade. Way. So angry, in the real best small way. trade. No, it, <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's it really is. Any yeah. comic book that actually makes me cry and like feel and all of that is doing its what it's I supposed think, to do. I think I did have at least, I think I, I had one person it. on Twitter because I, I said some shit to you about how mad I was and someone sent me a message and they were like, but it was really good. And I'm like, I, I know it is. It <laughs> <laughs> we're that's, aware. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, thank, thank you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, both I mean, of your, both of your guys' books makes me feel, which I really much appreciate. Comic books can be fun and all of that, but they're, I, I, it's nice when I'm like, <laughs> like, oh yeah, no, the feelings. Uh, no. Uh, I, I thought the last, <laughs> I thought the last Stargazer one was super heavy. Like, yeah, no, so many feelings. <laughs> yeah, I was. I thought. I thought the last Stargazer issue. I was like, holy shit! Like, I am not prepared to mentally deal with this today. <laughs> nope. <laughs> One more to go. We'll see what I, uh, I I have not read the most recent one because somebody keeps telling me that I should read them all together. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm every every, 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 like every time I go to read them, he's like, yeah, just, don't read just it. Wait, wait for the trade. Wait for the trade. <laughs> don't listen to that fucking bozo. I read a review that said the same thing. Like, it's probably better to do it that way. And it's like, yep. <laughs> Yep, more, more shows ends coming. Um, they're coloring it right now. The first issue. Ooh. Oh um, shit! Nice. Bump, bump, bump. Release date. I, I. I've been told, but I don't remember. I'm, I'm like the worst. Like I said, I'm the worst salesperson. <laughs> it's gotta be the comic book better. shop. You want it? <laughs> it's gotta be quarter three, 2021, right? Yeah, By this week. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. 
it, it'll probably be out before Obsidian too. At this and then, I think Poser yeah. probably already has it. <laughs> and yeah. then you can uh, you can pre-order the trade for the two issues of Dryfoot. <laughs> yeah, I really need to quit my day job. So buy buy comics. <laughs> Please do that. The the trades that that we just answered that. Awesome, but is there really? We just answered that with this is question. There, is there really? really? <laughs> but no, uh, let me sell the trades. Let me sell so, Matt trades. They're really yes. good. They're loaded up with like uh, tons of concept art, alternate covers, um, full plate, full page splashes that don't quite make it. Like, and the interiors are awesome. The design is great. Um, cool. I think you get like a good bang for your buck. I think Show's Ends was fourteen ninety nine, and you're getting like a twenty dollar book. Oh my god, there's a ladybug nice. right here. That's a good deal. Nice. Make a wish. Make a wish. It's it won't a leave. Rate. It won't leave. What's it doing in the garage in the middle of winter? And then uh, for everybody, I'm throwing in a straw poll. Oh. Go to that. I and, think I just uh, the answer, who would win in a fight, Godzilla or King Kong? In a we'll fight? Actually, we'll look, yes. Who would win oh. in a fight? Okay. Yeah. I'm voting. I'm just letting you know. I'm also oh, I am, I am. I am too. I just have to open up the stream. Man, I cannot stress... Like like how pumped I was when I realized that opening graphic had them driving the burritos. <laughs> I was like, this is the funniest shit. <laughs> that's that's a a fairly substantial mo uh, modification to my normal drive in drive through uh, graphics. Yeah. I uh, did you were you here for the trailer that I made? He didn't he's, see it. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves. Yeah, I saw it. Fuck you. <laughs> what, what did you guys think of the um, other trailer? The, not, the oh, real, not, not, not the real one that we showed, but the other trailer. WB's wannabe trailer. <laughs> uh, I really liked it. It got me pumped because that's what I want. I don't need... I want to see Godzilla ripping through shit. I want to see King Kong like doing his thing, being like somehow... They're doing a good job making it seem like King Kong could somehow fight this, which yeah. is cool. Um, but I'm just stoked because I I don't need much story. I just want a cool movie. It doesn't need to have a ton to it. Make what there makes sense, and then let's have fun. Yeah, I, I'm but, obviously diehard kaiju. Yeah, giant kaiju. Monster. But I got to that song in the trailer. Yeah, that shit off. I did. Yeah, I, can't I turned off the trailer that I've been waiting for since I was a little. Yeah, kid. I mean, that's fair. There is a reason why I chose the music I did in my trailer because I I thought it was funny. I was like, I need to find something that's free use that I think is like just need a bunch. Of yeah, come on. Yeah, Yo, Jared, well, did you see my trailer that I made? Was for, it was that uh, you? Was that you growling? Okay, you were gone. No, it wasn't. I oh, it I wasn't? thought about recording it, but it was not me. I thought it um, was. That's when I started laughing. So, since we're talking about it, I'm going to play my trailer, and then everybody can go on another tab. Stay here on another tab. Watch the real one. But I think mine's just as good as what WB put out. Uh, it, I think it might be better. It might be. So it's here we go. It's kind of spoilery, here's, though. It's kind of. It's kind of. It spoilery. is a little spoilery, but here's the burrito cut. <laughs> I mean, you've basically seen the whole movie now. now that's the movie. I mean, you don't even have to. You don't even have to go anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it just ends. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's, that's gonna be how the movie goes too. They're gonna be fighting, yeah. and then they're gonna stop fighting, and then quit it. <laughs> and then, the gorilla, and then, yeah, King Kong's gonna eat. Godzilla's just gonna be breathing. <laughs> and then the movie ends. Right. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, <laughs> I almost love that more than them driving the burritos into it. <laughs> that was, I literally talked to Nick. I was like, I don't know which way to use both of these because I love them for different reasons. And combined, I spent an hour, maybe more, 
on this. <laughs> I thought so maybe wildly invested. <laughs> I thought maybe the debate was going to get a little too heated, and we might have to use it as like a like a gavel. Whoa. <laughs> like a, <laughs> calm down, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> The 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 trailer like I, just to, on Anthony's note like that music was awful like that was a terrible uh, uh, that's a that's a middle class getting back in shape after twenty years of being out of the gym <laughs> pump up song right there you know <laughs> yeah like that that's 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 something you listen to in the suburbs on your way to the Planet Fitness to get yourself into the mode. You know? <laughs> First time I saw it, I it was on mute because I was doing. Now wait a minute, because Todd, Todd said, Nick, "Send me your favorite song," and <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it was really, I really enjoyed it. I was like, "Oh, this looks great," and it was like kind of a letdown when I finally was like, "All right, now I can watch it with audio for like the second time." Blast it! Let's do this because I was just ready for like. I was ready for like Metallica or something really metal. I was just like, yeah, let's go. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> sure. I was expecting like drums, something primal. And it yeah, was. Yeah, I was just ready for something guttural to go. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Not that loose. I was expecting literally anything other than what happened. It yeah. was it really is starring. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't I never thought I would turn off the trailer to Godzilla versus King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was showing their reactions. I wish my, I wish I fucking wish I recorded mine. It would have been like no 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 fuck. This. Yeah, no, it just walks away. Yeah, it doesn't even finish. Yeah. What movie in the trailer? What about the Godzilla versus Kong rom com trailer? Oh, I wish I would have thought about this because I could have tried to make that. That's I amazing. would have abs I would absolutely pay admission for a Godzilla and Kong uh, trailer. You know, Ch change that one real word and then yes. just let's see what happens on screen. They could also go into like an odd couple type theme where they're having to like. <laughs> Share an Living. island together because yeah. they were stranded there and they're like right. not able to get off of it. It's like Godzilla's Kong really clean, Kong is really messy. Yeah. Leaves banana peels laying He's throwing all over the poop place. and stuff. Yeah, and it's Kong like, slipped oh. on the banana peel. Oh, oh. I asked and, you yeah. to stop, <laughs> stop making axes out of my fins. <laughs> <laughs> You've got thirteen. You have you yeah. have enough. He has yeah. He has he's just like barebacked now. There's just <laughs> nothing there. This guy right here. Oh shit! Bro 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 was it bro the Brontosaurus? That was the first giant monster to stomp the city. Um, stop a city. Lost world. Isn't, isn't it a Diplodocus technically now? Yeah, same isn't model. That, isn't that the technical term? Clonicus? Di Diplodocus. Oh. Because Brontosaurus is technically didn't exist according to it's really a bummer. They didn't science has gone too they far. Put the wrong head on the wrong thing or whatever. Yeah, they like yeah. combined two things and they made a thing. And yeah. It's just like, damn it, science, you could have just let us live in blissful ignorance because the Brontosaurus is cool. Brontosaurus with sharp razor teeth. Like, that Pluto's yeah. not a planet. Car Carnivorous Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's why I like King Kong because that's like, this is the first titled giant monster. Like before this, there was Lost World in the twenties. Then ten years later, we had King Kong, and I think just Godzilla has been kind of like riffing his style since. Ooh, oh, you think he's just hijacked it and then and then made it better? So it's like when. <laughs> It's like when um, it's kind of like how when the the Beatles showed up, they weren't the first person to do any of those genres technically, but they were the first ones to make it great, which is what Godzilla did. King Kong laid the foundation, and then Godzilla was like, "Hey, here's how you can make it the best thing ever." And then Godzilla made it it's, the best. It's sure. like if you got if you got your car stolen and they <laughs> took it and they washed it and buffed the dents out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then brought it back with a full tank of gas <laughs> before you woke up. Uh, thanks for letting me like, use your car. I think Kong's on the screen a lot in this movie. Godzilla, eh, not so much in the first movie, not as much. 
like there's like this is paced well once you get past to King Kong's debut. It's like uh, stop motion every what 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 do you got to say, Mister Giggles? <laughs> I, I right. want to. I want to. I want to have my kids watch it because, like I said, I, I was. I, I thought. I thought. My dad's in the out. stream, and I know about dinosaurs because of my daughter. <laughs> we didn't get a Vern pick either, did we? Did yeah, I Dad. Hey, Father, Godzilla or King Kong? <laughs> you could be honest, because you know, low stakes here. <laughs> my little girl for this. She won't sit. There's no way she's going to sit through the original Godzilla. That's the problem. It's going to no. take years. My daughter's six, and like, she Man. has to grow up before she, I think she could appreciate it. Well, before, before they can appreciate, appreciate it, it now. I think my kids would all watch it. I all tried right. to watch. Um, we were watching the original Jungle Book, and she tuned out. And I was watching it. I was like, oh, I love this. And then she was like looking at the ceiling, looking at things. I'm like, why aren't you painting? She's like, oh, it's just kind of boring. And I like was looking at what we were watching. I'm like, it is kind of boring now. Hmm. Like, it's, it. really, it's really slow paced and there's yeah. mostly talking. It's not that interesting. Like, it's not grabby at all. We and watched, uh, yeah, we, we watched uh, the dinosaurs on Disney Plus, the, that dinosaur show. And all my kids fell asleep except for my youngest, my daughter. Not the mama. And then that we one? watched, and then we watched Roger Rabbit. And I, I picked Roger Rabbit because I Ooh. thought for sure she would fall asleep. And at eleven o'clock, I was like, "You gotta go to bed." Like, <laughs> it's like, no, no, you gotta go to bed now. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. My dad's very supportive. Cage match. Yeah, in a cage match. Ooh. Yes. Yes, you screwed, Kong. Just, you can't use all your rub for the cage match. That's the biggest fucking cage. Cool. It'd be a huge cage. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why are we funding the oxygen destroyer and not the big ass fucking cage? The giant cage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I uh, I have to go, guys. I have to eat, and I have like an eleven hour work day tomorrow. So what the what? Well, one second, let's. Check Super the cool. results before you go. Okay. All right. So, as of now, Godzilla with six votes, King Kong with three. What the hell, people? Go vote. But, Jared, it looks like you did your job. You've made it a reality. Godzilla definitively, thanks to this live stream, is the greatest, best thing. I know I said in a fight, but what I really meant is, is it better? Oh, it's a oh, landslide. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so everybody, uh, say thanks to Jared for stopping by. Make sure to check out Dry Foot. Uh, this is the second printing. You can also check out the first printing that will probably be the cover of the trade. I'd be shocked if it wasn't because it's a gorgeous. It sure cover. isn't. <laughs> it isn't. What is it? What's it's, the cover? Uh, it's the number three cover, oh, which three. is beautiful. The gun? Right. No, I can't even look at the trade without getting like it's, emotional it's, now. <laughs> it's a beautiful cover, yeah. It is a beautiful cover. That's <laughs> awesome. Cool. So number three will be the – but if you can find this – oh, my God, I love it so much. There's still – if you're really looking, there's still a few on Mad Cave's website. Um, yeah. But there's only – I think Mad Cave is the only ones that have uh, number two. At this point, oh um, yeah. So get so that. If you want, if you're really into single issues, that's the place to go. Yeah, excellent. It will a burrito warning. It's amazing, but you're gonna feel things. <laughs> so check that out, and then check out the trade, which has been spammed a couple of times. I'm sure Pose will be on it, and he'll do it again because he is January twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. So tell your comic book store. Uh, tell Mad Cave the website. However, you're gonna get it. <laughs> Do that. No, Thank you so much. Your shop's good. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> there it is. Have a good rest of your night. Hey, look at that! Hell yeah! yeah. yeah both. both of them. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me. Letting me talk monsters. Anthony, it was yeah. good seeing your beautiful Thank face. You. Oh, you too. Right. And I'll see you Bye. guys on the internet. Yeah. Bye. Back, back to Twitter we go. Back to Twitter we go.
Oh, there it is. Thank you, Poser. Poser's got the there links in the comments right now. On top of it. Go tonight. check that out. Yeah, he's running on the spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, so go. Godzilla being definitively the uh, correct answer. How so you he left? So, so he left. So Kong wins by default. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it, 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 hey, dad. Hey, dad. You want to come on the stream real quick? <laughs> that was the agreed upon terms. Is that each side had to have two people on the stream uh, up until eleven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard I, Time. It, I forgot. And I signed it, the first burrito eight, contract. Eight minutes short. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <Which> <laughs> Is better the original Kong or the original Godzilla? The original, the original Kong. Godzilla. No, <laughs> that couldn't have been any better. The original Kong yeah. absolutely is a better movie, and it's an so older too. movie. So I what? Like, so the like, older the movie, the better. No, so I'm that, just saying the train. It was, yeah, yeah. For what they did back then, like that's the giant puppet. That's a hand they made. Yeah, that's that's a, in, a paper that's mache motion. hand. Yeah, it's very impressive. That's fine. We're not at, we're not you did not ask which is the more technically impressive movie. That's, said, that's just one better movie. That makes it a better movie. I think what that's Godzilla right. that gets it on that factor. I love Godzilla. I think that's that a, good is movie. a better original movie. It's a better movie. It's more entertaining to me. It speaks to me on a different level than King Kong does. I love Godzilla. The original Godzilla, there's a reason why I'm team Godzilla, and that is really it. That's fine. You can disagree. I love King Kong. Yeah, I that's disagree the thing. for the exact same that's the thing. reason. You're so. like, you're <laughs> like, what do you like better, apples or another kind of apple? I love apples, mm -hmm. so it doesn't like. It's not. Well, like you're great. wrong. Apples are better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like and I everybody would knows choose, that, <laughs> but I would choose Godzilla because I just I I love that movie. I it's intrinsic. It's not. Oh, I can't. Movie define it other than I love it more. And there it is. Mm -hmm. I love Godzilla. Godzilla is a character that I love more than Kong. I think I like King Kong more because it's, I don't know, it's Godzilla's pretty dreary and dark. And this is more of an adventure movie. Um, I love and, dreary and dark. <laughs> and it's, but it, it's, this is paced better than Godzilla is. Um, Godzilla's pretty damn slow to get there's started. There's not much Zilla in it. <laughs> no, there's not much Zilla in it. And like, it, it doesn't get going for a while. Um, I think I, I don't like, I don't like there's scenes where they're just standing around talking boardroom settings and like, uh -huh. you know, here's an office park. In yeah. They're, they're yeah. Talking, about, they're talking about what it is. And like, they're showing the slides and it's just like, we know what it is. We're the audience. We fucking saw this. We're the already footprint. there. We, yeah. saw, we saw the ship blow up at the beginning. Yeah, um, that's why we're here. Yeah, <laughs> this, like they build Kong up like the whole like boat ride, and uh, don't really talk about. No, they they don't talk about Kong, but they talk about the island. Um, and it's neat when we finally get to the island and we see that it's just crazy. Yeah, I would um, say that King Kong is a better film if I was being objective and everything. But my favorite is Godzilla. Okay. So it's that, it's, that, that's, it's that's one of those. Yeah. It's that it's that. It's a it's a it depends on how you're grading it because I I love Godzilla, but if I'm grading it on like a film and yeah, what's better to watch? King Kong, sure. Yeah, I I like I really like what Godzilla has to say, and I think that what we talked about Jared, like that's a very interesting way for a culture to deal with that kind of um, trauma. I didn't know that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. Like that, that's what uh yeah the whole thing. The, the yeah the skin thing, thanks yeah, Aaron. Skin, like it's it's just all about them coping with what's happened. And happens, ten years, so. yeah. I didn't really put the dates. Like I, I watched them and checked the dates on them, and I but I didn't really put that in perspective when I watched it either. So that's that's an interesting I, thing too. I think the closest thing we've come to in America, and like <laughs> chat's gonna think this is a pretty big stretch, but I think Dark Knight was like the closest thing we had to. Um, wrapping our heads around in media, at least was 9-11, the terrorism we dealt with and that, the surveillance that we had in that, like that shooting to destroy the surveillance at the end. That's the uh, best representation we have of it? Not the oh, best, okay. but I'm saying like, that's how there's a lot but of 9 -11. For, ti how, for timing and how our media audiences coped with things. Like there's a lot pulled from 9-11 in that, like the well, terrorism. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'd be curious to add. Well, and then Dark Knight I'd had be its own. If it was more a if Nolan like consciously did that, or it really is just speaking of the times. That was just like it's something we are currently dealing with because of 9/11. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where like Godzilla was because of a nuke, like it was in Hiroshima. It was the direct like correlation to it. I'd be curious if it, if Dark Knight was either directly because of 9-11 or because of the societal shifts that happened because of 9-11. I'm sure it's a combination, but like it's um, a lot of semantics, but it, it's just an down from, yeah, triple, triple yeah. down. I don't think it, Nolan's not a, um, Nolan's not American. Like he's English. No, so it's, he's definitely exactly. not coping with it. Um, you know, as a, you know, Japan did with Hiroshima and Godzilla. Um, but there's stuff from, uh, 100% it's 9-11. Um, yeah, and like especially the it's surveillance. The and how correlation we, to it. Yeah, the surveillance thing is 100%. Yeah. How we like dealt with, you know, those terrorists and we don't negotiate with them and what's the cost of that. And, yep. Uh, what we create when we do. Um, yeah. And trusting a few for protection off the, like the guy. I love, that is one of my favorite things when like, they have Fox going like, I can't be a part of this and all of that. Like he's ethically opposed to it, but then still goes through with it. That's what I think my favorite part was that Batman wasn't like, fine, I'll do it myself kind of thing. He still, it was a lot like America. We trusted, where, he trusted him enough. Yeah, trusted he trusted him enough. enough. He was he, like, when you're done, type in your name. And he was like, but then he got lucky that it, like I'll do it this one time. Off, Lucius Fox played America, but then in the end, America it never turned off. It just yeah. kept going, and no. that's what I think is really interesting because Batman can be could be trusted in that, but Lucius Fox played our part where we were like, okay, we'll trust you with this. That's fine. I'm sure there's an end to this. Yeah, we got the bad guys. We can turn it off now. It's like uh, they're like, well. <laughs> Coming. We're gonna leave it's it on. Nice yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's very interesting. I do. Mm -hmm. Oh man. The philosophy of Dark Knight. It's so good. Um, what is your what is your favorite kaiju movie? Period. Anthony. Not not talking Kong. What's your favorite? Just what's your favorite kaiju movie? Off the top of my head, I don't know. Um, maybe Kong. Okay. Um, I don't really know. I like. I try to find the different ones, all the different ones I can. Um, yeah. There's one I can't remember the name of it, but it's just like I have the I had the trilogy on Blu-ray, but I, I lost the disc. It's just this giant stone yeah. samurai that gets waking up and like it's, it's it reminds me of like a, a golem, but like a yeah. like a giant stone ancient samurai that comes around and like solves like the problems of like the people. I guess it's good. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I try that to find the cool. weird ones. That's awesome. I have no idea what you're talking about. I love it. <laughs> I no, that's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a movie genre that I kind of want to get into. I haven't watched a whole lot of. And after watching like some of those original films, it was like, I kind of kind of want to watch some of those. Or um, or I kind of want to get, there's a streaming service for like old school, um, like martial mm -hmm. arts uh stuff um hi yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's it's pretty good i like that is it good yeah, they have a lot of uh weird crazy japanese like power rangers gore films that i'm into it seems like the perfect thing to just like like how you're doing right now where it's just kind of on like not necessarily like watching it da damon G. <laughs> um, but just just have just a background noise kind of thing would be would be cool. Yeah, I think I gotta go, guys. Ooh. All right, I will leave you with uh, answering if this is what it is. Yeah, that's the movie for sure. Oh, okay. I, I have a list of uh, weird kaiju movies. I'll pass over. I, I, yep, that's it. Nice. Hey. There, there's some, a good one is um. Battle of the Gargantuans. It's like it's hard to make a kaiju movie with like characters and like you can see what they want to do without them talking. Uh, Battle of the Gargantuans is like you have two brothers that grow up, monster brothers, 
and like I think they get separated and like one kind of sides with humanity and one kind of goes off and does his own thing and they don't know what they're doing the whole time and they finally meet up and then like the one that you know likes humanity is like wants to be you know catch up and he sees all the bad shit his brothers did and then like can't put up with it and they all battle like that's pretty good there's a lot oh, of uh, amazing yeah you need um, to make an obscure kaiju i love kaiju i'm bad at finding the weird obscure ones because i would love to watch it the only <laughs> the only comic book idea is, that i've ever had is kaiju related that i hope to just self-publish at some time because it's a stupid idea but i fucking love kaiju if you ever stupid random kaiju list i would be very much it's uh green it. okay it's i wrote it for a website i think it's just like different kinds of uh kaiju movies like like genre blending i guess i don't know like, yeah they don't mm -hmm. have like boring like every every godzilla movie is pretty much the same thing it's you know scientists trying to stop it <laughs> this you know, monster and maybe throwing a few other monsters in there and that's what it is um not that that's bad. I, I I own all of them, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Gamera is another one. The Gamera trilogy in the '90s is really good. Um, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. I feel like there's an anime that I'm missing. Awesome. Well, thanks for being on. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm going to do for you what we usually do because what is a double. So. Thanks for being on. Um, we people need to go look out for Stargazer number five. That's coming out soon if they're doing their singles. And then the trade is coming out soon. Correct? Yeah. April. Late, late April. And that's the, and that's the way to read it. That's the way to read it. I <laughs> disagree from the author. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really great to get it regularly in single form but if you haven't gotten one through four at this point and you're waiting my goodness uh get the trade because i'm very excited for five um really excited four was a punch in the gut and i am very excited for number five um and then uh shows end trade is uh, uh coming out and then shows end Volume two is beginning soon. Yeah, volume one trades coming out like to Barnes and Nobles and Amazon later this year. Awesome. Volume two starts, I'm guessing, late summer, August, something like that. Fall, Yay. Early fall. Yeah. So check that out. Yeah, there it is. You fuck. Read them. <laughs> Stop listening to Anthony. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Read them. <laughs> I don't watch. I don't like. I do it to sell issues. Sorry, guys. It's the truth. <laughs> I'll hook Real you soon. and uh, keep you going the whole time. I love how, it's like, awesome. the exposition of Stargazer is, like, in issue five. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for being on. Um, I'm sorry you have the wrong, you're on the wrong side of history, but... We can't all be on the right side of history, so that's fine. Uh, do you do you think do you think Kong's gonna win in this movie? Because he won in he won in the original, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And I think he will because he's being poised as the good guy, so he'll end up winning. Yeah, you think he's still yeah. gonna win? I, it's, they're yeah. gonna team up for sure. Like, but they, the creator did say there's a definite winner, so. I think it'll be Kong if there's a definite winner because he's being poised as the good guy in the trailer. He's gonna like win, but then be like, "I need you to defeat this threat." Yeah, like there's, there's <laughs> one theory that I read that it's like Kong is fighting uh, Mecha Godzilla, just how he was disguised in the '60s. I've seen that one around. I'm like, at this point, I I don't care. <laughs> I just right. want to there's nothing they can do that would make me go, oh, that's fucking stupid, as I watch a giant monkey punch a lizard in the face. Right. right? So, I don't care. Like they, they can do no wrong, especially after uh, King that's of the Monsters. That's kind of the advantage of those movies, right? Is that it's already so ludicrous that yeah. like, you can just get away with a little extra. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I side shit, thanks. It's awful. <laughs> I like I like the cheap he, wor he works for comics too. Oh, 
Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. Try to click it's off. It's not me. All right. But thank you so much for Anthony for joining us. Um whenever you have something else coming out, you should come back on. We can talk about some other obscure thing that has nothing to do with it and then randomly plug what you're doing. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you. Have a good night and... Oh, he's already gone. Oh, yeah. No. He, yeah. Oh. That's the whole point. That, that's supposed to be the transition out. Where have you been for every I, time I you've done one, that? One, one more beer. We've been live for an hour and a half. You had a lot you of time. Like, I, I went label shopping, so I also got... that's Oh, that's awesome. Bat Squatch. That's Bat cool. Squatch, look at that. Hey, um, because I need to pee, yeah, and yeah. Um, I'm not allowed to be here without... Uh, Nick can't be on his own, according to Bearded and Cole. Um, no, does anybody want to jump on point. so I'll that I can book. go pee? Let's so both I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna, Let's I'm both gonna, go. No. Okay, you go pee. All right, bye. <laughs> You can go pee. Go pee. No, it's fine. Okay. Um, I did send it to a couple of people, but uh, oh yeah, dude, it's on the way, chaos. Chaos, come on, and uh, I'll interview you about your new comic book. <laughs> sounds awesome. Be like, what is this comic book? All right, Tart Monkey Session Sour Ale. Four point nine percent. Is that a session? Is it? Oh, under yay. five. Five or below. My first choice just responded. I'm very excited. Uh oh, is it Vern? <laughs> your dad come. Your dad, dad comes on, and you go pee. Yeah, bye, Dad. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Just make sure Nick doesn't nuke the whole place. <laughs> the unfortunate part is it could be worse. It could be, it could be cold, and he could start taking his shirt off. My first response is probably going to be yeah. It could be. It's true. It's a good point. Stony, come join us. Oh my god. Sony, I'm throwing one to you, man. I really should go to bed. We'll have some, a magic. If, if some people don't come on pretty soon, I'm gonna Yay! I'm gonna go to bed. Hello. Oh Hi! Vern, you gotta send your dad a link. No, no, it's in the mail. Um <laughs> <laughs> Hi Aaron, how's it going? It's going pretty good. I uh I'm re condoed my apartment a little bit today. Ooh, you get rid of like a lot of stuff. Uh, <laughs> or did everything make you feel joy? <laughs> everything gave me joy. Cause I apparently have Marie condoed my apartment three times this quarantine. So I'm at the bottom of the barrel of the sad things. So oh. it's oh boy. I got rid of two things. All right, guys. The last time Aaron was on, we talked about Sonic and everything. We're gonna. That's fine. I want to talk a little bit of comics with okay. Aaron since we have her here. Okay. So we're gonna be a little comic. bit more on focus. I'm trying because to figure out what Chaos's picture is. It's probably something that'll get us off YouTube. Actually, did you did you call me Chaos? Yeah, Chaos. Chaos. Sh Stay off. Sharing your drinks. Ooh. Ooh. My I'm, a, I'm guys. drinking my wife's. I'm drinking my wife's girl wine. Oh, hey. cool. Mine's beer barrel bourbon from New Holland Brewery. Ooh. Where's that poser? Pozu. Pozu. marker. <laughs> super grain margarita. Oh, Ooh. It was a target. So I already know what um, quick quick recap on what everybody feels about Godzilla versus Kong before we move on to everyone everything. agreed that Kong was better. Godzilla. Uh, right? eh. Who would win in a fight, Aaron, Chaos, and Poser? 
I would definitely beat the hell out of both of them. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, based on the phrasing of that, my money's on Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly really like the rom-com version of it, and I just imagine they're gonna fall in love. Oh, and have a little like. But there's three of us. Godzilla babies. Yeah, but, but honestly, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of those things where you mix it up and you yeah. give it to Godzilla, and you don't know who's going to be the dad, and you're like, who could it be? Except they're like weird, furry, long, like armed Godzillas, and you're like. Who could, could be the father be? <laughs> it could be the new Mamma Mia. Like yes, it is the new <laughs> is it yes. this giant ape or this normal looking human. <laughs> and it's like a medium-sized lizard ape. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who could it be? Who knows? No. I honestly think whoever's gonna win is gonna be the one that they're gonna start a new chain of movies for. So Sure. It's like, or is what the is new the chain, is it like an alien versus predator thing where Godzilla versus Kong is the new franchise and it's like a okay joint franchise? That. Isn't I'd there a okay. super kaiju plan though? Like, isn't there a plan like the way they're trying to do the, the universal monsters sort of loosely? I think there's a plan to make these yeah, all like world connected. of monsters thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I want yeah, more ridiculous. I, I am a unapologetic Pacific Rim lover. I love Pacific Rim. I do too. I love Pacific Rim. Are Not a excited? huge fan of the sequel. Yeah. Which is fine. It just, yeah. I didn't think it was as good as the first one. And it, where a lot of people were like, the first one wasn't very good. Second one was garbage. I was like, I love the first one. Second one was just like, okay to me. I didn't find it offensive. Um, but I fucking loved Pacific Rim and Guillermo del Toro is one of my favorites. He's amazing. I, I have I keep forgetting he I have his that. tarot deck. I have tarot del Toro. <laughs> I keep forgetting awesome. he directed those. Yeah. It's it's one of those things where you don't realize it until they do like that under um belly black market scene where they're going through and you're like, oh, this is del Toro's like yeah. all over this. Yeah. <laughs> He also, I think he designed the Sandman character in Rise of the Guardians, the um, animated kids movie, and yeah. that might have been why I bought that movie. It's because yeah, he man. designed that character. That's all you so need good. right there. Yeah, so good. <laughs> so we have, you're a Kong person, Aaron? I am a Zilla person. You're a Zilla? I'm a Zilla, yeah. Poser, I, poser? I am. Godzilla. And then chaos is chaos person because he doesn't know how to vote for anybody besides himself, which makes sense. That's fair. I said Godzilla, but are you asking who who's winning or who am I rooting for? People always forget a, to make that it, clear. Who, in a fight. No, who wins in a fight? Who wins in a fight? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who, wins I mean, in, who wins in this fight no, that has no, been tailored no. for King Kong? Oh, then it's been no. Taylor. It's going to be King no, Kong then. I'm, I'm just saying, though, a dinosaur, a dinosaur with that breeze fire. Win? It's, it's like asking who's going to win the Super Bowl. Tom no, Brady. Those are legit things. Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah. Not the Tom team, Brady but a, he is. But Brady. Tom Brady will have a 70 quarterback rating, somehow win. Everyone's like, he figured <laughs> yeah. it out, guys. <laughs> exactly. Poser. I'm pretty excited for tomorrow for Poser. This yeah, is, I'm gonna be real drunk all day. Yeah, man, you're gonna be all about Again. it. I'm. I. This is maybe the first time we're gonna be rooting on the same side for a team. Okay, so I can't root for Brady. I just, I just can't. Oh shit! Poser there, and I are actually the in the same area. We. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Person too. Yeah. I'm sorry. Probably, yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> Poser, I might just also drunkenly message you like on Twitter and we'll just like live tweet the entire <laughs> Oh game. my god. Yeah. I can get behind that. <laughs> I was actually thinking about starting just a Super Bowl channel on the Discord for like one night only. Here's where we talk right. about Super Bowl stuff. So it's like all right there. You could probably use the We did that for the DC thing, the fan con mm -hmm. whatever it was. I mean, I'm this just gonna the... post Mahomes memes and and boner gifts the whole time. That's it. So, 
This is I the first one after the other. I've watched in like five years. So. What's going on, everybody? Hi. Yeah. I I was like, yeah, here's another Kong guy that I didn't, I wasn't gonna bring in. <laughs> yeah. Why isn't Someone bearded on his own see. stream? Someone, I don't, I don't do a stream on my oh, channel. live stream. I go to other people's live streams. I literally have never live stream on my own channel. You know this. <laughs> well, I utilize everyone else's channels to live stream. I'm not uh, John. Well, <laughs> so we, again, I utilize everyone else's. Um, so John and I are taking like a couple week break to just kind of think, get things in order. Uh, like Ross and Rachel, do... like Ross <laughs> and Rachel, you're gonna cheat on them. Yeah. No, we're gonna do this one, one night. episode. We're gonna do one episode of drinks and movies in February, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do we're gonna get back to our two a month, uh, starting in March and April and things like that. I was like, oh, do I want to hop on? I don't know. Posers on, chaos is on, but my boy, Vern, my boy Vern said, come on, bearded. You got to hop on. So when Todd's dad, Thanks, dad. <laughs> who loved me more than Todd, says, hey, hop on. I'm like, you know what? I'm in. And my boy, wow, Ryan. Dad, you, wow, Dad, you love bearded an unhealthy amount then. <laughs> <laughs> we need uh, to buy Vernon Uwe Let's Go shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. I literally, I just changed some stuff in the, the shop poser. I... I cut the ooh we let's go shirt is now a dollar more because I cut worrying about getting any profits of it and it is 100%. <laughs> it is 100%. Uh, I picked the one that's like, I'll go $15 because it's a better quality shirt because I didn't like the quality of the ooh we let's go shirts. So they are now a higher quality shirts and I'm making zilch on it. It's as cheap as I can make it. I just, I'm like, you know what? I don't are care you telling about me this because the here. only people who own that shirt are you. So me you no, there are there are literally like you, Cole, Cole's daughter, because now he gave her like the kids extra large that they gave him. Uh, so like there is you, Cole, Cole's daughter, and I think Simon R is has one and someone else, but no one else will have the 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 original. Um, uh, ooh, we let's go. So you guys are some of the version the one point I switched it. I switched it to the higher quality because I'm like, I don't care if I make a dollar and fifty cents off a shirt if I don't think the quality is as good. Because I bought it and I was like, I don't, I don't like this as much as I like the new one. So there you go. So you have a limited release now. Nice, nice. Your limited Gildan release shirt. It is. It is. It's a. <laughs> it's um. Uh, it is the, wor the worst version, right? It's the worst version. I. <laughs> I like, this is not. This is not the quality I want attached to my name. So we've moved from the. What is it now? We are now. We are fully, a, a different brand when it comes so to it was, shirts. So the material was like that smock I used to wear when I was a kid in the eighties. That was like Scooby Doo for Halloween. I don't know if it's. I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's that bad. Um, I mean, it was. It was their Gildan. I think it was their s soft style, is what they call it. But it still felt a little rough. So we went with the Bella Canva yeah. shirts, and they are a lot better now. So that's what it is. So um, because that's the way to go. It is. I was like, yeah, that's what we're gonna get. And did we scare off Todd's on a freaking pee break again? Anyways, isn't he? It might be a be like ten minutes ago, and then everybody who wasn't <laughs> Nick showed up. And Todd was like, Ooh, also, this is my first time on a stream with Girl Socks Comics, so I'm excited. I, yeah, wow. this is the second appearance. The other one was a brief hamburger conversation. Oh, hamburger I don't know. I don't think I was on on that one. So uh, at least yeah. not a hot dog and sandwich conversation. No, um, I, I would argue a hot dog's more like a taco, but you know. Ooh, that's taco? what I said. There you go. Uh, that's what I said. Is a t is a taco a sandwich? Cole's not Cole's yeah. not here. To no, answer. no, I didn't mean I didn't mean to actually start talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos! This is what you did. You you sparked a little again. 
Todd leaves the stream. Nick yeah. brings up, is a hot dog a sandwich? And I didn't bring it up. I just I, attached myself to it. I was only <laughs> peeing and definitely not also listening to the stream while I peed. But for, but for So I have no reason to say this comic burrito shirt is so fucking soft and so nice. Oh, Man, it's really <laughs> comfortable. Is. What, what style is it, Todd? Todd it is um, ultra soft. It, Oh my! Oh, I I'm just gonna rip no. it off real quick. I literally just um, it's American Apparel, which mm. is literally my favorite brand, and that's what I swear I, by. I, I love, love American Apparel shirts. I this love American Apparel. Tech. Um, but my boy Roscoe, he used to do he used to do prints and stuff in the shop, and he told me he's like Bella Canva are are legit, and so and I wish it. I, that's what I got with my shirt, and it I never good. heard of Bell Canva, so I hadn't either. I hadn't either, but I'll tell you what, Chaos. Bro, if you buy so a fifteen dollars shirt, it's gonna be the softest freaking shirt. Oh, ever. oh, we have to really a shirt 15, off because really this is dollars? fucking soft. This it's is just, <laughs> that's the fifteen dollars is literally the freaking cheapest I can get because you I'll can do like on. you can do where you can like oh <laughs> it's eighteen dollars and you can get three dollar profit, and then when PayPal takes half that money. You get it like a dollar ninety five. I'm like, well, that's garbage. I'm like, you know, I want it as cheap as possible. Yeah. It's 15. This is 50 percent polyester, twenty five percent cotton, twenty five percent rayon, and it's never, uh, never read, never read the no, yeah, never just read that list of yeah. I like the ingredients. If there's more than two ingredients, that, that's oh, quality and it, and it includes yeah. yellow. Hi, five. hi Ryan. <laughs> hi Ryan. <laughs> How nice is it hey Ryan, you know what's, what's also weird is I feel like this actually might be the first time I've been on a stream with Ryan as well. I don't know if we've actually ever been on everywhere, which is weird because I feel like we've talked about uh, all the time, but I don't know if we've actually been on a stream together. Yeah, I don't know. There might have been one time somewhere in there, but no, I, I can't remember it. So <laughs> this this is probably the first time. Wow. I don't chaos. know. I think I was on on here once with chaos. Well, that that and that left you less than satisfied, which is why you haven't been on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Now he's on with a trivia champ. So, uh, what, what is he doing? Is he breastfeeding the newborn? Is that why his camera's yes. off? Oh, sorry. What did we say? Are we talking about chaos and I again? <laughs> oh. So, uh, <laughs> are we talking about there. debate? Are we, we can talk about some debate too. We got a couple. We got a couple of champs <laughs> no, in here. No, see the difference. The there difference. Are two trivia champs in the house. Todd, your championship belt can be. It was manipulated by people's opinions. My championship belt was won by actually knowing knowledge. Yeah, CW knowledge. It doesn't matter what type of knowledge. It was that I won it. <laughs> There's a local board game bar, and my face is all over their trivia ads because whatever team I'm on always wins. I know like Ooh. one answer, but the teams always win. So I'm you're a lucky charm. Everywhere. You're like Slumdog Millionaire every time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How did you know? Oh, I just read that comic yesterday. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One they time. recently did a Pokemon theme though for their trivia, and that was the one where I killed it. Me and this other guy who are like, Squirtle. we don't know anything. They're like, we know Squirtle. everything. About Pokemon. Yeah. I, Actually, one of the questions was, what number was Squirtle? And so we were like, oh my god, we got this. We what do number this. was Squirtle? <laughs> yeah, in the Seven. I also Three. love how Todd actually thought like the trivia competition you were in was comic book related. Oh, I just, I no, I'm saying there's one comic book question per trivia competition, and she gets it. Like for some reason, like the Office graphic novel has who as the artist. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually have had comic trivia themes at this board game bar, and they're always like Batman. 
or Marvel. And I'm like, I don't read no. DC or Marvel. <laughs> and so everyone's like, what is the name of this obscure doctor character from 1984? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like the Batman published in 1984. Can you do like a Boom Studios one, please? <laughs> <laughs> I can I guess IDW better. Like, yeah, please. please. <laughs> hey, thanks. I've read More one valiant. Help me. I'm more of a Bolt fan. <laughs> Said oh, no one ever. Said no one. I like Bolt. Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I just started uh, Resonant. Yeah. I haven't read that. You'll have to. I feel like, I feel like I that's like a lot. series for me because I'm not like you know, I'm not a huge horror comic fan. Yeah. But so I feel like that's not up my alley, but everyone always talks about it. It's and really by cool. everyone, I mean Bruce and Stephanie. So that's why I still have that's everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think you got the resonant question right that I got wrong. I and mean, we both guessed. <laughs> <laughs> so, what ticked me off the most, Chaos, this is how much I freaking cared about that. Oh my Hi, Steve. I Everybody would, hello, everyone. The Red Mother trade. Just so I'm like, I'm going to read Mo Red Mother so I can know, so I can be <laughs> in the final. <laughs> They didn't ask a single thing no, about it. And I'm like, I do not like the Red Mother series at all. Neither and do I. I'm, I don't like Red Mother at all. Well, really? I literally wasted $12 just to try and beat you, and it didn't help me at all. And now <laughs> yeah. I'm Your fast we dumb help We you. officially have, uh, I think, everybody who could possibly be here. I want to get a quick <laughs> tally for... Kong versus uh, no, who I think is going Burn. to show up is a better Burn, Burn still has an opportunity. <laughs> My to show dad up. will be on after we're <laughs> off air, so it's fine. He is Godzilla, so we'll count him as a Godzilla. Um, no, no, he should, be, he should he should be here. He should have to be here, I think. So we got Godzilla, we got Kong, we got Godzilla, Godzilla. Wait, who's gonna win in the in the movie? Right? Who's gonna win in the movie? Realize no, our, our screens are different. Well, Todd keeps changing no, it to his own Kong's benefits. Yeah, so I'm just Kong's gonna say gonna who's gonna win in the movie so they can. Todd's like, the who's off. the best monster named Godzilla? <laughs> yes, Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> I mean, my my thing is my my most honest answer is all I've ever seen is Godzilla from like what 2013. And sure. Kong Skull Island. So, and I think I've seen the '98 Godzilla like once. '97. '97. Yeah. Oh, '97. Yeah. Come with me. Hell, Ryan. So that probably explains yeah. my whole like yeah. back knowledge. So, based on that, I have to go for Kong yeah. because Skull Island. Yeah. So, so good. good. All right. The characters so got, from Rampage. The characters so from God, Rampage. Godzilla. Kong <laughs> for Nick. Aaron <laughs> is Godzilla. Bearded is Kong. Oh, hold on. Bearded is Kong with freaking P. Diddy and Jimmy Page taking the guitar and smacking in the face. Yeah. That's one of the greatest music videos of all time. No, 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 no. What am I? What's the full question? What's what's? You're not clear. Who wins in a fight? Okay. Irrespective of what wins in this fight. Not no. Who wins in a fight? In this fight. No, 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 you need to make it this fight, Todd, so we can clarify it more. Well, this, everyone knows this, 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 movie this, is movie. Movie. this is what we're talking oh. about. We're not talking about this specific movie. It's going to be neither of them. Yeah, it's going to end gonna with them, them throwing out. Of Ryan. <laughs> it's going to end with them throwing out, taking on Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, it's going to be another Batman versus I'm Superman. Out. I love the Todd, idea of it ending Todd as they're both like throwing a punch and then it's faded back. Yes, I'm not. I'm not a super Ring the bell. Kong ding, ding. So I need someone to let me know. Is Kong and Godzilla's, are their mother's name Martha? Yeah. Oh. No, it's Martha. <laughs> Mothra. What did you say that name? Why do you, that is, oh, why do you know Mothra? <laughs> is Kong why did you say that? Destroying Godzilla and then Godzilla's just going to be like, Mothra. And it's the only, it's only like, word Godzilla <laughs> knows. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm Mothra's right. illegitimate guy. I am so good because Batman versus Superman. Is so, good. who wins in a fight? Got because we didn't talk just this movie this whole fucking night. We talked about the entirety of them as characters. Who wins in a fight? Godzilla versus King Kong. I say Godzilla. You are wrong. Godzilla. 
Godzilla. I think like yeah. in an all-out death battle style, yeah, Godzilla, hands down. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way Kong could fight that. Godzilla fought his way through hell. Three, four. There you go. There yeah. you go. Poser. So unless it, so unless it's Godzilla versus Shredder, since they've both been through hell, I mean it's not yeah. a fair fight, you know. Poser. There you go. I'm. My Steve. answer hasn't changed. It's, it's cool. still still Godzilla. Godzilla. And Steve is holding King up King Kong. Kong. Winning the movie. Yeah, yeah. So that's fine. But that's five to eight. Five to three. <laughs> I'm reading my fingers. I'm bad at math, but I know who won. <laughs> Kong. Obviously Kong. Yeah. I'm bad at math, Kong. Because the underdog <laughs> always wins because it's a movie. So. Yeah. Cool. All right. So that my answer goes. counts five points. <laughs> Hi, Southern Comic Geek. Welcome to the mayhem. Welcome to the Thunderdome. <laughs> Woo! So, you know, I realize is that it's after midnight. You stupid motherfucker! It's after <laughs> one a.m. is when it's late night. You no, son of no, a I... <laughs> you, you made it half an hour earlier every night. Now it's all of a sudden twelve. It was twelve thirty oh, yes, last night. I can't wait till you guys start to do a stream at like two in the afternoon. And yeah, yeah. guys, it's late night with Marina boys. <laughs> it's five o'clock, and I'm like, hey guys, it's almost bedtime. Yeah, it's it's the early bird special. <laughs> it's 9 p.m., guys. It's just 9 p.m. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chaos chaos in this weird time zone. Hey, Southern, you should hop on and wake me up because all these jabronis over here are talking about Godzilla being, being the best. And we all know it's freaking Kong. Because tell me this. How I many promised a comics conversation. So no. No. Oh, yeah, that's good. good. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, how many, 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 how did you ask how many braces did Godzilla have? Because they've just got fucking <laughs> theme park. <laughs> oh, theme park. <laughs> I don't know. Something that's killing the children. Oh, shit. Hi, Dan Piercy. What's up? DanPiercyComics.com. What's up? Dan, I feel like I can high five you because we're probably like 10 minutes away from each other. We have the mustache now. We've been missing Cole and we officially have the mustache. I feel like I can high five you because we're probably 10 minutes away. Oh, you have an echo, Dan Piercy. We've been missing Cole and we've been missing Cole. I'm going to mute you for just a second. There we go. Oh. Hello? Dang, you got to get that under control, buddy. Oh, the audio is still coming through. Chaos is the center square tonight on Hollywood Squares with the hey. burritos. Hey. To block. Again, chaos, why, chaos why did he not have his camera on is, again. That's a, that's a good point. Because Our... I'm, I'm putting my kid to sleep. Well, you're not. Oh, oh. That's very sweet. Boo. I don't like soft-hearted chaos. Chaos is great. Humanizing. I liked him better before he got big, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait, what she chaos. said. Chaos got big. <laughs> when? when did that happen? I missed it. And I'm staying in here because the newborn, I can hear is crying. So if I go out there, I'll have to, like, hold him. Mm. I've been there. Oh, yeah, you don't want to hold that. Feels like it's All right. So, <laughs> um, I would like to know people's thoughts on this week in comics to try to talk a little bit about comics on this live stream. This, yeah. um, this was my number one comic of the week. Wrong. Fear I case. opened it. Uh, I very much enjoyed it. This was my, I believe, second. Favorite comic of the week. Wrong again. Wow, you suck. That's funny. <laughs> and then, uh, oh no, sorry, that was my third. This was my second favorite. Yep. My God. Todd, uh, didn't you forget that The Shepherd came out this week? <laughs> no, I did not. I was misinformed by previews. Uh, these are my top three. And then Hellblazer, uh, Tom Taylor, Constantine. Oh, I haven't read that yet. Would technically be in here. but I was going to do that today and I didn't. Todd, Todd, are you ready for me to tell you why you're wrong? On I would <laughs> love it. That's I would love that conversation. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let me go on a pee break and you can tell me all about it. 
I love that book. Uh, four ninety nine. Fuck he it. loves it so yeah. much. It didn't break his top three. I. Oh my god! It's Jason in New York, and also I knew. I think I said it on this week in comics that I knew Chaos would hate it because it's an aftershock book, and he doesn't like the price value. Oh, I do <laughs> love after, I love aftershock books, but you don't like I their price. Yeah. How is bearded? How does bearded reading that if he just talks about how much he hates horror and it's that's the most sounds like the yeah. most generic. This kind is a of horror. this is a noir like detective comic. Yeah. It's not a horror comic. That's that's. Oh, I thought someone at. just said it was Jason in New York. It is. Yes, it that's is. That's why I love it. <laughs> I, there's a difference, chaos. I will say this. There's a difference between for me when it comes to horror and like slash detective. Like this isn't. Which is weird because this is a better detective comic that came out this week. This isn't Hotel. This this is more. No, it's. I liked Fear Case and Matt Canton did great. I love it. It's but good. It's I a thought, good. I it's a good New York, one. New York was better. So I don't love horror either, and it needs a, a twist. Like I love Event you Horizon, love horror, for example, and that's like sci-fi horror. Like, right. So I, I need either, a twist, but you me, were, Hotel had that twist. I don't. I think I don't like horror for the sake of horror. I want there to be a story, horror. and I want there to be depth to it. And I feel like a lot of horror books just rely on like, oh, this is gross. Did you did you read Ro- re- Did you read Rogue Planet? No. Okay. I read the I first one. I liked it. Oh, Rogue Planet. See, but that's awesome. why I don't think the Rogue Planet is amazing. Think that's where horror. You, think you missed awesome. out, Greg, is that Ice Cream Man and Hotel did have depth to it. Like well, it wasn't just scary for the sake of scary. Well, and I need to. I I did not like Hotel at all. I feel like I need to read more. I need people to guide me on what to read on Ice Cream Man. All of it. Uh, read one <laughs> and then go to twenty. <laughs> then go to twenty seven. You mean? It, I think yeah. Ice Cream Man. You can just Man kind of bad. jump in and out because there it's more of an anthology than it is kind of a meta series. Well, you can, but there is there sure. is I think I've read three issues of Ice Cream Man and I haven't enjoyed the majority of the three I read. What That's did you read? Fair. You, what were the stories that you read? Like the, like just the general Was it 1, 2 and 3? No. <laughs> I I was late to the train. I literally I no, had but... I had a man number one on in like my hand. I'm like, this doesn't seem like a book I would like. And I threw it back on the shelf. I did the same thing. And Nick picked it up and bought 10 more copies of that same book. I, <laughs> because... I do not have number one. Well, I don't have first print number one. Oh, well, then. <laughs> um, no, let me. I'll. I so think the, the series covers so many like existential horror topics that, you know, I think making recommendations is totally based on what part of your life do you overthink and feel anxious about? So I think here's, I read, I read issues 20 and 21. Those are the two that I read. I have a lot more. I just haven't read them yet. I mean, if you read 20 and didn't like it, it's going to be a rough series for you. Yeah. So I, mean, that's why I, I mean, 20 <laughs> is arguably that's, I mean, that's, that's definitely one of the best issues for sure. So if if that's not your thing, then <clears throat> it Shepherd is a great book, <laughs> and it came out this week. Hey, um, Dad. Um, if you're getting the Scout Box, Dad, um, I appreciate it. But if you're not, make sure to use Burrito all caps in the web store all and caps. get ten percent and get ten percent off your Scout order. Um, so you get the Scout Box, Dad. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, he did. Your dad got the scout box, but he was Before using. I did. No, he was using two brothers ten percent off code. <laughs> and that, that's how you got. He wasn't using. No, it's your it's so I get that. 11, I think at eleven percent. I think he pops in on ours. He subscribes to them and gets notifications. <laughs> I use Lost in Comics as code. Smart. Smart. Lost in. Um, all right, so those are my top three. Those are Bearded's wrong top three. Nick, what were your top three? My top three were Shepherd, Fear of Face, and Sea of Sorrows. <laughs> I don't. I don't have them handy because uh, I spent some we'll, time we'll today actually Hollywood putting Square my comics style. away. Uh, Aaron, what were your? Top and three then Future State Wonder Woman was fourth. 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so of my new comics this week, I've only been able to really read uh, Deep Beyond and um, the new Engine Award. And I really liked Deep Beyond. So I guess that's going to be part of my top three. If I could pull <laughs> old stuff in, I did finally read Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky. Ooh, so how hard that did you was, get? How, I, yeah, how many good. did you get in? I only did the first volume because um, okay. I got Hoopla. And so that, really like, good. yeah, <laughs> and that kind of caught me off guard a little bit. And right? also, I couldn't help but laugh when he was mentioning his master. And I was like, hee hee, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a spoof. Hee hee hee. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> the hand in the foot. Hee hee. Um, yeah. So I guess those are my top three because that's really all that I read nice. and enjoyed. Um, like. <laughs> so I, I find it interesting that Deep Beyond's in your top three. I did, mm-hmm. I did enjoy it, but. <laughs> There are 19 readable pages in this book because I counted because I read it digitally first before I got this amazing Peach Momoko sketch variant, which is gorgeous. Um, but there is so much that is that was the other one that was that's a good yeah, one. It's real good. Um, <laughs> the there is so much going on. There is in this yeah. book. There is. There's mystery, there's intrigue, there's a dystopian future, there's underwater scenes, there's um, an apocalyptic land, and then also, like, secret origins and, like, evil twins and all of... There's so many themes. It totally reminded in, me of... Chaos jumping in and out like that's creeping me out. It's like a <laughs> horror movie, like, oh my god. <laughs> there's so much going on deep beyond what is what I, I have a hard time putting my top like echelon of books this week because there's so many themes i can't son of a bitch i can't i can't like i don't know what it is yet oh i like that yeah what are you what's what's tickling your fancy enough to grip you phrasing what part of it whatever phrasing who has a fancy and what am I tickling? <laughs> um, Last time Chaos got his fancy tickled, there's oh. another kid now. <laughs> oh um, I kind of just, I'm a huge sci fi fan. So the whole like post apocalyptic, um, everybody has to live in safe colonies thing. I've really yeah. been enjoying that this year because, like, are you reading uh, We Live? I am not reading We Live. I, oh, We Live is amazing. <laughs> they feel from the sky is in my stack. Yeah, okay. like, because if you're a big sci-fi fan yeah. and Deep Beyond was on your like top list for this week, oh, they you could right. read this because it's nothing like the same feel of Deep Beyond, but it's also okay. sci-fi. Okay. And Book's lower I, because the uh, live... The live. It. It's in my stack. Yeah. And, and it actually you'll, makes you'll sense. love it. Yeah, it does. It's okay. really it's, <laughs> so, it's amazing. Fair. And there's a very cute character along with it's it's amazing. You'll okay. love what it. Book you'll love. What book is it, Todd? What book is it? What it's book they is fell it? from the sky. They, they fell. fell from the oh, sky. Yeah. So game. I recently had to review my pull list with my shop, and it's like 75 current items along. Yeah, and I, it's I, just I hear like, you. I Poser and I can you. feel you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so bearded too. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have to be a little discerning. Um, yeah, no, I get that. But if you have, they fell from the sky in your in your it, stack. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna really. Enjoy it. I need to read both of them. It's been a long. Week. I ha- I pull Ooh, Fear Case and Luna. Hmm. I'm just not gonna see them for three weeks because of your service. Yeah, Dan. In that case, that, yeah. Dan, was that Traverse City? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Got, so those are those are. And we got bearded, going on. We got bearded's top three. No, you have not gotten mine yet. All right. <laughs> we got, <laughs> Which we got maniac. maniac from New York. Uh, what's some Batman Hopper? bullshit? Hot <laughs> <laughs> Rod Fear Case was number was up there. Oh. Yeah, uh, bearded bears. You get that top three. And then I will throw in. Um, a the sci-fi book that actually made sense boom 
I'm not gonna. I only picked what I picked because it was what I read. No, it's great. I, no, I, I picked. I, I respect. Beyond. It's no, I don't respect the beyond, but that's no a fault to you. It no, is. I was hoodwinked by freaking image, and that's on. So, that's on me. So pretty. It's so pretty. I was like, it's ooh, so this is beautiful. Pretty. I'm gonna get it. Everyone's talking about it. And everyone's talking about Deep Beyond because no one knows what the heck is freaking going on in this book. Yeah. Bearded it's a, it's uh, a weird number one. Did you get those really from the Gehanna store? What? Did you get those from the Gehanna store? Uh no. Uh I think I got Deep Beyond from Gehanna, but um Maniac of New York and Fear Case I got from Laughing Ogre. Yeah, yeah, just curious. Gehanna is so the I worst name for a comic store I've ever oh. heard. So my poll, my poll, Master of Pan. Yeah. Oh shoot, we got shit to talk about. Have you read about that? Have I read haven't it? read it yet. So I started it with the digital. <laughs> I'll hit you up when I do. But I started with the digital, and I was like so overwhelmed by the art that I couldn't even pay attention to the story. That's the magnetic story. too. That's who does yeah. Gunland. Yeah. I started with I the digital. That. I started the yeah. digital too. I just didn't finish it. I got about twenty pages in. It is pretty I've, good. I've read it. Oh my god, we have to talk about this when you guys are done. <laughs> oh, well, then I'll read it. Yes. Maybe we'll get on Aaron's podcast. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll, have we'll girls. go on to Aaron's for it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So you, what the book is Aaron, Aster of Pan? Oh, it's so Aster good. Pan. I read the I read the digital oh. and I ate it up after Gunland from Magnetic. I have been. How'd you eat up something digital? It's so fucking, <laughs> it's weird. Uh, I actually it's only have half an iPad. Really I only important. have half an iPad now. Um, <laughs> but that's why I'm stuck with this physical stack because I ate my iPad. Um, yeah. Bites, a lot of bites. A problem. So it's Fear Case, They Fell from the Sky, and uh, Maniac of New York. Fear For me. Yep. Cool. Uh, Chaos, what's your top three this week? Uh, I didn't read today. I was busy at work. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, you but you, like no new comic books, books this, books this week. Has four days. I didn't even read X Men. I didn't read. I didn't read anything. I read. Um, I I was rereading these Savage Shores because I'm rereading stuff that I've read. Nice. So that when someone cries in front of me, it's like not a big deal that I get interrupted. Cool. It's really awesome. Um, once I have to so push a button real quick. These sad um, so it, it, he, did, he can't <laughs> actually talk right now, but his favorites were Far Sector, Fear Case, and Luna this week. It's really cool. Um, good, good picks, Chaos. Yeah, I vote Todd. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Poser, you are reading something currently. What are your top three picks of the week? Hey, true call. Hey, yes. cool. Did awesome. anyone pick up psychodrama by any chance? Do you guys even know Gilbert Hernandez? No, 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 no. no. I don't know what that is. Wow, that's a comic. I don't know what you're talking about. Cool. But how about so... Gilbert Hernandez? Do you know Gilbert Hernandez? <laughs> I know Gilbert Hernandez, but where does the book come from? Oh, that's his new book. It's pretty terrible, <laughs> but I'm just picking up because. Oh, Gilbert I'm Hernandez. like, where? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so so I haven't. Out weeded out to record my monday video yet but i've got seven in the pile so they thought what a poser pile. you picked the one everyone else did okay hey hey poser have you, uh, have you had a chance to talk to the author of that book <laughs> yeah <laughs> what yeah. no way where could they find that it's somewhere on my youtube channel <laughs> why haven't i read that why haven't i, I read really x-men like or venom I agree. Uh, Venom. This is, the best Venom. Okay. this is the no, best I'm Venom cool. since early on. One that nobody's mentioned yet. Change oh, of the Grave. I did not I care for. Almost it. got that. Oh, oh you I, didn't I care got for it. That. I got it in three weeks. Mm. I did not care for that book. Hey, I loved that book. It was, it was good. I loved it. I know you did. Uh, Who wrote Luna again? Who wrote Luna? I forgot. I don't Maria, have love, love it. it. Oh yeah, she's great, dude. She, she wrote it a... and illustrated it. Yeah, yeah she and does them both. this is a Jenny Frazan, but she also yeah. worked on the cover with her too. Yeah, yeah. No, Maria Lovett's great. She has a crazy drug-addled, like Ooh, almost like that movie run, huh? Nice. Oh. Sorry, he just hold up resonant, and yeah. I I started reading that. So I'm not current. Yeah. Wait, is Poser? We're picking three books, buddy. Yeah. No, he does seven though. He yeah, you can't just pick extra books. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. Know, that's, that's, watching watching that's my stack that I have to weed through to make my video. 
Hey, hey guys, these are my 18 top picks <laughs> of the year. Yeah, these are, I love yeah. All here's of my them. top picks. You can't just mention these that Firepower number eight was your fifth favorite <laughs> book of the week. You can't just to be fair, that. Todd did that. Todd did that. Yeah. You can't, that's what Todd does. You can't no, mention that. I forgot, Hellblazer. I forgot about Hellblazer. I forgot about Hellblazer because I read it on fucking Tuesday instead of Wednesday. <laughs> on a different vein, these were the last two books that I re read uh, before I picked up. It's the like, only scout that's better than box. White Ash. It's the only scout books that are better than White Ash. Oh, your tongue, son. Okay. Those, are uh, okay. those are the only ones better than Greg, White Ash. Bearded's not going to like these because oh, they're my. scary and they're, yeah, they're horror horror little feelings. They're so good. It's so fucking I thought they were good. okay. Oh, Thank fuck you. you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the first, the first, I'll be honest. I, I remember liking it. I read the first trade. I remember liking it. I don't remember it for shit. I have to be, I have to like go flip through it to remember what I read. Like it didn't, so I don't know about those two books, but the first wow. trade I read. On. All right, Ryan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have a, Actually, I read a lot of stuff. I read most of it was from last week. Um, I can tell you the one book that I read from this week that um, really spoke to me. Uh, Firepower. Firepower number eight. I really like that one. It was a good what one. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Time out. Where's Legion of Comics? I need to bring him in to just tell Ryan how dumb he is for saying that right now. <laughs> what, what were your you didn't like three? Firepower 8? I, I missed Ryan's top three. What were your top no, three? No, he just said it, the first one he mentioned was Firepower 8. Oh, that's a bad call. That's <laughs> why I want Legion of Comics. Well, I, like it. Okay. I, really a... liked, I really liked Firepower. It was really good this week. I yeah. liked it better than Your that. opinion is wrong. <laughs> but it wasn't the best comic, which is fine. Your opinion is stupid. <laughs> I didn't yeah, get to I number eight. Read, I think I read that and um, next to that, man. I flipped through that one. And I don't know. Like, I really like how Future State launched, but the number twos that I've read and stuff have been uh, kind of hit and miss. Mostly the Batman ones have been really good. Okay. Oh, I read Swamp Thing. That was good. Swamp was Thing it? number two. I haven't got to read Swamp Thing two yet. Ooh, Swamp yeah, Thing that takes up my whole really first good. three spots. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm uh, really excited for this coming week, though, man. There's like a lot of the number two follow ups to number ones that I thought were really good. Green Lantern? Where, where is that going to go? Because those were Green all one Lantern. shots, right? So are Green we Lantern was so disappointing. Oh, the only the first story, Shop Chaos. Yeah. Uh, they were I really like that Jessica oh, Cruz uh, Jessica story. Jessica Cruz story tell was. You why. Imperious Lex and Swamp Thing, oh, so, so far, what Lex I read. Was, Imperious Lex was. Oh, Fucking awesome. <laughs> I was hoping the Superman I, Wonder Woman book would be Superman, good because it's by Dan yeah, Waters. It was awesome. But it was it was doo doo. It was terrible. Uh, <laughs> Which one was? You know why, you know why Superman, Superman Wonder Woman Lex was good because it has a dope writer. Mark Russell. What, what, what? <laughs> yeah, but Dan Waters is one of the best writers around too. But yeah, I, agree, I don't think he, that that book was good. Yeah. He shot the bed probably because DC made him. <laughs> yeah, no, it was okay. Love, I the, also love Legion of Superheroes. That oh, was Legion of Superheroes was unreadable. Yeah, I, I, I made it like four pages and I was just like, yep. I don't. I, I got I halfway nothing. through and I'm like, I already put it in my <laughs> to donate bin. <laughs> to be fair, though, to be fair, the series was unreadable, too. So it's yes, just consistent. No, it's consistent. They really, they really <laughs> stuck true to the essence I, of it. I, the series oh, was good. I, I, I AOK'd you a Legion of uh, Superheroes. Bro. Oh, thanks, buddy. I, it'll, I'm going to be on Whack Comics on Tuesday. You'll see it there. <laughs> Are you going to roll it up in the joint or something? I, I don't Hopefully, know. we're still we're still, we're still, work, we're still <laughs> workshopping what we're gonna do, but I'll make sure it's there. <laughs> I, I hope the four-hour stream of you literally just singing the Legion of Superheroes theme. <laughs> no, it's gonna be just the Batman animated series. Theme. I would watch that. I would watch that because it's gonna be crazy. good. <laughs> Yes. It's well, the best one. Right. Not reading DC, by the way. Like Yep. <laughs> like I feel <laughs> I'm like, okay, no one likes DC right now. Not no, it's, anything. <laughs> you're really not. There's um Wonder Woman, Future State is the only thing worth grabbing. I read the first one. Shut yeah, up. And it's because it's so fucking it's gorgeous. It's, it's amazing. Is so 
It's jo- good. Joelle, yeah. she it is. I want more it lady. It hurts my brain so how good it is. So I've already pulled. I've already got Wonder Girl number one coming because I won't miss that art. I will Thank not. You for the I, I've enjoyed yeah. Brazilian Wonder Woman. Yeah, Yara is dope. All right, so we've got a really wrong answer from Ryan for number one. What's your other <laughs> two, Ryan? <laughs> well, I don't know because I haven't really read anything. That's all. Oh, I really perfect. Read. So fire, po- the, the, the fire. Is like yeah. all I've read is firepower. For number one is fire. Number two is power. Number three, three is three number is eight. eight. Yeah, hey, Ryan. I read Wait, next Ryan. Batman, but it was like. Eh. Next Batman. Wait, Ryan, on your podcast, you have five out of three. <laughs> on your podcast, you have a long ass list of things you reviewed. For Dude, this we, week, they came. They that's came a fake out? podcast. He just puts it out yeah. there for numbers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're just what Poser says about him. He, just <laughs> <say the> opposite. <laughs> he adds one to Posers and then reverses it. <laughs> Time out. Before we move on, Todd, what is uh, what is the new? What's the series that Yara Four is going to be on? Because I just Wonder up, Wonder Girl number one. I just looked up Wonder Girl and I couldn't find it. Is it one word? It no, it's two words, and I, it just it's starting in May, I believe. Is it on Evo? Uh, it was on League. Of, not, it not was League. God, it was on I League. Hate that title though, Wonder Girl. Oh, Wonder. Yeah, Girl. Wonder Girl's the worst, yeah. but it's on. It's League probably of, just announced, League Greg. Games. It's probably just I, announced I, if I, it's May. I put it. I can't put it on my digital poll yet. It's no, on I don't League think of so. Comic Con Geeks. People are excited about the character, and uh, oh, it's Wonder Girl. Uh, like did, the land did, uh, uh, did Future State Flash number two come out this week? Yeah, it did. Yes, yeah, yes. Um, okay, it was better than number one. Um, but it, well, the problem I is, it, so. it, it, yeah, um, <laughs> it feels like what Williamson would have done if he had to, like, if he had a cold and he needed to take two weeks off. And he had like, he was like, "Hey, just like do this for a couple of weeks. I I'll come back and it'll be fine." It's I uh, you I'm know really what like he's he has Barry. all of their oh, weapons. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I like Old Man Barry. I would like to May see something 18. like that, like an Old Man Logan, but we're gonna have Old Man Barry. Old I thought Man it was Barry. cool. Like, but it's no power. It's just like strength. It's science, less like, gritty. Like, yeah, like remodeling the weapons and stuff. Like, I really like that side of the story. But the end there, it got kind of convoluted. I was like, I don't know, yeah. you're trying too hard almost, you know? There it is. Look at how amazing that is. It looks cool. That's a great. That's the Brazilian movie. girl, right? My yeah. goodness. That's Yara. My opinion. My opinion. <laughs> hey, it's on the 32 title. pages and it's 399 chaos. So, you know. They're never thirty-two pages. That includes they the are. ads. Those, those are those are those, no, those, it's, it's hey, like, like no, twelve. Pages. There's thirty-two pages if you include the front and back cover and the ads. And the ads, yeah. Yeah, it's, oh, wow. yeah. it's twelve pages of content. <laughs> but Joel <laughs> Joel Jones, it, check out Joel Jones's sketch of this, and then look at Jordi Belair. This is a duo that I want to see do comics over and over again. It is. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Just it's amazing. Just to this that. is such a combo that I am all in for. If they are ever paired up with anything, I will be buying whatever it is because it is unreal how good it is. You have read Lady Killers, right? <laughs> yes, Lady Killers is amazing. So good. It's so good. So good. I love that. I think Joelle's done a lot of like actual fashion design mm-hmm. art oh she's just she's amazing i will if there's a joelle jones book your grabby at, hands at, yes there's i wonder woman it's would have just to weird shit. it's That's just a weird choice choice wonder like woman would have to shit <laughs> right. the entire bed i have both covers of number one because i can't help myself he's oblivious really, to it too you're oblivious <laughs> to i'm like jane me. goodall look at yeah. todd in his natural habitat <laughs> Godzilla is defeating him. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? That's a flying monkey in the Oz. Um, <laughs> anyways, so Ryan, thank you for your very um, bad out, provocative list. Steve, what are your top three? <laughs> well, 
first, I'd like to say thanks for letting me come on the stream. <laughs> it's nice to be a part of the it's group. The third time. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. Thanks for and, hopping uh, out on your Razor the only phone. Thing I <laughs> this is the, only, you, this so is the only way I can get on. Power number eight, right? <laughs> razor phone. <laughs> this is the only oh, way Steve, I can get on for now. What can I say? Steve, Steve, we're the same. I'm using my phone too. I just. Okay, <laughs> uh, show, I like those bits where you were zooming in like that, where you were creeping me out. I was laughing my <laughs> ass off. Oh, nice pores. Nice yeah, pores, bro. Hey, if everybody. Whoever's watching still for some fucking reason isn't on our Discord. The Steve Chaos uh, rivalry <laughs> is worth the price of admission, which is fucking free. No, nope. so there's show a rivalry. Up. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, nope. that's what the I thought, video. I felt like the I best talked. part is that Chaos doesn't even know about. Yeah, nope. that's what's so <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nope. Sometimes nope. I'll type something on the Discord and I'll be like, "These guys probably think I'm a major asshole," and I'm like, "Oh, I hope they know I'm just <laughs> oh, busting balls." Like, man. Oh, perfect. It's so nice he can say it. Nope. And get away it's with why it. It's why we love chaos so much. The more asshole you are, the more we love you. <laughs> Which Todd, is why we love Todd, chaos the most. Say, Todd, I hate to say you're wrong on your own channel, but you're wrong. The best you don't hate that. This is literally every time you're on. <laughs> the, the, best, the, best, the best part of Steve on. On anything on streams or Discord is when he literally just rails on the person who's on poser right on poser. Yeah, and it is when who does that is worth the price of admission. When who does chaos? Chaos doesn't acknowledge that Steve and him have a rivalry. Where <laughs> Steve just lays in the poser, and it is. Beautiful. That's the only reason I'm in your guys' Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he does that to no Poser reason. too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's cheating yeah. on you, Chaos, with Poser by making fun of him. Wait, wait. Does, someone, does someone censor this stuff? I don't get it. I don't I don't know any of this stuff. It's because you're three Where hours have you been? No, it's funny because <laughs> Chaos is so used to us being like, Chaos is a dick. He hasn't realized we have stopped doing that, and Steve is the only one doing that. <laughs> Yeah, right. I'm lost. Yeah, no, that's all right. You're lost in comics, and that's I mean, fine. You're on the wrong channel. Um, <laughs> you, you guys, you. You guys want to be honest. What can I say? At the, at, the, at the end of the universe, two forces will remain. Me and Poser. For the fate of everything. <laughs> there could be only one. Well, anyway. thank God I'm going to be dead then. Um, hey, Chaos. So we're going to do... We're gonna do Steve to the group. We're gonna do Steve's and um, Dan's top three of the week, and then we're gonna do Todd's rag right after this. So I want everyone to be ready. Good. My goodness, you don't know how to talk. You don't know how to phrase things. It's Todd's mask giveaway. It's, it's Todd's random ass giveaway. It's Todd's rag. No, no, fucking hell. Well, no, that is what it is. Oh, well, how we're not, we're definitely yes. it. Yeah, it's Todd's rag. I don't know why you guys. Bearded, bearded, you're the first one to win Todd's rag. You have a Todd's rag in your fucking room right now. Rags are natural. Okay. I, I, I will not admit that I have your yeah, rag. You have my rag. I know. I have. I have confirmation from tracking. <laughs> Burn. Burn. Get your house. <laughs> Stop bringing my dad into every argument we have. I wasn't trying to on this one. Um, <laughs> it's a good thing if rags aren't out. terrifying. Yes, but whoever is still watching, you should um, nail them. And it includes the people that are on the stream that aren't me and Nick. There's nine of us plus Vern. That's yes, the ten. exactly. That's it. Um, I Wait, want to I know again. <laughs> Hey, people hey, look, who are on the stream. That's impression. a good question because it's always subjective. <laughs> I need, I need, <laughs> you fucking asshole. Um, <laughs> I need. I should I leave the chat? No, be, unless you don't want to win Todd's rag, Dad. You should stay in. Um, <laughs> can you, can you um, I want Todd's rag. Let's do this. Thank you. Oh, that's the context <laughs> I'm keeping, and that's what I'm. Aaron from Carol's <laughs> Comic Girls. I love Todd's rag. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I'm need I need you to a question. run by all your ideas by your wife first. <laughs> oh, she's just, fine with it. Wet, she, it's literally a it's wet literally rag. literally a wet rag, I'm going to say. Like, yeah. I don't know what the wetness is. 
<laughs> they <laughs> never <laughs> dry. Probably still here. <laughs> what thought out less Todd's <laughs> rag <laughs> or Nick going after <laughs> Comics Gate on Twitter? No, oh, Nick worst. going at Comics Gate way no, less. No, I have a worst. box that's actually ready. <laughs> the, worst, the worst is Todd's, Todd, you don't even use paper towels. So you literally <laughs> have a rat. <laughs> I All was right, thinking that so, too. I couldn't just work in the joke though. I need chaos. That's what I'm here for. No, we'll do Steve yeah. picks, but I need a question because it's a subjective thing that I get to choose who has the best answer. What's the question for chat? Oh, uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. That seems original. No, because that's <laughs> literally 50 50. <laughs> uh, there's nine Unless of us we here. Call it other than Todd's <laughs> rag. <laughs> what's the alternate? Yes. What's the alternate name for Todd's rag? Tell me in the chat. Mm, I can't go to the chat. I'll Meet tell me you, Steve are on our phones. We can't go were. to the chat. <laughs> the only thing, the only thing I got to read today was I read Future State Flash and Future State Harley Quinn. Uh, I got a review for. Oh, thanks, uh, Steve, for just assuming you're going before Dan. <laughs> oh well, no. He said Steve then Dan. We're going in order. He said chaos. I love you. <laughs> so I didn't say that. It's way funnier to hear you get shit on for it. <laughs> so I got to read Flash and Harley Quinn right and uh, this one called Silver Fox that came out in 2020. And uh, I finished Black Hammer. Black Hammer was real good. I'm looking forward to talk about that and. Uh, I'm about more than halfway through with that Texas blood, and I'm hooked. Is, is Todd on a pee break again? Again? Mm. Burn. He, like he just needs like a bucket. Right? Again, burn. Get your house in order. <laughs> Got him. You got to stop drinking so much water, He has water, to get his man. prostate checked. That's all. No, he just, he just, drink, he uh, just I, drinks water constantly. I, I read uh, X-Men from here, last month, and that one was pretty good, too. I want to hear okay. your picks. Dan? Picks of the week? Yep. Oh, you're muted. You're still muted. Oh, I thought he said that. <laughs> oh, that, there you go. You're still muted, Dan. Hey, Steve, can I get yours one more time? I didn't hear. I cannot. I read um, Dan. Flash and Harley Quinn and uh, I was just kidding, from I last month. Sorry. It's okay. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Do you want me to do sign language? Or say it slower. <laughs> can you hear me? All right, Dan, you're up. You know, uh, lots of apes can do sign language, something lizards can't Nick. do. Nick, ape, Dan's up. <laughs> Nick, I'm on Team Kong, so we're good. You and I are good. Let Dan anyway. talk. Let Dan <laughs> talk. <laughs> Uh, I thought this book was really good. Um, I'm all I'm all on board with uh, the Brazilian cool cover. Very very good. Um, what cover is that? This is the B. I think uh, the Jenny Prison. It is right. Ooh, I like that. I didn't Someone see that one for me. Yes, Beard, you got this, didn't you? That's I just did, regular like, Wonder Woman, cover. right? I'm the, I'm an A cover guy, but I do want that because I love Jenny Prison and I love Jenny Ford. Yeah, that's nice. I'll get um, it. Um, a moral Jenny Hulk. like Forrest Gump. Uh, Forrest Gump, Mortal Jenny Hulk. Gump. Uh, I think the so the syllables are the same, so uh, <laughs> you know, go with that. <laughs> what number uh, is that? Yeah, I mean, this was cool. Uh, I did get. I've been reading it from the beginning. Uh, we're on episode forty-three. Is that the book that everybody freaked out about this week because of the yeah. jury panel? Oh, is that the one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna re-release uh, another version of it with it fixed. Oh, go oh, good. Did anyone read this Redemption? Yeah, because it was it was anti-Semitic. I, did. I, I didn't that. love it. I didn't hate it. Cole it looks talking good. about it. It's it good. That's why I picked it up. So is that we'll that see. AWA book that we're talking yeah. about? Which um, one, man? Um, and then Deep Beyond. Um, I I kept getting into this, and I'm just like, 
I need to be sober when I'm reading this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I haven't finished this yet. So I've only read two books this week. So Dan, I felt the opposite way. I felt like the only way I could enjoy D Beyond was to be drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that, heard that. Heard it's that. meant to be read underwater. You're supposed to get into okay. the pool and read it underwater. And I got some uh, I got some other bullshit that uh I don't know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not proud of shit that I uh that I speculate on, but whatever. Uh do they have you about to show some this? boundless comics? Okay. <laughs> Second print? Yeah. I'll allow it. I'm okay with that. Did you get first print? I didn't. No, no, no. no. I just. Uh, Why is it spec though? It looks cool. You could just like it. Yeah, I, 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 like, that. Okay. I like that cover. It's a cool and cover. And then uh, these uh, Momoko uh, Star Wars Insider two uh, hundreds. Cool. Bought a set of those. Yay! But whatever. So. Uh, is that have like a foil? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's. <laughs> Uh -huh. Foil uh -huh. and then nice. Uh, nice. <clears throat> and then the virgin. So. Mm -hmm. Who is the virgin? It's, it's who is the virgin? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm no, gonna say no, Steve. No one in this group. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I knew you were gonna oh, say oh, that. Few, I knew someone was gonna say it was gonna be me. <laughs> oh. Well, surprise. It's weird because I <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Don't make me bring out the videotape, man. <laughs> Don't make yeah, me bring out um, that tape. I don't no, really need late night. Hey, keep the tape. Really like that. Steve Stex tape yeah. is filmed on a T Mobile sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got this. Chunk. <laughs> But um, so um, Re redemption is nothing to uh, lose your mind over. I'm disappointed. This looks awesome. I love westerns, and uh... I'm ready for this to be one of those that the subsequent issues bang harder than the first because okay. I love that. Because <laughs> okay, okay. I Crazy. feel like number ones. I feel like number ones blow their load, and you're like, "Who? Cool, that was great," and then it goes. <laughs> Are you trying like to get into giving away your rag again? Yeah, oh, I know. Is that what Todd. we're talking about, right? <laughs> you have so many un you have so many out of context Todd quotes that we could just we should cut and use or drop today. Because it's not all memeable on the Chaos, episode. you missed it. The one week he introduced me as oh, speaking of sex criminals, here's yes. Steve. And I'm like, and I brought uh, Steve in. It was great. It was the best transition. God. I was like, I'm I'm so glad. That. That's a pretty oh. good transition. Someone like What's even that. crazier is that he actually yeah. looked you up on the register first. What I, love <laughs> I get to be the second on the screen now because Nick's. Yeah, hey. my, my new you. much my yeah. My, I finally replaced Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, there was symmetry with me being the only symbol though when I was in the middle. There's just it some symmetry. Beautiful. You know, you, you make a good point. How long has it been since you tried to replace Nick? Oh, it three to four days at this point. It's the longest stretch I've had. <laughs> Steve and Ryan keep saying they have other obligations. <laughs> hey, you need me on there, man. I'll flex you in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? If Ned's the guac, I'll be the uh, so the Bino. My, the Steve my, o Bino. My, my dog opened my door, and my wife, who was allegedly asleep, I don't think she was now, came yeah, in and closed here. my door. So I hear you. I don't think I'm. Oh, so, what was so that, Be wife, Greg? I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it on my site. Here, kit. I'll show you. Um, so my wife, who is three stories up, literally did that <laughs> and said, "You are so loud." <laughs> All right, so we've got through I our top three. Dead world right we above. really we really petered at the end because we've oh, yeah. hit, we hit a lot of guys who haven't hit three but that's fine um we're trying uh, what was my random ass giveaway the question oh what's the better <laughs> name for todd's random ass giveaway was that the that was the yes. question yeah all right so everybody in the chat say what's a better oh, pick a better pick a better topic okay give me a better topic then Last time it was jo best on-screen Joker. What's a better topic? 
It's all. It um, has to be very subjective. It's something that I have an opinion about. Okay. Who's sitting next to fucking wind chimes? <laughs> it's a good question. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. He's sitting water. outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's peaceful though. Ryan, I hate that you are sitting outside. It is. Um, if I sat outside, it is. 12 degrees outside and snowing. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, I get put a, a long sleeve shirt on just because, like, I was wearing a thin t- uh, white shirt. Yeah, you, know? you didn't want to show... You, like, your nips were you showing, so you needed to put another <laughs> layer on. <laughs> I'm inside and under two blankets, so... Yeah, <laughs> I'm in a hoodie, which Where is covering... Which, I'm is. in a hoodie that's covering Fingers. a very... Fun. A comfortable <laughs> comic burrito shirt. Come on, I have your it's question. Like Seventy-two for you. degrees Ooh. right now, man. <laughs> bearded, bearded has the answer. Okay, what is it? Here's no, it's not the answer. It's the question. Okay, yeah, it's Jeopardy style. What's the question? <laughs> if, if you were to cast a movie about the comic burrito, who would oh play Todd? God. Who would play Cole? And who would play Nick? Oh, amazing! That's incredible. That's that is a good question. Good question. It's almost All like right. you're on a Saturday stream about movies. It is yeah. like that. Oh, <laughs> John's sitting here waiting for me to hop on the stream. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, you heard it. You Next will week. get to pick. Um, I'll figure out the number that you get to pick from. But amongst those, you'll have things like uh, Touching Evil, number one, which is incredible. Um, the Rot. Uh, Ogres, Gideon Falls, number one, first print. Um, mm. Half terrific. of those are from his scout box, guys. The ter- yeah, my scout box showed up with <laughs> fucking terrifics. <laughs> Why not? There's a weird scout box this month. It's really like they're really stretching for those those twelve issues. <laughs> Burn it. Is my audio not working for you? I saw the uh, comment about the headset. Do I need the headset or buds? Bearded comic BCB. I, I ignore everyone else. Are you guys we, down with BCB? Hey, when Vern talks. Yeah, you know I, me. Yeah, thank you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's done. <laughs> Dude, Thomas, Mason is right, Todd. Right off the bat, Mason wins with you. Todd, that guy from Silicon Valley. <laughs> You know I, this. I hate that I know who you're talking about. That makes me so sad. I know who you're talking about. Hey, so I Cole, Cole's know, Patton Oswald, oh, which right? One? Cole, Cole's Patton Oswald, right? That's pretty oh, easy. One. I was going to say Patton <laughs> hey, Oswald. Hey, no, it's got to go in the fucking chat and you got to say all three. In the oh, fucking the chat. How is there a I'm winner chasing out of us just coming up with the I'm good not cats? Playing. Yeah, the last thing I need is more comics in this fucking house. So, <laughs> we, so Why we do you agree, live in a fucking house? We agree with comics and chaos. God damn it. That, that Todd is Martin Starr. I Mason. love him in Freaks and Geeks. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a that's good one. Much. Yeah. Well, you I've know who also could play Todd movie. is the guy when he has a beard. What's the what's the guy that plays um, in the Greek the Greek the live at the Greek theater or something where they're he's oh, a British um, guy yeah he's Tommy. 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 who Russell, Russell Brand. Brand Russell Brand yeah if you wanted to yeah. make Todd cooler like if he wrote the script it would be <laughs> Russell Brand you know, <laughs> if, if I he wrote, wrote the, the comic script, script other guy. <laughs> for sure yeah. I'd be Russell Brand <laughs> yeah with a beard though yes. <laughs> Yeah, you'd even have a British accent. He'd keep his British accent. Todd'd be like, "I t- that's how I speak." I speak. <laughs> it's amazing. You are basically me. What are the chances? <laughs> Wait, I want to know. Time out, Aaron. I want to know who is Taron Egerton for <laughs> out of a burrito boy because I know who that is as a person, but who would be that in a burrito boy? Uh, Nick's the closest. For who? Taron Egerton. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Nick. Wow. I disagree, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's clean shaven. Like that's yeah, just I, 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 missed a, I missed a little bit. Has anyone said that I'm Christian Slater yet? Wait, am I Jack Black? Then? No. Because if, no. If I had no, a dollar, I'm Keanu Reeves. 
Yes. <laughs> sure. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <Nice>. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, Nick Nick sort of looks like a, a puppet from Dark Crystal to me. <laughs> 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 I need more Dark Crystal Labyrinth uh, references and I'll have an easy win. <laughs> as we as we keep discussing this. Either that or Martin Freeman, uh, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yes. Is my shouting? No, you're fine. It's your no, wife, is, wife asleep, is literally though. texting me that saying, you are literally Jason shouting. Wait, man, I can see that. Oh so, yeah, a little bit. Okay, if, if you're gonna Hollywood and handsome fi <laughs> us, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna send my wife complaints to you, John. So you can deal with Perfect. it. Are we gonna you get a live set... argument between bearded and miss bearded on the comic burrito? I would this love will be that. The she well, she's up right now because our youngest daughter is up, so she's getting a bottle of milk, and that's why she's hearing me and she's talking. Uh, no, she, <laughs> no, no, I'm talking because she. <clears throat> She does not care about this channel enough to do this, and not your channel, my channel. <laughs> this is going. Yeah, I got in trouble the other day because uh, Thursday night I was on Steve's channel, and uh, apparently I woke up one of the kids because I was too loud. So it happens. You got to stop using your air horn while you're on people's other people's <laughs> live streams. <man. laughs> the, the best, the best is when Chaos was on a stream and he literally is like has a child in hand and he's like, "I'm getting yelled at by my wife right now." I'm so get to sleep. leave. <laughs> I think it was on Bozer's channel. He's like, "I have to leave this stream right now." <laughs> it might have been Wait, on. What, what been when on was that? Companies. When was that? It, I I want to say it was like a post. It, I think it was a I think it was a Bruce and Stephanie channel. Actually, I think it was a post interview. Of, <laughs> um, and you had your your kid, and you were like you were like oh I'm gonna bring them back on and we're gonna talk and you're like all right you're walking through the hallway with your kid you're like I gotta hop off I'm getting yelled at. <laughs> I'm I wake oh I'm, yeah 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 that would have been I remember that that's probably been that's like around the time you. Sh- Started showing up. I guess it was around that trivia time. Yeah. Yeah. That is funny. I'm so glad we don't do a live feed because uh, Jess has to edit out. Since I'm in such a tiny apartment, you can hear my housemate anytime he uses the restroom, anytime he's up walking around. When he's playing your games and he's screaming, I'm so glad it's not live because there are minutes like a good 20 to 30 minutes of us just sitting in silence, waiting for him to finish. <laughs> oh my God, what did I eat? Yeah. <laughs> I come from home from work and he's like, I'm just doing everything. And I'm like, I'm literally like, where's that coming like, from? I text you, I'm recording. <laughs> my two year old walks around this house like goddamn Winnie the Pooh still. So, like, I'll leave this door open sometimes when I'm teaching. So, he'll come in half naked and I'm teaching a class and I'm just like trying to move a hand to like your two year old penis from like the district now yeah. has child porn. Yeah. Yeah. Out like a yeah. That's why Poser's not allowed on YouTube anymore. Yeah. You know what they like father like son. <laughs> I learned it from watching you. I learned it from watching you. I mean Poser, we literally know you are Winnie Pooing it right now. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> I played up D and D with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna give one more minute to everybody to. Uh, oh. Post. oh, I gotta put in an answer. So you gotta put in an answer. I'm gonna give. I'll give. I'll get. I'll say until twelve fifty eight EST, which is three minutes. Put in an answer. What's EST again? Uh, that, that's a Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Western. It's Midwestern time. It's three hours before you. <laughs> I'm talking 9.58, chaos. <laughs> I drank this one tonight. Fat heads? Yeah. Look, Fat you can heads. stop bringing up the Midwest thing. I already conceded you can be part of Midwest. <laughs> Never. Michigan, it's going to be like Columbia. five years from now, and it'll be like, Midwest. Midwest. And I'll be like, yes, thank you, Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Beard is, Beard's going for a two out of two. Chaos, you are the only one, since you have a newborn child, who are allowed to verbally give their answer. 
No, he's not. He's on. Yes, he is. I will. Hey, these are my random ass rules for my random ass giveaway. It's your rag, Greg. That's your rag, bearded. This is Todd's rag, guys. Yeah, it's my rag. I, it's uh, his rag, and he'll do what. I can't wait for the uh, discussion tomorrow with Cole about Todd's rags. <laughs> yes. Cole, hey, yeah, Cole, Todd's Cole's like, wait, you did what? <laughs> hey, Cole's gonna hate me. Cole's gonna hate me because I'm gonna go with. Oh, I'm gonna go with Russell Brandt yes. with a beard. I'm gonna go with yep. Christian Bale because that's what Nick wants. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Pat. I'm gonna go with Pat and Oswald. <laughs> Cool. I, I was going to say Pat Oswald. That's a good I, I one, Chaos. I want to see that movie so bad. I'd be into it. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's a yeah. weird pandemic video movie <laughs> where they try to do it like over webcams and try to make it work. <laughs> Y'all can deep fake as these people in your next uh, <laughs> Yes. Comments. That'd be lovely. Martin Star. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's my yeah. boy. Okay. What are you drinking, Chaos? Martin Freeman. Drinking? Oh, I'm like sad we're not all Martins. We you go. almost had a oh, Martin nice going yeah. bearded. I see you. Okay. Okay. Oh, and now he's using Kitty. Founders. Kitty. Okay. So. Oh, hi. He's just downstairs for some reason. No. Oh, he missed you. We're just fortunate when Chaos isn't in the uh, in the garage. You know. Well, I put it's a baby to sleep. Yeah, exactly. He he's on his own, so he gets to do his own thing. <laughs> I think my wife. I think my wife has earplugs in now, because uh, so, you know if I'm watching the baby, she can <laughs> go to sleep. So I'll send you the uh, silicone earplugs my wife uses. Greg, I'll send you the the brand so your wife can put them in while you're trying to talk about comic books on the goddamn internet. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, she, yeah, wait, yeah, you're gonna send his wife <laughs> silicone what? Earplugs. Get my your wife earplugs. 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 Oh, yeah, I yeah, did yeah, say yeah. earplugs. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Legit. I was just teasing. Her. You know this. They're really I was, good. I was just teasing. You know this. Who said that? Steve. That's what it is. I, no. <laughs> I didn't say anything. If the young lieutenant will talk, he <laughs> wouldn't even hear that we were oh, talking. Oh my, I'm not a young... scapegoat. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> oh, Gosh. Man, guys. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone blames everything on me when I go on this. It's true. Hey, Dan. Why do I keep coming back? <laughs> well, we're talking about stuff that doesn't matter. Have you been to any new breweries lately? All right. It is. Oh, it's 12.59. All right. Let's see what we've got. 59. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like, I like She really too. brings us down to earth and really keeps I like, us grounded. I like Bearded's picks a hey. lot. I, I do too, and I'm trying really hard to find other ones because I don't want Bearded to win a second time. <laughs> I, still, I feel like this is like the new cast of It. Right. Like we could fight Pennywise. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Girls talking the comics and the us, rest of us can fight down Pennywise. The nine of us could get murdered real good by Pennywise. <laughs> I am a coward, so yeah, Pennywise would freaking break. Um, so I do think that... So that's the thing. I think Bearded has the best um, down-to-earth options for sure. Paul to your money. I like so. Steve. It's about it's that versus <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> also, I love that he, I love the glamour that he brought to my <laughs> role when I'm the one picking. You guys are like schlubs, and I'm just <laughs> Tamos. <laughs> Why not? Why no, not there's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying there. Someone are said that I could be. I would be honored with <laughs> Adam Sandler. That'd be fantastic. Oh, for sure. It has that goofy energy. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. So, wait, we lost chaos? Um, Aaron, can you <laughs> say who, who? Okay, so I'm Keanu, mm -hmm. Cole's Jack Black, and yes. Nick is Taryn Edgerton? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Lights and Nick. He's, He's from King. King in Robin Hood, he yeah. played um, Elton John. 
Johnny the He's Gorilla. British. Is again, way too nice for Nick. He's British. <laughs> is, 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 that's oh, I'll really take my it problem. I'll take it. No, oh, I'll take that. Of course yeah. you'll take it because that's oh, amazing. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you are all like a <laughs> nerd from Silicon Valley, and we're all like, and so of course Nick's going to take like, yeah, you're a freaking super spy from Kingsman. And you're right? Robin Hood, and you're freaking Alan John. Yeah, of course Nick's gonna take that. Really good combo. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, I like, I like that. What's crazy is <laughs> that's is my problem. I, <laughs> I'm debating between Bearded and Aaron's because of Nick's role. No, <laughs> <laughs> you no. Know, you know, Johnny Knox. If Aaron would have said Johnny Knoxville for Nick, I'd you know. be like. Easy. That's like a thing. But he people are, people are always telling that. me that I'm like a Johnny Knoxville, Taron yeah. Egerton. But kind Aaron, of just like, yes. <laughs> you know, people and are always. I get that a lot. I <laughs> love Eggy. Shoot Roman candles out of his ass. <laughs> yes. yes. I love. Yes. I it's love Eggy that way. And I yeah. don't know if Egg is worth Nick. And that's that's what hurts because like I. We were talking about before the stream popped up, we were talking about Jason Bourne versus James Bond um, with Anthony. Because I was like, the Kingsman is what Bond should be right now. And I love the Kingsman because it's how James Bond should have evolved. But instead they made him really serious, more like Jason Bourne. And I find that to be a problem. But uh -oh. I love Jack Black as Cole. I yeah. love that because nice. I think yeah, it'd be really amazing. Good. That is it's really good. So good because chaos is back. Um, that's not actually. Uh, yes, thank you, chaos, for coming so, back and helping my argument. Like, well, what, <coughs> what happened? What was your you, argument with maybe oh any other casting? You could have easily clenched, clinched, clenched. Um, We're gonna I'm, gonna go with with e. I'm gonna go with the E, even though the I is more acceptable. Um, Aaron, you are my winner. Bearded is a very close second. Those are bearded. You're you, you're dangerous when it comes to these games. Dude, this is my second bearded appearance deal, on the stream. Do not argue. <laughs> Wait, how did I not win again? How did I? How did I lose a fucking game? You got. He was wasn't even in contention. There's only been close. two. There's only been two. Yeah, how did you win? Let me tell you how you lost. Sorry. Um, so it was if a lot I was like doing, WWF. It was rigged. Shit. The ref came in. If I was going to do a wheel, it would be like eight errands and two beardeds, which would be. All right. So, Todd, do the wheel. No. You want to do wheel. four errands and one bearded? Yeah. Do the wheel. Let's put the wheel up. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Bearded's going to win again. You know that if that's you what's going to happen. I'll be no, very listen. upset. <laughs> Todd, Todd, do the wheel. And if I win again, I all I get to do is pick the number and okay. send it to and Aaron. she'll get it? And she'll okay. get it. Okay. okay. But that all will, right. that will right. prove that my answers are correct. And <laughs> I, he just wants I, bragging rights. I only They're both very good picks. Whatever. Here's the deal. Why what, what were the Cole picks again? Not Jack Black. Why Cole is not Jack Black and he's more Martin Freeman? Because Cole is not as funny as Jack Black. Cole is donkey lips. And if oh, you watch, oh. if, if you watch, oh my god, that's a blast from the past. If you watch Love Actually, that is Cole through and through. He's Martin Freeman's character in Love Actually. Oh, if you watch Love Actually, what a great argument. I love Love Actually. You know, I'm not going to argue movies. It's, oh, because like he's a, he's a porn stand-in. That's yeah. right. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's that mustache. I my hands. It's his stash. Can I it's change mine uh, from Paul Giamatti to Ron Jeremy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, you're so close. If <laughs> if Colin wasn't done, you'd be doing much better right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you guys could not think he's Patton Oswald, but whatever. Oh no. I was gonna Cole. say Patton Oswald, and you beat me to it, Chaos. Oswald. I agree with you. I love Patton Oswald. All right. What else did Cole say though? Or did Chaos say about he said Patton Oswald on who ah! 
Yes. We're going to the yes. wheel. Holy shit. Don't do that. The it's a good thing I don't have this? epilepsy. Yeah. Holy I'm, out, shit. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm 50 years old. Uh, it's 1 a.m. I got to go to bed. I love you all. You're not going to wait for this to be shared and then rolled? I'll, 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 I'll wait. But when I, okay. uh, when, I, when I leave unexpectedly, that's why. I love you okay. all. I'm Let's see. Thanks, Dan. How do I make this go? Uh, spin. Okay. No! Fuck off! What? Uh, Are you fucking Of course, idiot. period wins. Fuck of course, off. period wins. I, I fucking hate it. I don't I don't you fucking... win anything. You stole this because you're no. a loser. <laughs> what the fuck is this witchcraft? The patriarchy is real. Yeah, it fucking <laughs> is. That's why I said. Period's going to end up picking an amazing fantasy for going to win it. This is why I'm a feminist. No. <laughs> what Aaron, the I say, fuck? I will say, last time I picked, I got issue number one of Black. So this is going to Black, be yeah. He, did, he, he did a great pick. He did have a good pick. Black is also a great series. Right. Highly recommended. It is. Who won? Yeah, because it's really good for people who are really like for the people and like feminists and like allies and everything. Yep. Fuck bearded. <laughs> <laughs> who won the who won the spin? I just won that as I just bearded I'm... out of five. One out of five goddamn fucking bearded won the goddamn spin. <laughs> I'm literally I'm, I'm gonna take that sound bite and just literally have that as my text tone whenever freaking <laughs> <laughs> bearded. <laughs> 12, 13. Tell me my numbers, Todd, and I'll pick for Aaron. 19, 20, 21, 22, Gosh, I can't wait until I can have a choice. 25, 26. Yeah. It's going to be a convergence uh, number one. Or Secret Wars uh, 2, number one. Or some random ass. 29. Comic. And I'm mixing them up. Top Dog, number one. <laughs> There's from Star <laughs> Comics oh, oh. or Heathcliff or something. DC Nation number zero. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to read the Hal Jordan quarter, origin story. Uh, quarter, yes. uh, ben Comics. You, All you right. At least take the Marvel and DC out for her. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'll do the I'll do the nearest indie for Aaron. So one through twenty nine, bearded. Uh, trust the process. You'll do what number I pick. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. What did you say? W One through 29. Okay. So you went with Taryn, who is in Kingsman. Yes. There are six issues of Kingsman. So okay. I'm going to put issue number – I'm going to go six. Okay. Because there I are like six issues process. of Kingsman. I was expecting convoluted math involving his age. Right, so the the nearest, the no, nearest. Do, there are six issues of Kingsman in the comics. Number six, Todd. And then I said I would do the nearest indie pick for Aaron. What's, what, what was what's the pick, though, Todd? The, 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 the pick, the, what's fun, you're really good. It's Detective Comics number 27. It's a pretty good pick. That's a good pick. It's the mega sized anniversary issue. That's Ooh. once again, bearded is picking real good, but Would've I have better the pick if it was nearest... actual number twenty seven. I know, right? It'd be way better, and also I'd be like, need you to make way more money for that to be in my random picks. <laughs> I'm fine with not getting a detective comics because I sorted so many detective comics today. I'm fine. Well, you, I said the two nearest indie picks. Yeah. So, because yeah. Bearded won, I'm going to leave this on Bearded because the patriarchy is real and yeah. will not give up his death throws, wow. even though it's fucked. I've wow. hit my glass ceiling. No choice. This is one. This is glass two. Ceiling is comic burrito on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Burrito on a Saturday. Yes. It, Saturday burrito is the patriarchy in so, I did, yeah. Wait, are you saying, Todd, I get to pick one or two? This is one or two. Which one is she getting? One, two. 
because I feel like oh, just she's... fucking pick. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like because she six is... is an even number and two no, is an up. even number. I'm joking. I'm joking. Need a one. Okay. Did you have you won yet? No. Shut up. Two, so let's one, let the champ two, talk. One. Two. So because Aaron is one of the only all my representing here, I'm going to go with one. Hey! Hey! That's a good one. Legit. I, hope Gideon bearded wins. I hope Bearded wins when I win. <laughs> right? Um. So just so you know what you missed out on, you okay. literally were in for – a treat either way. It was Ogre's number one. Was your no, other Gideon Falls better? Falls is better. I but can still no, Ogre's but I'm number saying one for three dollars on Source Points website. I'm really excited to get a, another Gideon Fall no, Falls number one because now I can have one to read and one to just keep. And one to throw against the wall. Arid, Arid's become Wes, <laughs> apparently. You gotta have yeah. you gotta have gloves too. Yeah. yeah. If you're gonna have two of the same issue, you have to Use gloves. Oh my god. No. So Gideon Falls number one. Now I did make this ruling while Bearded was around. Is this a book you own? Yes. So you have the option of either getting it or choosing another option. Um can I send it to someone else? You can if you want to give me another address. You can if you wanted because I made these rules with Bearded. If you want Ogre's number one, you can have it and I will okay. give it to you. Or if you want to keep number one, give me an address and I'll give it to somebody else. I have the address to a cool brothel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need to know your entire address book. The bunny I ranch. Would like bunny my ranch is like, why so, did we get Gideon Falls number one? <laughs> where are these like, AOKs being good. sent to me? Yeah. What the fuck? That's so weird. I I really don't need booster gold one through five. I really don't. Wait, yeah. <laughs> I never I never win. So I'm kind of excited to like get something. Sorry, yeah. so like I kind of want ogres because I don't. Have it. I would love. You don't have it. Awesome. That would be fantastic. Take so it. I'll send you ogres. What? I'm gonna send you ogres number two also. No, that's not how this works. <laughs> I think because... I have a virgin variant that I can send. No, you. shut the fuck up, you assholes. Because <laughs> this week we did learn the difference between virgin and trade dress. I thought yes, that we was did. a good conversation. But, but I have the whole series. Ogres number one is in here, along with a few others. You are, I was really hoping he said two because Bearded is hitting gold. Ogres number one actually applies to the trade that I got from Free Comic Book Day. Mm -hmm. So you're not just getting number one, you're getting the entire trade of Ogre. Oh, thank you, Bearded, for your sacrifice. So, uh, and winning a one in five wheel spin. So I will send you Ogres, number okay. one, mm -hmm. but it will also come with Ogre the Trade because this book is really fucking stupid. <laughs> oh. Unless you've read this. That's so nice. So you get Ogre and Ogre no Ogres, number one. Excellent. Awesome. And, they, and we're going to throw in Gideon Falls 2 just because we like you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, yeah. I. If okay. you would have picked Wait, one, one. Hold on, if you know. picked one number different, it would have been Gideon Falls number two. <laughs> no. <laughs> and because I picked it, she got the good stuff. So, yes. Tom, what you can do with Gideon Falls number one. Nope. Nope, it's already been transferred to another thing. Shut your face. No, shut up. Listen, Todd, this is good. <laughs> no! Aaron, Aaron gets over it. me. Like, this is the most docile I've ever been on your stream. I know, Usually right? I'm like, fuck you, I run fuck this shit. this tonight. shit. Poser, are, are you on train time? Time? You just yeah, fell asleep. I'll kick out for the rest of you. Poser, One time you fell asleep, medication? that's the most docile you were. Poser, I'm shut up. Oh, oh, whack, show up. Come on here. Todd, tell me wait. this is an idea. Oh, yeah. Send ogres to Wait, Aaron. wait, wait. And then okay. what you do with Gideon Falls number one, send it to the real star of the show. Send it to Martin Starr. 
I'll get you the address. <laughs> and if it's gonna randomly send him Gideon Falls number one, oh, gonna be like, what the heck is going on? And it's gonna be fantastic. Tell me that's not a great idea. It is a great idea. I also have James Tinian's address, and I'm wrong, also tempted to him. James Tynan? I have Leon. No, Angus's the, no address. it's Tinny. Anytime chaos is on, it is Tinian. It's <laughs> that little Tynion? baby. No, it's, it's, no, it's, t- t- no, it's, it's time in. That's a oh, tiny burrito. I but when chaos is on, on just to- <laughs> no, yeah, when chaos is on, it's mispronounced. So do whatever you do. I do like that he, his website is Tiny Onion Studio. Um, okay, um, so Aaron, yes, this is from Source Point Press, which Excellent. we actually just started getting review copies from, and I'm very excited wow. about. Um, they're in our backyard, and I'm really excited. Can you name? Weird. Any other source point source point press uh, books? No, but I've seen the label a lot. I just can't think yeah, of no, that's Vlad. Vlad Dracul. Nope. Vlad Dracul. Oh, nope. That was that's scout. That's scout. <laughs> oh, <it is. laughs> uh, you could say. You could say. What about like, Savant? No, oh, Savant is in there. Nora. No you could that's say Nick's no all-time favorite Black Heart. Oh, Dan I thought you were going to say black. I was like, no, that's black mask. Dan, Dan okay. <clears throat> Beyond the Demon Sea. I am doing a very impromptu. I like the ogres. This is a whole convoluted thing. To talk um, about source point. I have to pee. I'm doing a source point thing. You I have, have I have two of these. I'm going two, to send Aaron this. Um, I want you all to decide how I should give this away on Wednesday. Mm, nah. Nope. Nah. I want you all to decide how it is. Hard decide price. how I give it away on Wednesday. Todd, Todd, if you're sending Aaron books, send her Dead End Kids, send her Floppy Cop, because Floppy Cop is Ooh. fantastic. Floppy Cop's really oh, good. Oh, that's weird, because you know what's funny about... Dead or Dead broken, broken Gargoyles... You know what's weird about Dead End Kids? That was good. I forget what was source point. Oh, should I give away one of these Dead End Kids issues that I have two extras of? Yeah, I like how you're flexing that you're terrified. Uh, Send it to Aaron. (laughs) Aaron, do you have a Dead End Kids? I don't. Okay. Well, it's going to Aaron. I have two extras because I have my own and I have two extras. She you should make a jackpot you tonight. One to Nick so he can have one extra. Okay, so <laughs> spoiler alert: I was going to go pee, ask how I should give this away, and then I was going to give it away to the best answer. This was uh, not going to be a Wednesday thing. Um, you should I'm give giving... it to me because I said you said, "Will you come on the stream?" And I said. <sighs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, where did he go? Better. Did you disconnect? Well, I, I booted him. <laughs> yes. All yes. right, here's what I'd like to talk about for a minute. Oh, I should hate when I he pulls that trick. Dead end gives? It, okay, which one should I give away on Wednesday? Floppy gump. And what? <gasps> oh my god, my oh, love. yes. The love of my YouTube life is here. Have <laughs> <laughs> you noticed? Have Hold you noticed that he's able to talk again since? Yeah. Just... <laughs> Lee's here to sing the Teen Hi, Titans Go theme song for four hey. hours. Hey, mm. Wack. So I'm never doing the four hour thing ever again. Just to let you know. That's, that's a good <laughs> choice. Hey, mm. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron just won this Source Point Press. Oh, let's not review it. Let's just tell him. Let's just he she wants some books. She no? wants some books. No, that's no, that's all I'm saying. So <laughs> I'm going I'm going, going to give away okay? I'm going to give away this either tonight or Wednesday, depending on your guy's attitude. I <laughs> I will <laughs> I got a good idea. Just give them to Aaron. Just give it oh, to Aaron. You know what? <laughs> and let's just talk about something cool. She gets or... two dead end kids and savants. <laughs> Take some source point press you don't want, send it to me, and I'll add it to my uh, pile of stuff to send to Lee. Whoever yeah, just yeah. says, 
whoever in the chat just says I'm in, um, I'm going to save this for a, d a rainy day. But the other one was a whole convoluted bullshit thing that was very fun. <laughs> Which is but, just a little Todd. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Savants is just going to be I'm in. And I'm just going to do a fucking wheel of whoever is both it's here gonna, on stream and who is in the thing, and we'll just give it away. It's going to cost you more to send that than it did to... Buy, to That's okay. not true. I spent $18 on this. Sorry, Aaron. Oh. Sorry. Unless, unless Sam King is still here, it will cost less. <laughs> <laughs> I know Sam, he left earlier tonight. Thank God, the Canada vote is out. <laughs> Why don't so, you just drive to the border and leave it right there on the floor? Oh, no, that's what I did with the last thing, and that's why he's wondering where it is. And I keep saying yeah. it's fucking right <laughs> oh, there. Oh, time out. Time oh, out. shit. Todd. Oh. The Todd. The fact what? your dad is still in the chat and I know. just entered the giveaway, you better just give your dad the comic because... That's and no let's fun. move on. Let's and move on. No, I just, remember when I thought King Kong Godzilla was just getting old. I, hey, now, now I now, now I think back on that, and I'm like, man, I wish. Yeah, we were I know. King Kong. Wish for that. I miss I'm the King Kong go Godzilla. Piss, so. Just throw. Yeah. I'm in. Do you like Godzilla chair, or Kong? I'll give this away. King Kong. King Kong all the way. Oh, okay. fuck you, Lee. There you go. Yeah. King King Kong's way more mobile. Like he can get around and kick your ass. Godzilla's like just sliding around places mm -hmm. like a stupid fucking. But fire. He's point. got fire. No, he's King King Kong. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know what else you want me to say. But who else is King Kong here? Hey, Wag. Just say I King, am. Kong. King Kong. Just do it. Me and Nick. Game. It's me and Steve, like all night long versus everybody. Is Todd peeing again? Dang it. Yes. Yeah. Probably. It was the whole the whole the whole competition was we had to think of something while he peed. <laughs> I think he said something about dancing, but no. <laughs> Nick, Nick, can you just kick Todd out of the stream? Like right now? Yeah. Poor Todd. Like that? Uh, I mean, he can, he, when he gets back, he can just click in. What a power move. Oh, my God. It's all, it's I'm going to do it in. <laughs> but, Nick, how boss does that feel right now for you? Right now, you're Pretty like, good. I literally no. kicked, out, I kicked out the face of the comic burrito out of the comic burrito. Yeah. That's a boss move. We're running a new burrito now. I don't know if I can, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can handle it, though. Well, no, we know you can't handle it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just, just, just call me Carne Asada Steve. Maybe we'll just put that right back up there. Nick, Carne Asada Steve. Nick, he's here. Anthony Nick. Cleveland and Jared Lujan. So we Not only did Nick put him back in, Nick put him back in the upper left. Yeah, you got to switch yeah, him Yeah, you are whipped, Nick. You are whipped. <laughs> <laughs> he's like... He's like, guys, this was a funny joke for about 30 yeah, but, seconds. But Todd's coming <laughs> Todd's back. Gonna be pissed. Yes, he's going to be Todd's back in. Be, back be in cool. Be cool. Act cool. Act natural. Act like nothing happened, okay? Yeah. Todd's going to use my middle name. Let's talk name about Wacken 400 <laughs> subscribers. Don't, Congratulations don't, on that, Wack. Don't, hey, thanks, don't Abe. tell him I'm back. Sorry? I said don't, don't tell him that I put him back there. Put yourself in the back. Put yourself in the back too, Nick. Just go. I did it to both yes. of us. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, we, I, I just said chaos could run it for a while. Yeah, yes. I gave chaos the password. Hey, <laughs> Nick, 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 Nick. We want to talk to Whack. Whack. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What inspired you to do Pokemon theme song for four hours? I just like Pokemon, man. You know. So, Valid answer. I'm more of a I'm okay that. I would expect nothing less from that. There's a lot yes. of uh, videos online where it's one song for 20 hours, like the Price is Right theme, just for 10 hours, and you just hear it. Bum, 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 yeah, that's bum, a loop, bum, though. It doesn't bum, count. Bum, bum. Loops a, loops yeah. Oh, that's right. Like, I agree with right. Wack. Wack put the effort in. Wack said, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give myself to you for four hours. And I have no love for Pokemon, but I watched at least four minutes of that video to see your different changes and cadences. And props to you because 
I don't like Pokemon, and I watched four minutes of that, and I was impressed. Hey, thanks, thanks. I gotta, I gotta say though, singing the Pokemon theme song for four hours uh, really took away my fear of being in front of the camera. You know, I, I've got to recommend it to anyone if if you're scared of the camera, if you're having you know nervous about it or whatever, just sing in front of it four hours straight, and uh, all your worries will go away. Would your life have been easier for all four of that hours if you had that couch sitting there instead of uh, all of the calisthenics you did with the folding chair? Um, I don't know. I think it added to the experience, to be honest. You know, I need to watch the SpongeBob <laughs> one and do timestamps the entire time again. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck with that. That one was a mess. That one was a lot harder because the Pokemon one I did was like in the middle of the day, but because uh, Tyler and I did the uh, SpongeBob one together, it was from like 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. and by like. Uh, twelve thirty, one o'clock. I was I was dead, ready to sleep, and um, was not having a good time at all. Did you break a Guinness World Record with that? Can we try to get it in the books? That'd be I awesome. say that's a, that's something I want to look into. How do you even look into that? I'm not sure. It's so the the cool. longest the longest <clears throat> reading because I sat and read one time for an hour and a half. The longest uninterrupted reading was 26 hours. The guy read like from some Indian guy read from like uh, the Bhagavad Gita, whatever, however you say that. And uh, the Hare Krishna text. Yeah. Somebody did it 26 hours. Good job, Nick. I'm out. He, I'm out. Nick did that, by the way. Todd didn't do that. Nick, Nick, did, Nick goes, I know my place. One or did Todd do it? It, it bothers me. It bothers me so much. And that's my <laughs> problem, too. I'm sitting here, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm going to switch it. <laughs> Wait, Nick, did you switch it? Oh, I did. I was, I was did. looking at yogurt cap. It bothers me. <laughs> I mean, which was captured on like camera. I could do like yep. I could do that. That'd be fine. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I will say uh, Tuesday at five p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be hanging out with uh, Whack Why Comics. Why am I at the bottom? Why is Whack above me? Hey. <laughs> what? I don't like. What am I at the top? What's going on? <laughs> Why are you above me? I like but, yeah, the it's, number it's two. Out and, Todd's coming on Whack Comics live stream on on Tuesday. That'll be fun. We've got we've got some good ideas. I'm very excited about uh, what ends up happening, but uh, it's going to be some good times. I also just uh, peed and I saw two pee streams, so I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> two pee streams. Yeah, while I was Don't peeing, I saw them. two pee streams. Don't cross the stream. I couldn't because it was my vision. Uh, like, yeah, actually, just one optical <laughs> illusion. Yeah. Is yeah. a peak collusion. Oh, um, you just saw two P streams. I thought that like it was reality. I was just trying to work that out. No, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I, I have been to. <laughs> you have two P streams. Like, there, Please consult the doctor immediately. <laughs> if you've had two P streams, you've had sex within the last two hours. <laughs> hey, do you have any knowledge that Dustin is on the chat right now? So, Dustin, and, who the hell is Dustin? Oh, from two comic bros. And if you didn't know this, September 2nd, which is my birthday, Dustin and Nick are gonna fight if they hit 5,000 subscribers. And they're going to do it, they, they will. And I just laid out the challenge I am literally going to pick up Skeff from Skeff's comic book knowledge and drive down with him to Georgia, and we're going to be the undercard fight at that match. So hey, if, you, if that really that happens, happens, I will I will announce it. I will be yeah. the – I'll, awesome. I'll fly to Atlanta. So hey, let's angry. get ready hey, to I'll rumble. I'll, I'll pay for you to come over. Justin Birch apparently is already announcing it, which was lame because he can only write. He can't talk. No, so. no there you need two, color, color commentator right. and the play-by-play. So we'll get you down, Chaos. I'll be the undercard with with Skeff. Dustin's gonna knock out Nick in like literally two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos is just drinking from the bottle. Yeah, he's like, he's done. why am I still dealing with these assholes? <laughs> uh, That's fatherhood for you, man. Yep. <laughs> Late nights. You guys know though that Nick no is sleep. like 
six three, six four, and Dustin's like five six, something like that. Yeah, you guys know that. I feel like, I feel like Nick has a he has a glass jaw. I'm gonna say it right. I feel here. like Nick. Ooh. I feel like Nick is soft too. But there is, you know, the odds makers have put a little bit closer for that. I, I agree. As somebody who's five foot tall and have gone against people who are six foot if you just get in to the arm reach like the arm reach yeah dirty fine. boxing as long dirty as you boxing. get past the hands you're good because you, you can just a, if you could just do, bob and weave also you come down too low people don't aaron's know got, you got you a good clinch game play. aaron's yeah. got a good clinch game everybody yeah. knows aaron from girls aaron talking scrappy. comics tiny wins a good scratch game. game you gotta watch out for him <laughs> yeah Dustin, here's the thing i don't I, I duck down. I'm like only four beat. foot tall. It's you can't hit me. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dustin, I don't think I could actually beat Skeff. I literally only am saying I'm going to fight Skeff for the views. Like I don't think I could beat him because boxing, he, boxing, did you say or that you're going to bite him or oh MMA. God. Oh, if it was MMA, let me explain was... something. I've been kicking <laughs> Nick's ass for twenty years. Hey, Dustin, I think I Dustin. got this down, Pat. Dustin, <laughs> Dustin, I just wanted to bring the odds in my favor so I could make more money. That's what I was doing there. Hey, you split the cost. You, you split those those funds with me, bro. I'll split. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, so is that the room that you're in that me and uh, Greg will be sleeping in with our sleeping bags? <laughs> yeah, because when I bring Steph and Chaos down, we're sleeping in your comic room. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if I have a black eye from when Steph knocks me out. I'll do it for the views, but we're sleeping in your comic room. Dude, yeah, I yeah. did not know Skeff knew how to By fight. By the though. way, almost all of you have me. really great Apparently, matches. he's done that stuff before, so he's been in the ring. I was like, I did not know that about you. I haven't. I, I want to see Lee fight a kangaroo. <laughs> that sounds like somebody will They're die. like deer here, so that works. I'll, I'll die. I don't want to fight a fucking kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. oh, you yeah. just yeah. There's lots of YouTube it. videos. No, pick a wallaby. There's lots of YouTube videos proving that's a bad idea. Wallaby. Fucking one time, dude. Fight a wallaby. No, wallabies are too cute. They're like, <laughs> oh, they're like tiny kangaroos. Hey, hey you know what? You guys fight it by giving it treats. <laughs> whack, uh, whack has a heart. We just, we just solidified the fact that Whack Comics Lee has a heart. There is a, there is a floor to what he'll do. <laughs> I mean, the floor crazy. is not he's fighting the wall. Hey, 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 Lee, you know what freaks me out about Australians? Lee? Do you guys hunt? Do you guys hunt cats? Do Australians hunt? No. What Someone the fuck? told that they that cats aren't don't belong in Australia. They've like they've grown like too big, and that hunters actually hunt domesticated cats. I've never heard oh, of that shit. in my life. Domesticated. Like Fuck your house, cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've <laughs> never heard of that in my life. Be... No, no Just one's heard of that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, Dustin, since you're here, I probably dreamt it. Dustin, <laughs> let me ask you this. So, obviously, <laughs> you're gonna fight your brother. I'm gonna <laughs> obviously. Fight, I'm gonna oh. fight Skeff in the undercard. He, I'm I'm gonna throw this out to you, Dustin. This He's is gonna. Pick. Drop the, he's gonna throw the fight if the no, odds of the no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, I can fit two more people in the back seat of my Tucson, and because, <laughs> burrito, because Comic Burrito is in Michigan, I'll pick them up. Let's you go. get a, who do you want to see in the undercard fight before me and Skeff between Todd, Nick, or Cole? Which one of the what two burritos do you want to see to fight? And I'll bring them down for the undercard fight. Cole I, versus uh, we just have hey, a Brett, I was a yellow belt, if that helps you at all. <laughs> yeah, when you're 13. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a camouflage a belt. belt. God, so was a kid from Jingle All the Way. You know? <laughs> yeah, he was. And I hey. lost to him, but it doesn't matter. I'm still a yellow belt. I say we put all three of them in the ring, but and, and, and all of them only get one glove. Like, everybody just gets one right-handed glove. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a plan. That sounds like it's going to just turn into a circle jerk. Dawson, I, hey, that's a normal Saturday. You know what? That's a <laughs> great, a that's a great suggestion because I have I have three sets of seatbelts in the back seat. We can bring all three of them. You're right. Fine, let's do it. Balls <laughs> in the middle. Hey, I'll fight anyone except for Sean from uh, Hero and the Kid. 
oh, that's anyone in the community. Dude, he is so jacked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's also a blue. He's also a blue belt, and he's been. I haven't trained really Ooh, since that's my like kid was born. Better than me. <laughs> Well, you're not. You're a nothing belt. Yeah. You know, it's a yellow belt. From no, no, no. That's because your parents ago. paid. That's because yeah. your parents paid for two months. Yeah, and then and they, then they paid the for belt. the next two months. Yeah. <laughs> it's just more. It's just more that your parents had money to pay. Not that your parents belt. have a lot of money. What's weird is that's all the money they had. Um. So <laughs> I'm on the chat. Burn need to jump in on, the chat. Chat. on this. Burn. Burn. Yeah. Right. Burn. Is that correct? Or was he just really bad at karate? What <laughs> <laughs> are the two? Uh, hey, Vern wanted to pay more money, and they're like, eh, "We're just gonna." That's it would a bad be a idea. It would be a he, got, he got like one and a half participation trophies. That's enough. <laughs> we're like, listen, you're, Vern, able to you're, you're pushing it, man. You're pushing it. Spraining you're your wasting your money in jujitsu yeah. with Todd. Uh, I'll tell no, you, it was a jujitsu. Todd has it a blue was, belt, was, but it it's a blue belt that holds up his pants. Yes, no, it was um, one of those seatbelt ones that, like, locked together. <laughs> um, I would put all of my money on uh, Poser. Because <laughs> he would come with a gun. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> That's what I think Nick's going to do. Poser, I'll roll up with you. I'll be your tag team. Yeah, no, Poser's coming with, um, if it's a fist... Fight, he's coming with a gun. If it's a uh cage nice fight, fight, he's coming with a he's, gun. He's coming with fire. <laughs> he will just light the cage on fire and walk away. <laughs> hey, I decided if I'm Here's going a to question. Atlanta, I'm fighting somebody, Greg. <laughs> what are you gonna do when Hainer Mania <laughs> runs wild on you? <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lock Is my. Is that your last bowl. name? Because that was I'm, not. Scary yeah, at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock my. Yeah, dead that's my last so name. Come in. Chaos, chaos. You want to go into battle with me again? Yes. That's yeah, our I next actually debate. Do. I actually do. Let's do it. <laughs> right here. We'll do if it. I win that one, if I win that one, I'm okay to lose every other one. Right. I don't. Here's the deal. Doesn't that actually might get you guys more views? Me and Chaos in a boxing fight than me and Skep. I'm just, <laughs> I'll throw it out there if you want it. I'm just bearded. Hey, bearded. What is the stipulations you would put that belt on the line against Chaos on our channel? Nah, that belt has leather straps. I'm not doing that. No, no. there's no way. I'm taking that belt. This belt is no. mine. My... What? I but will... what? What? No. What is the stakes you would put that belt up for? I'm not putting that belt up. Here's what I will do, though. Bob. He's scared. He's so he's scared. No, he has scared. no stakes. He's scared. I got it. No, no. I don't want to let go. Todd, Todd, <laughs> Todd, who just won two of your Coward challenges in a row? Dangerous. I'm smart. I'm not. I believe Aaron has some books coming her way. So I think it's Aaron. Because of who? Because of who? Because I because literally of... said I'd give you 20% chance. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> we had two of our subscribers tonight. Um, of course, like like every time we go live now, like the fights all people talk about. And uh, they were like, hey, look, it's, it's gotten crazy. Like like we were trying to go through like the reviews and it's like we spent 25, 30 minutes talking about the fight. Then we go to the next part of the show and we just stop talking about that, talk about the fight. But they're like, hey. <laughs> They're like, hey, we got a, a, a 9.8 Venom 3 first print. <laughs> Whoever wins, we're going to give it to the winner. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, man, I'll just tell Nick, like, hey, throw a punch. I'll fall down. We'll sell the book before lunch. And, you know, <laughs> <it off. laughs> go. there you go. That's, what that's it works. called the fear poke of doom. They did that in WCW, and that's what made it go downhill it's between true. Kevin Nash and Hulk Hogan. My yeah, my dad, fight. So my dad not. is forgetting my goalie hockey defense huh. because I played when I was in much lower stakes, and when I was goalie in uh, little league hockey, I would uh, just lay down because nobody knew how to actually lift the puck and get it over, and I had a hundred percent defense rate because <laughs> I was a genius, and I would just Thanks. lay down in front of the goal. Thanks, Al Bundy. Oh. Yeah, Todd, Todd, <laughs> your dad is embarrassed, and that's why he didn't bring it up. 
But oh, anyway, no, that's why I've actually been begging my dad to come on, and he won't come. I on. I want Vern to come on, though, and I will. No. It'll, but to go back Vern, to Vern, 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 there's a better channel that you can get interviewed on. <laughs> right. It's called the Two Bearded Brothers. Comic Bro. Oh, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I marginally better. I would not. I'll interview your dad, Todd. I want, I want like, nothing more. Please interview my dad on a podcast, a non-visual then, basis. Then yeah. I want, I want Vern to come on my channel. I don't need, I don't care what I get. I want Vern to come on. I'm going to interview him. Her are you going to talk about Vern or are you going to talk about your belt most of the time? Like, what's the <laughs> both. 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 Yeah, going to talk about, about Todd's yellow like, belt. Anybody else talking about <laughs> Both. Here's the, <laughs> but I'm glad you oh, brought up I'm glad you brought up the belt again because oh, of course. the deal is I'm not I'm not gonna put the belt up, but what I will do is this: Chaos and I will somehow talk Blue from Stephanie into sponsoring buying another belt for this fight, and they have nothing to do with it. And then we'll and then you'll the take the belt, up. so you can and have two belts. Whether Chaos Just wins or I win, I don't care. But I feel like between Chaos and I, we can talk Bruce and Stephanie into making another belt and putting it out for this uh, fight. No, no, I, I don't think so. I think they don't like us anymore because we stopped going to their channel. Yep. You have to actually be around for them to give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, finally somebody is wearing a belt. Jeez. Todd, don't hurt yourself. Don't end up choking oh, it's yourself. Very by heavy, accident, but it's worth it. Come on, it's very worth it. Cause it's very heavy. Hey, Lee, um, you're the only one on this channel. What's your top three books of the week? I uh, just saw Dustin's, them. Dustin Can you remember what your three. top three wow, this week Dustin's were? Because I just watched them Todd. in the last few hours. Cool. I haven't, I haven't read Todd? everything. Is that what you're saying, Todd? I've been reading a lot of Invincible still, but I read. Uh, Sweet Tooth Returns, that fucking what was the latest issue of that? That was really yeah, good. Yeah, nice. Um, it feels like we're starting to starting to get somewhere now. The mm -hmm. last issue of um, Colonel Weird was really good and yeah. sad, uh, yep. but it was, it's yeah, it was very really, sad. Really, really touching <laughs> as well. I love um, Tyler Cook's art on that as well. So good, um, dude. How good is Tyler Crook? What what book is he doing right now? He's doing what book is he doing after this that's coming out? I'm so excited for that. Is it a Ron B book? He's doing something with someone yeah, no, awesome. He's coming. He up. is doing a big thing coming up. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone look that up. Wh whatever he's doing next is even is is it got me even more excited. Hopefully, it's not a post future state thing. Fuck, I think. Yeah, right. It's oh, he's doing the Flash. Oh shit. <laughs> I hope not. It's not that because I wouldn't be excited about that. Right, but I love uh, I love horror horror county as well that he did. Um, I got the fucking oversize, like the library editions of that. And it just his art looks so good on the oversize. I finally <laughs> just read that. It. That's it's amazing. Yeah, I embrace it at this point. Those What's are that? fantastic books, uh, Dustin. What about, yeah. What are your top three uh, books I read this week? Uh, Walking Dead Deluxe Eight. Because I haven't never read The Walking Dead, so I'm just now starting oh, to read it. Whoa! Okay, we have to... I want to hear your other two, Holy but I shit. very much want to know how you're feeling about because I wow. don't know if I've talked to anybody else who hasn't read The Walking Dead. And is now I've never read The Walking Dead. Dead. Is reading it in color? I haven't read it. Yeah. How I've you, never how read it. I've it? never read or watched it. But have you there is a better way to read it? Are you reading Deluxe right now? Yeah. No, sorry, Aaron and K the people who are saying they oh. haven't read it. Have you? Are you reading it currently? No. Okay. So Dustin, you know, steal. That's the show what I was curious about because that's what I would love to hear. You haven't read The Walking Dead. You're reading The Walking Dead Deluxe. What are you thinking about that comic that you have not read before? This is your first iteration of it. What do you think? No, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I like it a lot. Um. I watched the show sometime last year, um, and I liked it to a certain point. And I was like, "eh, it's all right," <laughs> but but I'm liking the book a lot more. Um, it's a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm liking the book a lot more. I hated that Shane didn't stick around longer. Sure, but the yeah. way he went, I had no clue that that was going to happen. So I was just like, 
Spoiler Ooh. alert. Um, Can I ask how, what the how, is? I would have I mean, never thought an alligator would have ate him. The deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> the deluxe is literally just the Walking Dead colored. It's colored. Yeah. Yeah. Instead okay. of okay. black and white, it's colored. But okay. I haven't actually gotten to talk to anybody who. Those are too expensive, Greg. I can buy these books so cheap right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like their cover <laughs> value. They literally, you can find the compendiums for eight bucks. Yeah, I. You can find well, here's the other thing, though, too. Bucks. Like, like. To, to buy the compendiums, like like when I buy something like that, I have. I got I this for twenty dollars, and then I I like I have to sit down and just and, and read through the whole thing. It's a yeah. lot harder for me to find time to do that than like to just read one issue every other week. So that's that's been like another helpful thing. Yeah, so, that's a cool way to do it. Yeah, I now, like Nick the bigger. Man. I like the huge ass books better too, but it's the same way. They end up on my bookshelf. They look really cool. Yep, and like I get to them a lot slower. Because I, I, I still grab single issues every week. Have, you know I mean? I still, um, yeah. Since you're getting grabbed by the deluxe, has it made you tempted to do phrasing? Has it made you? <laughs> I hate you. Uh, has it made you I tempted? Love you, chaos. I do too. Um, has it made you tempted to grab the OGs to see what you think about them? Because I will say, as an OG, it's really hard for me to watch to like read them. It's really color. hard for me to hear a it, white guy from the Midwest just say OG so passively. It is. <laughs> I can understand. That's why I don't listen to myself. I just let myself talk. It's a lifestyle <laughs> choice. Yeah. It's one of those things that it's just that you don't let yourself hear what you're saying. And it makes you don't know what it's better. like on these streets. Yeah, yeah. you don't know what it's like on GR. <laughs> Cold I'm there are black um, people two hours away from me. Yeah, and they <laughs> have it rough. Um, sorry, that's the same in burn. Get your house but in order. It's, burn. it's one of those burn. things that it's 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 tough for me because I wasn't Walking Dead OG where I've been reading since one. I've been reading. I've been reading since uh, twenty one, twenty two. And it's all been black and white for me. And when I saw Deluxe was coming out, I was mm. interested. But the problem is I probably would have pulled it if it wasn't for all of the previews that made me go, oh, this is rough. Mm. <laughs> what gravitated you towards that? And since you've done that, what is the allure to then still grabbing it by singles instead of just grabbing a compendium that is like a fifth of the way cheaper to just because it's color and it's coming out monthly. No, that's fine. But like, why? Let Justin <laughs> answer his own question. Damn it! Yeah, I he answered it. He answered it look, earlier. Look, I had the my choices part. stolen from me. None of you could steal somebody else's voice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard but to tell who those people are. He literally, he literally answered the black it. And white version. Yeah. That's my only pet peeve about The Walking Dead: Black and White. Is you have all the same people and they look all the same and you're like, who the hell is talking? That's well, that doesn't, 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 let does color does inside. not help that. That doesn't bother me too much because Steven, uh, that like means you learn how to read. I mean, I'm reading the Mirage Studios Turtles right now. That's all black and white for the it's, most part, and yep. I, like, so like I'm I'm totally fine with reading black and white. It doesn't bother me at all. My only reason was just like you know, it's just something that, that I added to my pull list. I get it every two weeks, and I just. <laughs> I don't like if I have that compendium sitting around, like I, I feel like uh, I got to read this book. I got to sit down and read this book. I got to sit up at late. Uh, sometimes at work will be kind of slow so I can just sit in the truck and read. Uh, but for like the last six, eight months, I haven't had that. So uh, let me just tell the four people that are in the chat that Dustin works at the CDC and has probably been around 34 different versions of the coronavirus. <laughs> it ain't got me yet. <laughs> but, has it got me since january <laughs> yeah i mean oh did you I, I, if these came out in black and white like, <laughs> look I at bearded and find them and reading them but i did uh, oh so if they would have re-released i do feel like i i, I, black I, I will tell you Greg, i do feel like i'm it? cheating i do feel like i'm cheating by by bearing from this one color first like i agree with that but i disagree it, it's just you know but i if disagree this is, it's if a new perspective is, it is, but if this was black and white and they were just doing like syndication like they do with like rerun sitcoms and shit, 
would you grav? Would you have like gravitated towards that just because it's like I can start back, or is yeah. it because it's in color? No, I still would have probably grab. I mean, what, I like I like buying the single issues on certain things. So I mean, you know, it, it, either way, I still would have probably been reading. So if they would just been like, "Hey, we're reprinting at number one," I still would have going yeah. back through. You probably would like, "Hey, new yeah. cover," and like, if it was in black and white, I would have pulled it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I don't know. Like, I like like I've, I've had no it. experience with yeah. the Walking Dead comics. <sighs> Like so the only good. other one I ever bought was the very last one when it came out. Me too. And, like that's the only one I ever had. But you know the yeah. black and white cover or black and white in you know never bothered me at all. Like I said, you know the turtles were black and white, and that never bothered me. I actually yeah. thought that it was cooler. And the Mirage Studios run outdoes any and everything being done by yeah. IDW right now. Anyway, oh yeah. well, man, IDW is pretty. I just read a couple of them. And they're pretty. They're pretty good. The so volume right. one. So I've got the volume one hardcover right there. <clears throat> that one was good, um, but I don't know. The original stuff is just way, way more gritty and gruesome. So I didn't buy. I didn't buy the last Walking Dead. I bought the second to last Walking Dead, and I go, well, I'm just going to start reading it from here, <laughs> from here, <laughs> and uh, and then and then it's surprise ended. Like literally the one yeah. where I was going to read it from here. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> yeah, and I go. Oh, and just surprise ended. Cool. I was like, oh, okay. So I was working in my local comic shop whenever that dropped. And it was so fucking funny because we didn't order enough of the final issue because we had no of idea. Of course. It was, no one one. was ready. Yeah. And we yeah. had no idea. A, a regular came in and he's like, yeah, yeah, I think I think the next one's the last one. I don't, you know, like there's just these weird rumors going around. We're like, no, because we have so. Solic- <laughs> That's have- crazy. Well, they were solicited. <laughs> Yeah, we have order sheets for the next one. A lot of people were were upset about that, that that happened. uh, The panic, though, from behind the counter was just really funny. Right? (laughs) We were like, don't have any. We We don't have any of those comic books you're looking for. We were calling people we in. I think people went in after the store was closed to make oh. sure we got some orders in before everything ran out. It was Only it was- matched by Solid Blood 17. Is this another <laughs> rag? It's it was a legend. I mean, like, what was it? Like a half hour ago it was. Um, oh which by the way, it is officially It's well only ten fifty three. It's ten fifty three. Oh, are we going late night? night? We're going late night. We it's a Todd approved late, late night. Nick Jimmy Fallon's not even late on. Night. Late not night. Hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna stop what you're doing while the video plays. Nick. I what happened to Ryan? Ryan? Yeah. Nick you guys know what happened to Ryan? Did he just leave? All right. So because an hour ago. Um yeah. <laughs> no, no more giveaways. Please, Todd. Me. Let's not give it. We're having a nice conversation uh, here. We don't need to spend 30 I have, minutes on this. I have show. a song. <laughs> Number one, that would be on Wednesday, and chaos can be happy. Um, but on Wednesday, come back and I'll get this. <laughs> yeah, so both of you guys watching, come check it out on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, whoever's still watching, I, I was gonna I say, there's, like there's less hour. people watching than there are on yeah. the show right now, so that's because most of our audience is here. Oh, um, I'm still watching on my phone, too. Smart, <laughs> thank you, Justin. Uh, my, my- my other computer died, so did, I, I <laughs> did we we got um Lee's yeah. top three of the week. Did we get Dustin's top three? What was we your got Walking Dead. Dead. besides Walking Dead Deluxe? My <laughs> other one is the Avengers Dustin. 42. I love you, Dustin, for liking the Avengers so much because people are shitting on it. But I know you've been Avengers guy lately. Yeah, man, this series has been good. They did the Age of Conchu, um, yeah. which was really cool because you had um Moon Knight. Moon Knight. You know, he he stole the the Iron Fist. He he stole the Hellfire. He stole Mjolnir. I mean, it, it, it was so crazy. And uh, there we it go. It was just like, when the hell has this ever happened before? Like, this is awesome. And now they're basically doing like a freaking Mortal Kombat style tournament where the Phoenix has literally handpicked the most ridiculous. Uh, a selection of Marvel characters you could think of, and basically making giving them the power to do battle one on one, one round at a time, and basically almost fight to the death. I mean, you literally had Howard the Duck in there uh, <laughs> with his horse and got mopped. 
Um, you if know, Namor, Namor doesn't is... win, I will fucking riot. Who? <laughs> if Namor does not win, oh, Namor. do a riot. Hey, Namor? But your town is literally 342 people, so it will yeah. be a. It would just no, be a no. one crazy guy. No, it's gonna be him. It's gonna be him on a normal Tuesday, where he's just naked in front of his house, waving a yeah. banner. It's gonna be a normal day for the people in he's this town. Be Winnie the yeah. Pooh in it. Yeah. Poser, yeah. have you been downtown during any Poser. of the riots we've had? No. no. Poser. Oh my god, I got stuck in a in the in the comic shop downtown during one of them, and hey, I was just that could be worse. You have an indie comic shop. That's a good in place Kansas, to be, though. Stuck in Kansas. We have two comic shops in our area. No, no, indie comic. You said indie. I got stuck indie. in the. In comic oh, in the indie. Com- yeah. I go. Oh, you have an indie. Because I've heard of big cities having like non-diamond yeah. comic shops. Fuck you know diamond. Mean? Yeah. It, no, it's we're, hand. We're we do handcrafted. So 100% organic vegan comic <laughs> books. Yeah. And that's Free all range. we do. I mean, Free range. We're, how, far yes. is, Free range. how far are you from Aaron? How far are you from Aaron? Because I know you had to drive like 7,642 hours to get to a 7 Eleven. You should have not driven that far. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Who else to drive to a 7 Eleven? Who Closer, drove to a 7 Eleven? We're in the Is same it, town. Aaron's in St. Yeah, Louis in or Kansas town. City? You're in the same town? Yeah. You're in the I'm same sorry. town? Aaron, yeah. I'm so sorry that your youth no, is on, being on. taught by Poser. Poser. <laughs> Poser has to drive 45 minutes to a shop. No. That's oh, not who you're you. thinking of. You're thinking of the wrong person. You think of oh, no, no. What's his name? The, Stoney. The, no, not Stoney. Burke. The super far Burke. right guy we still like. Burke. Burke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, this, the I super right guy we tolerate. Yeah, we like him still. I'm. Yeah, I'm, that's I like why him. I said tolerate. Yeah, yeah. I like no, him. He Burke doesn't like me work. because I talk shit on him, but I like him. Yeah, Burke and yeah, I. He has to drive. He has to drive a long way to his. You're shop, talking right? about Lee because uh, if his his comic shop doesn't have what he wants. He just burns it down. <laughs> That's why he's out of comic book shops. Yeah. That's why he's waiting for Poser to send him in his package. Yes, he, he waits for comic books. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, it was... Go ahead. Sorry, guys. No, I was just going to say, Todd, the good thing about the youth being taught in this area is that they all leave. And... Smart. <laughs> <laughs> they're being they taught. really smart. They're That's really smart. Why so what's Poser your, what's your so well. excuse? They just leave. If if Poser was teaching me too, I would leave. Too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bye. Bye. He's all, My excuse is I worked in social services and I was an out of state student and I Oh, so you're trying advice. you're trying to actually fix the system. Kinda. So you're <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Are you guys still teaching creation? Poser looks like a substitute teacher. Like, hey, we need you to teach this class for the next three days because the real teacher's <laughs> off sick. Do you mind doing it? That's what all of my uh, fucking Zoom calls look like. I like, love Steve. Me today too. We're gonna it's talk great. Talk about the Constitution, and you can log out now if you want to. <laughs> Everyone's gone. I. It's 2 a.m. on the East Coast, so I'm... Yes, here. it is. Bye. bye. I don't have drivers ready, no, so you just have to say bye. On the East Coast. Yeah, pussy. Hey, um, who are you That's rooting for in the Super Bowl? Who am I rooting for? Uh, yeah. I'm rooting for... It's weird because I shouldn't want to root oh, for Oh, don't him. say yeah. it. Don't say oh, it. I'm going to say it. I... As a Why Ohio should you State, want to root as for an Ohio the State greatest fan, human being to ever as touch an a Ohio Michigan. State fan? I should not like a quarterback from Michigan. I have no oh. ill will towards Tom Brady and Tom Brady. I want to see. I am living in the era where we're seeing a goat. Oh, shut the up! Fuck. I want to keep watching the fuck. it. The fuck! Get it the fuck out of the stream. I love you. I Tom Brady sucks. <laughs> Tom Brady sucks. Fuck you, man. 
If he plays, if he plays football, Aaron, enjoy your. Here is the nicest of us all. (laughs) You know who sucks is the Buccaneers before Tom Brady showed. Yeah, they were the worst before that happened. I really love. I don't watch sports. Yeah, which really sucks because I was really hoping that my man Jameis. Oh, I'm the center square. Yay! Oh, that's well, nice. Till, till I'm the center square. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the center of attention. Of bitch. I like I your glasses. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go yeah. as well. I know, right? Oh, yeah, all right. I, I just got uh, off from the live stream. I just want to jump in for a minute because you got to Nick, what, Nick, who's your choice? Oh, he has to think about it. You know, I really, I really fucking hate Tom Brady. Fuck Tom Brady. Yeah. So much. We all hate Tom but, Brady. But. Oh, no, get fuck out. Fuck you. I also have this weird thing where I always. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been the Packers. <laughs> Let him know that it should have been the Packers. <laughs> And now he's oh, muted. he's muted, and I didn't even do that. I wanted to see uh, oh, he he it this year. Here's, here's my problem is I always go for whoever knocks out the Packers because then if so they win – the, it's like, like the Packers won. Yeah, yeah. We, lost we, lost two, we lost two of the best. Yeah. I really, I really yeah, hate Tom Brady. Because he's who beat the Packers in, in the yep. championship. So I'm, I'm going to hope for a really close game. And then I'm gonna hope that Tom Brady loses because that's what's most important. Perfect. Always. All right. Now you can go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye. I think I was the only person in Georgia when the Falcons were in the Super Bowl that woke up dancing in the streets when Tom Brady You're came excited. back and mopped them guys and ruined oh, the entire I, state I, of dreams. I and hate I was you so, so happy. Much. <laughs> because I hate the Falcons, I hate the Braves, I hate the Hawks, any Atlanta team, I can't stand any of them. Georgia, Tech, Just all south of, of that, you're fine? Because because all of Why our teams are 100% trash because they, they get the fans all hyped up and believing in them just, just <laughs> enough to get right there, close enough to shit their pants and make everybody feel miserable about themselves for, for yeah. an entire week. And I got so sick of it. I threw all of my brave stuff away. I threw all my Falcon stuff away. I said, screw all these teams. The, the, the freaking, they never seem to want to, they want to spend all their money on a quarterback that is the most okayest quarterback of all time. Yep. You want to try to call him an elite quarterback, Matty Ice. Matty hey. Ice has, the dude is the most okayest quarterback ever. He's dude. never done anything significant. But, and, okay. Okay. I'm going to interrupt real quick. The, the We're talking about sports ball and I don't know anything, so I'm going to. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Just, okay. Just, just, hold on. Dustin, who, who are you going for in the Super Bowl? Oh, Brady all day. I've, okay. I've been a Brady fan since his first Super Bowl. So Awesome. All right. Um, Q, uh, uh, elite QBs make no difference. I'm a Lions fan, and I've had the best QB in the league for uh, 13 years. Stafford uh, hasn't brought a Super Bowl. QBs don't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, so he do it at Georgia. He's not going to do it in Detroit either. Exactly. <laughs> so, all right. Good prediction. Have a great night. Bye. Later, Y'all have a good one. You too. Bye. Fellas and ladies, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Thanks. reflex. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> All right. Have a good evening. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I did, you can leave if you want to. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I hated the idea of you just leaving out as I don't <laughs> like sports. Um, <laughs> if you want to leave, that's fine. I was getting the sports riff riff out. It is two two o five a.m. Obviously, if you want to go, go. Um, but I want you to actually have a legit ending instead of a. I'm going to get out of here before more sports ball dogs. <laughs> I think I mentioned earlier this is going to be the first Super Bowl I've watched in like five years. Yeah, you didn't watch cool. last year. I didn't watch last year. No, it was a shitty. It was a shitty I, Super Bowl. It's I fine. haven't had cable since 2011. Um, yeah. And DM me, I'll give you my Hulu login. Uh, well, I've so never the, seen a Super Bowl in my life. I don't know. Uh, we will get you hooked up for tomorrow. The last time I cared about 
Sports you can ask all the stupid questions you want. <laughs> undergrad, and I had to go to the games to confiscate alcohol. Yes, obviously. So. You put it in, like, shampoo bottles. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that was the last time I cared. Well, and what was your top three of the week? Uh, well, it was the volume one of Chip Zdarsky Deadpool. Daredevil? Cool. Da- yeah, Daredevil, awesome. not Deadpool. Whatever. It's Deadpool? Fine. <gasps> Deadpool it's okay, Zdarsky? Play. Sign would, me up. Holy I would read shit. It. I would actually read I it. I would be so into that. <laughs> um, and then it was Deep Beyond because it was the only thing that cool. I've read. And then sure. the other thing that I read was Enig- Enigma Ward. Yeah. So, so that. I guess. Is I also like the over. idea of Engine Ward and Enigma Ward yeah. working at the same time. <laughs> I, my half my brain's asleep. I think. No, I like it. Well, so something thanks finally for, thanks happened. Thanks for coming on. Ward. It took seven. It did. Seven it issues. took four issues. Uh, <laughs> it happened. No, I was it, like, yes. It hey. paid. But thanks for coming on, and please, um, whenever we have a few guests lined up from now on um but sometime in march i am going to work my hardest to find a night that works for aaron to come on and be a lone guest <laughs> this has been a <laughs> blast to talk comics. With everybody so yeah no it's been great to have you on and i love to actually have you on to talk comics because it pains me that your resume before this with burrito was burger and sonic talk so <laughs> i mean I have a, a multiple interests. Yeah, no, um, for sure. We are we're all culinary to not sports. It's, we're all the dodecahedrons of hobbies. Yeah. And it's nice to hear those. But yeah. thanks for coming on. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, have a good rest of your night. Yeah, y'all too. I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Have a good Bye. night. Oh shit, we all got big. <laughs> um I have to pee again. But I'm not done. If you, uh, I I am excited because Lee came on late, so his voice got drowned. Uh, but he's one of my favorite voices in comics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as you laugh, which is my favorite thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would like to talk more. If you guys need to leave, I would like to say goodbye to you before you go. But I need to go pee. I'm keen to chill. Is Steve frozen? I think no, Steve I'm here. Frozen. Go pee. Yeah. Go pee and come back. Okay. Cool. All right. Poser, you here? Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm going to go pee and I'll be back. If only any of us could kick him out of the stream. Welcome to the real comic burrito. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is the late night bizarro one. burrito. Yeah. Who the fuck are these guys? I'm Bizarro Nick. <laughs> I'll be Cole. I want to be Cole. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I'm uh-huh, yeah, God, he Cole. just he <laughs> thinks like I'll just leave and then he can just go pee and just leave strangers on the stream just running everything. <laughs> and then he can just go pee and just oh, leave strangers on the stream. There we go. Yeah, that is you. Let's kill you. Let's kill you. You got an echo. Nope, still happening. Hey. Did you get your second win, Nick? That was Nick. Nick was watching the stream, came back on, and he was like, I forgot to mute YouTube while I could tell these fuckers don't ruin my channel. Now it's better. We wouldn't ruin anything. I was just about to ask Wack how everything's down in Australia these days. I was trying to make it before Todd left, and I didn't. That's why all my shit was all fucked up. Going to rot. Have you? Get, can you get these American? Where are French those? fries? No. They have, they have things like that. Have you ever had Andy Capps hot fries? They're, those are sort of like those. Oh, but I would get French fries in a bag like that. Of, of Lee's box with. I'm just going to get a bunch of trash-ass American snacks. 
Be like, here are your comics. Here's a Deadpool pop that you won like 12 years ago. Uh, and then here's the textbook definition of why we're all fat. <laughs> like, I'm just going to fill it full of fried, high fructose corn syrup. That'll be the box. That's like what I sent um, Tyler's and Tim Tams. It's like a box of, there's like, I think there's like 12 in a box. He's like, they're really good, but why, the, why is there only 12 in there? And I was like, he's like, is that a small pack? And I was like, no, that's just how many you get. He's like, when we buy biscuits, it's like 32 in a pack. That's like minimum. It was like, yeah. wow. That's a. Uh, Three that's sleeves crazy. of Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, potato sticks, eh? Um, no, these are really. I've been really addicted to these. Uh, I haven't eaten today, but I've had three packets of these. Maybe I should eat something real. Yeah. Do those say they're yeah. chicken flavored? Is that what it said under potato sticks? Yes, this one is chicken flavored. Nice. Chicken the one flavored. The one I had previously is just original salty, salty flavored. Nice. How, how interesting is that? <laughs> have you used Red? Have you used Red Invincible? Yes, I just finished it somewhat recently. How far are you? Without like, up, spoiling anything, I guess. I'm up to like issue 97. Oh, 98. oh, yeah. It's getting, oh. it's getting crazy. issue 100 oh, is. Oh, hi. To, all right, see you guys later. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> issue 100. Issue 100 is so good. Like, Have you read any of the spinoff stuff? No, I haven't done the spinoff stuff, uh, but I read all the the core, like the 24, 25 volumes of of Invincible. I, I went between using uh, digital Hoopla credits and getting physical books from my library. I, I did it all in like two and a half months or something like that. It was, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a really good read. I can't <laughs> remember how Tyler and I got to Invincible. Invincible. Like, yeah, I read it in like three and a half weeks and I was like, Oh motherfucker! All of this is on uh, Comicsology Unlimited. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Like, yeah, my I've read three hundred and like six books already this year. Oh, yeah. So nice. I bet I can. I bet I can fly through some Invincible. Yeah, it's, it's it goes well. quick. It's really good. Mm. So it it's just one of those just it, it, yeah yeah it it it's because it's superhero, but it kind of plays on other superheroes. Yeah. Um, so it's it's familiar content, mm -hmm. um, but it has, has oh, a sorry, Kirk, Kirkman oh. vibe to it for sure. So it's 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 really good. I, I just I, I want to get the compendiums. I just picked up the last four hardcovers. Okay, so. awesome, nice. How many hardcovers are there? Is it like there's twelve? Twelve? Yeah, there's okay. a lot. Yeah, there's twelve. Twelve yeah, hardcovers. That's, that's why it's uh, taken me. A, it's probably taken me so long to read because like there's no way I could pick all 12 up at once i've been having yeah. to get like through here and there you know and I'm, i came to the last four and i'm like fuck it i'm getting the last four right now i want to read it all i want to, yeah. I want to finish it. yeah and, um, so that's wow. that's yeah i know you're, really you're headed into some really good stuff too like mm -hmm. I, I i liked it throughout but especially like issue 100 and on it was just it's it's really no they go fun. for it they yeah it's like it's, we hit this it's like they <laughs> hit this milestone and they were like let's fucking go like, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah. Chaos, the answer to your comment is yes, I am. While you might work an actual legitimate job where you have to do tasks, like I post lessons online and then I sit and stare at a Zoom full of blank <laughs> screens and go, All right, who wants to talk about this? No, you don't have any questions. You don't need me for anything. Well, then you're going to look at me while I sit here and read. So I literally am reading eight hours a day. So suck my dick from the back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I read I read like thirty to forty comics a week, um, on average. So yeah. I don't well, find that to be ridiculous. That, like I flew through Descender and Saga. Like I've picked as one two yeah. block series yep. where it's like. <laughs> I can't stop. Um, Paper Girls. It'd be stranger so, if you were like, it took me two months to get through December. Like, that, that'd be that, that'd be weird. 
Have you heard any like You've had some good really good books this year? <laughs> mm-hmm. I was going to say, have you had any like good or bad things about all the Invincible spinoffs, like Tech Jacket? I reckon Tech Jacket seems like an interesting character to read more. I think there's like three or four volumes of him. I have I have only ever good heard good things about Invincible. I just, just yeah, not the spin- I haven't nothing about spinoffs. No, I mean even like anything. I haven't heard. Oh, yeah. any, I haven't heard any bad. It's like it's like Black Hammer, where. It's really hard. It would be really hard to not enjoy any piece of that lore. Yeah, yeah. I would. I couldn't believe there was a Spider-Man team up. I want to read that. Yeah. Read the Spider-Man team up. Uh huh. Um. So I I peed and I expect I literally I was so prepared for no one to be here because I was ready for Poser to be like, hey, we should all go. <laughs> and. <laughs> What a missed opportunity. I started taking over, right? and Nick was like, "Oh, the fuck you do!" And, yeah, <laughs> and apparently Nick is back, which is awesome. I never uh, really left. I was just watching on my phone, and then when I saw you were leaving, it was like, "Oh, I'll jump back on." But it yeah, took- we called ourselves the Bizarro, Bizarro Burrito Boys. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, One twenty is probably right around where I am. Um, that's probably what I would do. Um, I still. Um, I get that I keep saying it's gonna be Wednesday, but I just like I love the people who are stick around. So um, I'm probably gonna give this to my favorite comment of the night. So send it to me to send to Lee. If not, you're racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said Lee say what to you, so you should really rethink what you are doing in life. <laughs> <laughs> My comment earlier is you're racist against a prison colony. Because I love no. Australia? I couldn't hear it. He said my his his comment of the night is I'm racist against a prison colony, but I love Australia. So if don't you have- don't send him the book. Ah gotcha. send it send it to Poser to send to Whack. Why not Speaking just send it from Todd to Wack? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's more fun if it bounces a lot. Because uh, if it goes poser, to Poser, Poser is keeping it. He's already, There's my Lee pile. The Lee pile? I have a Lee pile, but it's um, dirty rags that I can't actually get. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything with. Um, Did the crossover covers make it in the pile? <laughs> it's uh, actually just Captain Boomerang um, covers. <laughs> I do have the year. number two. <laughs> I think I bought crossover covers from Metaphorical. He's going to send them to you. Then, yeah. Cool. Don't forget, mm-hmm. guys. The X Men hung out in Australia back in the day for a little bit too. Gateway would teleport them places. Mm-hmm. That's when they oh, thought the X Men. I didn't dead. know Professor X was a murderer and a thief. That's weird. <laughs> 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 wow, that's the a cool. <laughs> These guys like Bo Burnham. Oh yes, I've really been getting back into his stuff lately. Is I I wish I could make stuff like that. Honestly, that's like what I would really strive for to make people laugh, but also have that like emotional undertone with it as well. Like how real it gets. Like that that kind of stuff. I reckon you got to be really smart to make that kind of stuff funny, you know? Like, yeah, because he doesn't pull punches, it, but he will still hit you where you live. And it's yeah. really, it's really good. Yeah. He, he is something special where it's like, this seems like a really stupid gag. But then you're like, oh, there's some like really serious tones. Like his one with the, his Kanye West one. Yeah. Or Kanye. Like the the end of that, hey, is like so crazy, you know. He t- like turns it around and on the audience and. Yep, my my wife adores Bo Burnham. She, he is one of her favorites, and it's oh. one of those people where I'd be like, "You don't get to meet him because I don't know if I get to <laughs> in your life." If she's she like, "I got backstage the passes," and you're like, "No, you don't." Oh no! Well, no. pandemic. It's really. It's I don't a think bad so. idea. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I love Bo Burnham. 
Yeah, and I do too. And it, she is, does was too. It made make happy or uh, uh, his last his last special he did make make yeah, happy yeah. or something like that. Oh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. He's he's <laughs> one of those off on YouTube as well. Like just as a kid uploading yeah. videos in his in his yeah. bedroom. Like that's that's amazing. He's one of those special people that are he will go unappreciated for how brilliant he is oh. because he's going to be known for stupid shit when mm -hmm. he's really everything has a meaning behind what he does and it's just going to go basically unnoticed and it's going to be really sad because it's he, he's so brutal with the truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. He just makes it really entertaining. Like, <laughs> here. Uh, Art is dead. That song is like, yeah. Perfect. Oh my like, god. Real truth, you know. Like, yep. All right, my beer is empty, and my kids are going to be up in four hours because they're all little satans. Fair. But uh, <laughs> everybody who said Tom Brady's going to win, go fuck off. <laughs> That's not. We me. don't like Tom Brady. Oh, and Tom Brady sucks. Wu -Tang? Yeah, Wu Tang forever. Nick, do you want in on the beer bet train? Right now, I've got a straight bet against Corey. Chaos yep. wanted uh, plus five, so Chiefs have got to beat Tampa Bay by five. So, what you got? Teach Nick? me how to bet so I can make one. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what any oh, of yeah. that means. Are you uh, whack? Are you Lee? Are you pro or anti posers team? I like Poser, so I'll go. I'll go pro. I'll, I'll oh, be on holy too. shit! We had Flashray coming on. Oh fuck yeah, Andrew! What the fuck yeah? What up? What up? <clears throat> All right. So as Poser's leaving, Hold um, on. Nick, bet yes or no? No. Give Lee some <laughs> like over under. Like what the score will be? That'll be I easy mean, for I, Lee because then I you know, can just I figure out. I don't. I don't Over want under. to bet against. I hope that Tom 35. Brady loses, but I do not want to bet against Tom Brady. I won't bet against their his officials. Pussy. No, I don't. I don't think so. All right, I'm going to bed, but I'll have my headphones in, and listen to you. But I, I wish you good luck. Night. Uh, you can come watch me obnoxiously. Good night, poser. We're hosting a tailgate auction tomorrow, so I will be sloppy. <laughs> Perfect. Central. Before the game has started, which means I'm asleep at halftime. Perfect. <laughs> Good luck with the sports ball. Thank you. The sports Good night, ball. Yes. Dick's out for poser. Um, right now? Yeah, right Whoa. now. Okay. <laughs> hey, Flash Ray. Um, what is up? Uh, Kong or Godzilla? I already said Godzilla. Okay. okay and your uh, top three top, of the week. Top three of the week. Yeah. All right. I was just shuffling through books too, just so I could do that. So we got a Sea of Sorrows three. Yeah, nice. good yeah, that's, choice. That's a good top three book. Yeah, it is uh, a good top three. I enjoyed Man's World two a lot. Oh, hey, yeah. cool. Um, I did not appreciate uh, that one motherfucker. Uh, he bothers the shit out of me, and I want the other guy to punch him real hard, but he. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Venom thirty three. Hey, that's a good book. That'd be in my top ten easily. Yeah, it, uh, it was a really good copy of Venom this week. Yeah, wow, that was that was really good. It's uh, maybe the most emotional since the very first arc. Oh, oh my goodness, yes, it was yeah. fantastic, and it makes me even more disappointed that they're you know ending at thirty five or two hundred. Yep, it's one of those things where it's like, hey, we're, Kate, where are you going? What you yeah, doing? What, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah. What's going on? Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> you, you, it seems like you could take a lot of properties and just make them really cool. Uh, what you gonna do? I, I was confused. <laughs> I was really confused with this one. I might I, be out after I, two. Two yeah, might, was, two might have killed me. Yeah, that that hurt. Yep. Just a little bit. <laughs> and you're a big Star Wars fan too. I, I am. I'm, I'm. I ride the middle. So, I missed that on the first issue. Is it is it a good thing I missed that on the first? first yeah, the first one was okay. awesome. I really liked the first one. The second one got me going. Oh, I might have invested too much here. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> the, the first one, I was disappointed at the 
almost like the third or fourth page with the lightsaber tower. Sure. I'll say no more. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, lo I, I loved how it ended, though. Yeah. It, re it reminded me a little bit of uh, of uh, episode three. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no. Two this was, was this one was a little bit better. The Dark Horse? Or no, the, the IDW? IDW um, it's supposed to be about like Yoda's uh, apprentice and all this. I didn't know that was Star Wars IDW comics books coming out now. Yeah, yeah they, they're the, the IDW. They're the the Star Wars Adventures series. They do a Clone Wars, uh, a regular one. Um, I think they do the the one with Ray and stuff as well. And then now they do a High Republic one. Yeah. Huh? I got so this for my uh, friends, kids. Hey, oh, yeah, cool. the Star Wars Adventure Line. That's a good one. I I really like those, and I really love Star Wars, and I was really excited about High Republic, and it made my top. I think it made my top five the week that number one came out, and number two came out this week, and I. Do you read the the normal Star Wars books? I do. I love them. They're those are phenomenal. They're very underrated. And no, they're they're really solid. It's one of those books where it's not issue to issue where I'm like blown away and it makes my like. But the arc, three. the arc is the whole. But yeah, exactly. The, <laughs> the story that they tell and everything that's in it is really interesting, and it keeps me hooked. Engaged. It, yeah, yeah. I I'm never like eh, I'm weary about. It. I'm like, oh, let's fucking go. Let's let's see what the next yeah. one is. But it's also never like this is the comic of the week. Holy oh, yeah. shit! It's always just very. I think maybe Dark Vader is impressive. Top three for me. I think two or three issues ago. Sure. Um, actually, maybe even the last one was really really good. I'm waiting to see I'm, what happens. What, what's the I don't. I'm. I'm a couple He's behind. In him, space. He's in space. He's in space. The Star Wars comic that's in space. <laughs> it, it's a big reveal. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the Star Wars comic that's in space. I know what you're talking about. Vader's <laughs> in space alone. Yeah. And no, reveal. he's by himself. Yeah. Oh shit! Speaking of Vader in space, here's <laughs> our Sith Overlord. That looks so scary. I like that shot. It was a scary shot. I liked it. Yeah, it is. He's got the Blair Witch mixed with the Exorcist going. I'm not wearing any pants, so no pants checks. Oh, Luckily, I'm the no. only person in the train. It's a normal chaos day. <laughs> Luckily, I'm only the only person in the chat just talking to myself, but that's sort of you, like my marriage. So you're, cool. not, you're not breastfeeding right. <laughs> no. You're opposite. <laughs> Who is everyone's favorite Star Wars character? Oh shit! Oh, that's, that's a good question. question. That's a great question. Um, I got I mine. will go with it's Han Solo. I'm a I'm I'm a wrong. I'm a wrong. vanilla asshole. It's either Han Solo or Obi Wan. So I'm gonna go with Han Solo. I got to do a top three. Can I do a top three? Yeah, top oh. three would be way easier. Okay, I got to do a top three. My number one's Ahsoka. Oh, you're gonna see that I don't. You're gonna see that I don't hold the movies in high regard, even even don't. Empire. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Number one's Ahsoka. Number two is Doctor Aphra. Oh. and number three is um, is a combination. It's triple zero and and uh, BT whatever. Triple zero. Oh my god, you're such a pretentious asshole. I love you so much. <laughs> I love, I love the murder Fuck bot. You. I... Fuck you. I like the guy that has like three personalities and has like three different ships. It's super cool. And like. Wait, he... what three different ships? What are you talking about? No, it's EU. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, did I not get that far? I read all of Kieran Gillen's run. Oh, no, that's fine. It's EU. It, he comes from something that's more than the comic books. I thought you were pulling from like EU legend. Sorry, it's legends now, which is. Bad. I thought I thought Kieran Gillen made that character up. 
the murder the the murder the murder c3po yeah i didn't know it was from uh that's actually pretty cool i didn't realize that that was from uh from I'm, legends i will have to double check my shit, but i'm pretty sure that's from legends oh well you pretentious piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I could be confusing him with somebody else, but I'm pretty. Or sorry, them. I said him. I'm pretty sure I'm. Con, I I'm not, and that's from the what is now Legends, which pisses me the fuck. Which off book? Because, which book? Uh, which Legends book? It's not Rogue Squadron, um, which is the main one that I read. Uh, I think you're drunk. I think you're so drunk and full of it, shit. Oh, I am wildly drunk. My P stream was three different streams. So it went up. <laughs> it did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, across the streams. Uh, my favorite yeah. Star Wars characters are Obi Wan. You already told. You already told us yours. Move on. Darth Obi Wan. Yeah, come on, Squirtle. Let Darth another Vader, people out Darth Vader and R two D two. Oh. R2-D2? Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> There's no Star Wars without R2-D2. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> he's the narrator That's of the whole saga. Yeah. No, he said Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think War... I think um, War Tortoise is a better Star Wars character, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, Nick, you go. Nick, go. Nick. <sighs> Nick's okay, left the stream more than I have. I'll I'll <laughs> I'll first say that I don't really care that much about Star Wars. Oh, perfect. Let's hear it. Okay. 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 John Luke Picard, Q. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Data. I, I, but I, but Data but, is the best Star no, Wars character. <laughs> no, but it would be it would be Han Solo, Luke Skywalker. And I love the Ewoks. Yeah. Oh so I, I'm just gonna space. say. I'm just going to say, race? The, no, but it's the one Ewok and we all know which one I'm talking about. Watch out, Pop. We all know which one I'm talking about, that Ewok. Okay, Lee, you the one go. that The only one that was a singular character with Princess Leia? Yeah, the Ewok. Yeah, that or one. The Ewok. Everyone you knows. fucking racist. Mr. Ewok. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On Ewok this stream Pride. with six Favorite. white males... <laughs> yeah. You fucking racist. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I like Luke Skywalker a lot too. Oh, you're a bad person. That's funny. Hey, what you. book, hey, Todd, you're a pretentious asshole. What book did they oh. eat Ewoks in? What book there's is a the legend, Ewoks? Oh, no. There's a Legends book where they ate Ewoks. Where they ate Ewoks. I was like, there's yeah, like, plenty of Legends where there's Ewoks. No, 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 no. At least eight of them. Where they ate Ewoks. They ate them, and I think uh, it was even on I, this one. I'm not. This part I'm not sure, but I think it was Curacent? even on Curacent. I think yeah. it was even on Curacent where they ate them, um, but that might not be true. But no, there's a book not, where they eat them. They talk. No, the book you're talking about is they are discussing it on Curacent, where they are talking about like the shit that happened in the universe and one of those things is ewoks beating in and i am way too drunk to remember but i know what you're yeah yeah you're off on a you're off on a tangent okay let's go to lee yeah lee what are your top three star wars <laughs> uh, my number one my all time i'm fave oh it's uh jar jar oh, oh you're... i knew you were gonna, i knew you were gonna pick jar jar I am number one for sure. Dark, the whole audience Dark, thought Dark. I was gonna pick. Everyone thought I was gonna pick Jar Jar, but you, I, I know you. I love Jar Jar. Jar. I would tell you why I love Jar Jar because he he gave the power of the the Senate to Palpatine. And he started the fucking. <laughs> He started that evil route that you know he set up the Empire. You know, without Jar Jar, without Jar Jar, there is no Empire to strike back. Yep. You know? There's no umpire to strike back without Jar Jar. I love it. Fuck all y'all who say Empire Strikes Back is the best. Yeah. So it's Jar -Jar actually was, uh, Phantom Menace because Jar Jar. Jar Jar. And, Number two. Uh, awesome. My, my second one, 
I'd say Chewbacca. I love Chewbacca, the hairy awesome. guy. He's, he's cool. That that Chewbacca comic book was actually really cool too. With mm-hmm. Phil Noto, I think it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, who wrote it again? Who? Someone good wrote it. that too. It was a Charles Soul. I don't remember the, who um, did the art. It was Phil Noto did the art, but I can't remember. Who Phil Noto oh, did yeah, it. Phil Noto. He did the art. That's what I said. Yeah. Who wrote it? Yeah, yeah I'm trying to work out who wrote it. Yeah, good job, Steve, coming in after someone said Phil Noto did the art. Steve comes in, Phil Noto did the art. Whatever, no, we said it at the same time. (laughs) You must be on a delay on your sidekick. The rivalry continues. (laughs) Am I still here? And uh, I'll go number three would be R2, D2 for sure, because they're fucking, I love Ultima R2. Yeah. Oh, you guys are such. Yay. See, I, I knew I love Lee for I a reason. There's three but... characters. Yeah. And not yeah. more human characters, by the way. <laughs> yeah, help. Yeah, but they're all movie yeah. characters. They're all movie characters. They're still good um, characters. Oh, Sokka's so cool. I love that. <laughs> a Sokka? Who the fuck are we? <laughs> Don't what worry. the fuck's going on here? Okay, Flash, Andrew. All right. Yours. Flash, that Andrew. That works. I was going to call him Flash Ray, and then I switched to Andrew. Yeah, Number no, one. I know. That's why I liked... Who's yeah. that? Who's no, that guy? Right that Darth oh, Vader. so Darth yeah. Sidious. Got it. Okay. Yep. That one. Uh, number two is going to be Luke, because why not? Because <laughs> no, why not? not? I don't want to go into all the reasonings, because we don't have to do that. Just Vader. Because he saved Luke. Baby Yoda. He saved Baby Yoda. Hell yeah. yeah why that's, not? that's all yeah, he did do that. Justified his existence again. Um, three is probably going to be Yoda. But I'm afraid that they're gonna do something to fuck up his character in the High Republic. No, they won't. He's no, safe. they, they, Somehow, they so will like, introduce him, but they won't fuck with him. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I hope he, he. I hope he gets a little fucking. Oh fucky. no, he'll get a little something. Yeah, I hope he gets up on. I hope he gets. I hope he crawls up on Yodel or Yodel or whatever that fucking. <laughs> Yodel. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we don't see Yoda pull some shit, it would be very surprising. I think he's going to be like the O character. Oh, where it's like, he'll get an O. Oh. The IDW book already. Yeah. Oh, shit. Is it too late to put Slave Leia in my top three? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not a character. It's not a character. That's not a because character. That that's a affects you. A variant character. Slave yeah. Leia affected my life more than probably <laughs> any other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, here we Island. go. Well, uh, yeah, you fucking yeah. fascist. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> I, I'm all about the ends, justifies the means. And uh, Slave Leia and R2D2 are probably my top two characters. Easily, <laughs> it defined a lot of my youth. <laughs> I wish I wish R two D two wore Slave Leia's outfit. That's yeah. my dream. You're, <laughs> I've paid I for fan that. fiction about that, so it'd be really great if they. Okay, put let's, that go in the let's go to Steve. Let's go to Steve. I didn't want to drop. I didn't want to drop Steve off the. No, it's your oh wait, wait! Did we get Thanks. Andrews number three? Yeah. 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 Who we was did. It? Luke. Darth Vader and Yoda. Yoda. Oh, Yoda. That's right. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Steve. Because he's, he, his three was, you know, traditional. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm the only creative number- motherfucker on this whole panel, except for the Jar Jar being number one. But I knew. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, someone said <laughs> Jar Jar was number one. <laughs> Give me a break. Jar Jar will always be number one. Jar Jar for life. Yeah. yeah. You 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 realize that Darth Vader would maybe make my top ten. Other than that. No other top movie character 10. would. Yeah, no. Darth Vader's probably in the top five, but in my top ten, probably no other movie character would. But be. what about Finn? I don't like Finn that much. I'm, what the fuck did he do? No, he did nothing. That's my point. <laughs> oh, is that why trying to minimize? He should have did more. They screwed that yes. up. They yeah, fucked they screwed that it up. so hard. It yeah, hurt. they messed it up. He was supposed he to be something been... way bigger. He could have been the best yeah. character. Yeah, Star, listen, I like all of those Star Wars movies individually. I, I don't really want to defend them, but some people hate them. 
But they oh, really, Star Wars really trying. fucked up not having a Kevin Feige sort of running everything. Yeah. Like, I think we could see that yeah. now. Like, yep. like every movie, a new guy came in and was like, I'm going to do my own fucking movie. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> this character's going to be the best. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go to a casino. Like, Fuck your old no- character. I'll tell you what yeah. my problem is. I, I'm not a Star Wars fan because I actually like Star Wars. You know, I, I find uh, that's mainly most Star Wars fans because they don't like Star Wars at all. Star Trek is weird. Yeah, weird. I agree. So I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I actually like Star Wars. So I don't know if I can be a Star Wars fan. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, no, yeah. I like Star Wars too, but Star Trek is where I actually care. Well, <laughs> I don't think you, I don't think you really got the nuance of what Lee was saying there. You just want to talk about Star Trek. Oh no! I always just want. To... <laughs> I don't know Steve... about Star Trek. I just know that one dude that did the Radio Rainbow show too. Yeah. Steve, <laughs> Steve, who's your top three Star Wars people? Number one, Darth Maul. Ooh. Cool. And you got fucked. It's wait, because wait, Steve. You know, is it Clone which, Wars? Which variant, wait, Steve? No. Is there, yeah. Is there Clone not... Wars Rebels in your Darth Maul love? Yeah, that's what matters. No, I, Steve. When I. What's up? I'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. I won't talk over you. Okay. Uh, at least for at least for thirty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> the, when I saw the preview for um, the first movie, Episode One, when he when they show him and he has the dual sided labor or lightsaber, like I love that whole entire thing. That just blew me away. And I was hardcore into Darth Maul. And then when I saw the movie and they had him kill Qui Gon, and then he just gets cut in half. I got I got real excited when they showed him in uh, Solo. Okay, Steve, can, go. Oh, if Dark Maul's your favorite character time. based on that, you need to go. You need to go. You need to get off this fucking stream and <laughs> go watch Clone Wars and Rebels. That's true. Because Darth Clone Maul, Wars, Darth Maul is dope. <laughs> yeah, it's so awesome. It's it's, it's probably the best. best. Well, I know that they it's brought probably, him back. The Darth it, Maul in Clone yeah, Wars Darth is why Maul. you're like, it, once you watch that, you'll be like, why didn't no one warn anybody about Darth Maul? <laughs> listen, listen. The, if, 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 someone said, if someone said Darth Maul was their favorite character, I wouldn't be crazy. I, I wouldn't think that was crazy, right? But if someone said Darth Maul's their favorite character and had never watched the Clone movies? Wars and Rebels, I'm like, yeah. Maul? <laughs> Yeah. What the first song with you? I had to change it up. I couldn't just go I had Han to Solo it. and all those other guys. Well, number two is Dangar. You could have said you could Number two is oh. Dangar, and I'll tell you why about oh. Dangar. Dude. My buddies and I went to go see a horror convention out in Ohio. A horror convention. And on the same weekend in Nevada. Yeah, horror convention. Here's the story. Horror convention in <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> and they have Steel City Con, which is like a pop culture thing, same weekend. So someone, someone's like, hey, uh, what are you going to hey, get uh, at the Steel City Dengar? Con? And I said, I want a motherfucking Dangar action figure. And everyone just started laughing their asses off. So they call me Dangar now. That's my nickname. That's your Steven nickname. Dangar Hainer. Nickname, yes. Dangar? <laughs> uh, Dang Nair. <laughs> Steve okay. Dang there. Well, listen, I like Steve's list the best so far. <laughs> I like them going because of uh, a game that he was on on my phone, and he was like fucking super OP. Was it Dangar Unlimited? No, uh, actually, what the fuck is the Star Wars? Shadows, game? Shadows of the Empire, or something like that, right? They did a great job with him. He's featured in the Star Wars comic books. He shows up and he fights Chewbacca at one point. I thought that Force was nice. Hey. They- Force Unleashed is really good. Who? Force Unleashed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ga- Star Wars really... Gal- Galaxy of really... Heroes. Hey, it's that one big game. Yeah. yeah. Whack what's your, what's your three, because we talked about it. And we'll go Which Lobot. Is... Oh, shit. As he's... Lobot's three. <laughs> okay, well, Steve, Steve has the second best list. Even <laughs> though his number one is weird. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, that's everybody. So I'm, I am going to go this time. All right. Bye, Nick. Bye. Have you Nick. guys, have any of you read Electric Black from Scout? 
I read volume one. I just don't remember it. Oh. Remember I picked the I first that? issue up for a dollar, but I left it back home. Ooh, where I grew up. Oh, holy shit! You where, bought this for you have. Where this are you for right now, dollar? Steve? Prison? Found it in a are dollar bin. No, you have this for a dollar. Yeah. This is like twenty bucks right now. I know. Yeah. No, I found not, the first uh, like Nightbreed comic book. But for with a shipping, too. it's going to be like twenty. Um, it's from Scout. And I fell in love with it. It's an antique shop that revolves around like black magic and Cthulhu. Um, I fucking adore it, and I love it. I pulled it out. I don't remember. It was like two hours ago. They grabbed that for a reason, and I just wanted to. <laughs> I just wanted to say how much I love it. <laughs> hey, chaos! Well, has anyone ever We're told you that you look like Trent Reznor a little bit? No, I've never been told that before in my life. He I look like he, Trent Reznor a little bit. Like he's going to start you, singing uh, Nine Inch Nails songs here. Yeah, yeah. Steve, I want to fuck you like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Man, can you stop sexually harassing Steve? <laughs> he's going to have to talk to HR. Yeah. Doctor Who, which Doctor Who is that that you're reading? It's the annual. Ooh, how is it? Well, that no, it's bullshit. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I only bought it because it's a uh, there's stuff in it from <laughs> Time Lord Victorious. I didn't. I I don't want to like have to watch the Doctor Who show, but I wanted to get into Doctor Who. Yeah, that's a good way to go. Yeah, so Time Lord Victorious is just books, audio books, and comics. This is my newest book I got in literally today. What is it? We can't see it's... it. It's just black. Yeah, no, it's... Is it Dungeons Dungeon. and Dragons? It's Dungeons and Dragons. Is that Metallica or <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's actually uh, ACDC back in black. <laughs> uh, it's Let's No, see. it's uh, fucking Dungeons and Dragons books that have a foil, shiny fucking cover. That's but are they, they comics or are they the... Are they the oh, are they, no, uh, it's the real books. Oh, yeah, they're the... Yeah. I, want I bought to... this because it looked cool. I don't know if it is good. Hell's Ooh, Paradise. How is that? I don't know. It's just. Oh, it's you manga. haven't read it. Perfect. It's no. manga. Yeah. No, I know. We're the only two people in the Discord that could care about that. Yeah. <laughs> how about Ooh. that? <gasps> Dude, Number I've been two. reading that because we got previews of it and it's really <sighs> good. Yeah. It is. It, did you read Fearscape, though? No, I haven't. Oh, fear! This is the sequel to Fearscape. No, I so know, the, but I don't have that. <laughs> oh well, maybe you'll read. Uh, maybe you'll win uh, Chris's rag. <laughs> get it. I have been trying to win Chris's rag. <laughs> it's so long. This is, this, is, this is one of the more underrated books, by the way. Since G Willow Wilson took it over, or not G Willow Wilson? Oh yeah, G Willow Wilson. I get G Willow Wilson and the other girl mixed up a little bit. There's three of them I get mixed up, but uh, this has been really good. This everyone, you don't even need to be have read uh, any Sandman. You don't to read need this. to know anything about it. Yeah, it's really good. I think it's really underrated. I um, love it. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. <gasps> Ooh, hey, so th number one was better than literally every other issue of this book, but it's still a solid book. Yeah, well, I was I was getting it for the wrong Garney art. Yeah, no, so, it's Garney. Yeah. And but, it, and it was a it's a good book anyway. The art has been good through the whole thing. But number one was the best issue so far of that. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a regular book for me. There's metal. I haven't yeah. read this yet. Do you guys like this? Uh, Dark Multiverse. Oh, met that yeah. was a fucking stupid book because it's already a book that's taken out of continuity and yeah. on its own. And then they're like, hey, what if this out of continuity book that is a crisis? went a different way here's how it goes it bothers me i like the book the it book itself out. is okay but i hate the premise it's like fuck you we're already getting death metal we're already yeah, i didn't getting... get it i didn't get that part fuck which you. is but i like the dark multiverse idea so i have like a big chunk of them i've only read like three this is um uh, i'm reading <clears throat> Reading yeah. everything from from uh, White Noise, so Rom B, Alex Pacnadel, uh Dan Waters, and the third guy is the dude doing Giga. No, no, the third guy is uh, this dude doing that does Dark Inland, yes. Ryan O'Sullivan. Yep, it's another. Yeah, vault. so I haven't read Arcadia yet. This, 
this I just got in, but this looks fucking great. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> so this is how I read after. Stop telling people I don't read aftershock, asshole. I read it in trade. But you don't like the single issues for five dollars. Yeah, I exactly. tell the truth. You do not like the five dollar cover yeah. charge. That I'm not important. saying anything the that's not true. Fuck you, man. The first issue yeah. of any book should be cheap. That's the thing. It's the first issue. Yeah. You want to cook somebody. That's the problem. See, that's the reason why, see, why I can agree with chaos. See, Steve, though, what they're trying to do, though, is they know a lot of people buy only first issues. And they're trying to get the okay. extra buck off of that. I agree with you. You should hook up whatever, right? But what they're trying, what they think they, what they, I think what they're testing is the fact that if they put a, if they put a, a, a thicker cover on it, a lot of people buy first issues regardless. I bet you a lot of people that are buying these aftershock first issues don't even realize that they're not getting that they're getting they're paying four ninety nine. It's not even extra pages. I bet a lot of people don't even realize. No, they're that just extra. buying it. Yeah. Yeah. Turncoat. So the white noise guys, the way they met, I guess, is Ryan O'Sullivan had a book called Turncoat. Giga's great. That's a good one. Ryan gonna, O'Sullivan had a book. Fucking I'm go love Giga. I'm going to yeah. go and make some dinner. Oh, You're going to make dinner, dinner, but it's already four hours past time to go to it's, sleep. <laughs> it's like 10 to 6. I'm oh, to get fuck me. you. Uh-oh. Dinner time guy. Yeah. Um, so before Wack goes, because I don't have any of my drive through things, um, Tuesday at 5 EST, we will be uh, live. I will be on Wack Comics. We don't have our premise set quite yet, but it's going to be entertaining, whatever it is. Yeah. And Black it's going to be super fun. And I'm excited to... Be in a spot where whack doesn't show up, and then there's twelve other people talking over <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> we're doing we're doing something similar, by the way. I don't think we've decided yet what it was. Oh, right? yay! Did we decide yet? Yeah, Lee? you got you had to rewatch that movie. Oh, I have to rewatch the movie. <laughs> yay! When well, does that happen? Have get... Maybe you have to rewatch that movie. I just want to. We can, we can just say the movie. Like, has ever, anyone seen Requiem for a Dream? I was gonna say, can I just go do drugs? Can you? Do you ever have to see that movie ever again? Never fucking again. Never I watched again. it once. I'm set. Only once. One and done. Right. You're it, set. It, it was like oh, I don't remember. I might have to watch it again. It was like, it, it, how can you not remember? How does that movie not burn in the back of your brain? How does it make? I watched you know, it new. How old are you? How old fucking, are you? He. Wack is 72. Lay off. I watched it like in 2001 or something like that. 19. I think I watched it, I don't know. 2003. I'm, I'm, I'm 31. Requ- Requiem. Hey, me too. Um, Requiem for a Dream is wildly unnecessary for your rewatch. <laughs> uh, so I've definitely watched it twice. Oh, shit. <laughs> but it was probably in the same year. I don't remember you it watch being it for that a bad. third time. It was in like 2003, whenever year it came out. Oh, that's it. Fuck it's, uh, uh, I also read The Demon by the guy that, by Hubert Selby Jr. that wrote, so he wrote yep. Requiem for a Dream. I read The Demon. Yep. I, I don't know if there's a movie for that, but I read the book. No, I don't think there is, but yeah, you're a and, fucked up dude, man. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get some. We're that gonna get some back chaos going on as well. I reckon that'd be fucking. So, be- are you guys going to review the rewatch of Requiem for a Dream? No, no. I think we're gonna do we're heroin gonna play- and read comics. Oh, so Dude. you're gonna you're gonna just play out Requiem for a Dream? <laughs> My wife has some like oxycodone in here that's been there for like two years. You got like, oh, I had that with Tylenol for my like tonsillitis. <laughs> I'm sure Tylenol and oxycodone is the same thing. But like, we were, we were like, should no, we do it was this a way? mix like, of the two. Oh, I got you. The mix. I thought that yeah. is the mix. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's the mix of the two. <laughs> so uh, you're all set. That's always so good. Anyway, but I, I really one. love with having a newborn baby is watching Requiem for a Dream and getting strung out for 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> I love relapsing whilst having a one-month-old baby. <laughs> I'm afraid. Listen, here's what I'm afraid of, Lee, is that you guys are going to do way better than me pretending you're reading. 
on you know on the requiem for a dream kick and i'm like not going to be able to like perform right so i'm going to have to actually go find opiates chaos aren't you used to not performing i am used to not performing but the, she keeps getting fucking pregnant <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> anyway Amazing. so when is this happening so ours is tuesday when are you oh, guys getting together ours it's just gonna be like a, it's oh, gonna be like an edited I'm, video it is what ephemeral is it? it will happen soon ish yeah yeah okay it's, so, it's at the ig stage whoever the fuck is still watching slash re-watching this fuck you you're crazy um <laughs> tuesday uh February Tuesday from now, um, I'll be on whack and then chaos soon after, because I'm going to put a time limit on you. I will keep promoting this until it happens. Chaos will be on whack. Something to do with Requiem for a Dream. So sorry, fellas. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> We're also okay. doing on Tuesday. We're also doing a 400 subscriber giveaway. Woo! I'm Ooh, giving I away. Be there for that? Yeah, man. Hell yeah! Giving away this uh, Department of Truth. That's a Sean hot cover. Signed. Are you gonna sign it? It's already signed. It's signed no, by Sean Buca. But are you going to sign it? I could sign yeah. it if you. Really I want. saw a really good rack, whack comic uh, tip. That signing your own comics is a really good way to get a signed comic. <laughs> it is. It is. So, uh, Remy Q Studios is also giving away a slab for us as well. This comes out. I think it's the Venom oh, yeah, Mary Jane variant. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, There's yeah, only yeah. like 17 of those, so that's cool. Yeah, so yeah, come in if you just there's a video if you comment on the video you'll get an entry, but if you come into the live stream you'll get an entry as well. So awesome. Come in, so come do and that. hang out. So check out the wax stuff and uh make sure that you Yeah, look at that. Uh make sure you check out um Tuesday when I am on and uh the future when chaos is talking about a movie you don't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, All right. Thanks. thanks for having me on. Bye, Wag. Later, Bye, Lee. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay, my uh, favorite Star Trek characters are uh, Cisco, number one. Yep. Uh, Harry Mudd. Odo. Fuck that guy. Odo. Uh, fuck. Harry Mudd oh, didn't get Odo. good. Odo? Do you used to fucking say Odo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's my, the only cop I like. Um, Harry Mudd didn't get good till Discovery. Yeah, that's Harry Mudd. I'm just, I'm that just was... busting on you. Oh, okay. oh, that was you, I'm Steve. Like... Yeah, it, I didn't the know. later it gets, the more you sound like Todd. <laughs> hey. This is Todd. <laughs> Dad, this is how I talk. <laughs> no, it's not Odo. Dad, it's Todd. So it's Cisco, Dax. Odo, and who else? Dax. Dax. Okay. Cisco, Odo, Dax. Dax. Holy shit, that's a Guardians of the Galaxy character. And number no, just I, I could change it. I'm just kidding because it's Drax. Yeah. And just... uh and Jedzia. Or no, that's safe. And that's data. not right. <laughs> and data. Uh, data. Thank you. If you didn't say data, I was gonna I was gonna right wonder. there. Yeah, it's hard. I might change these after I hear your guys. Um data is number one for me easily. It's it's all day data. Um yeah. uh, Spock. Just because of no, it, but it's literally just because of everything that's come after Spock. It's not even Spock the character. It's because of what's been given. Because Spock of Spock, the influence. Spock yes, the influence. Spock yeah, okay. the influence is number two. Um, fuck number three. Have you ever heard Leonard Nimoy's music? I have not. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Oh, he sings um, um, the Ballad of Bilbo Baggins. And then, um, what's the Ferengi's name in DS9? Oh, I hate Quark. Quark, uh, Quark there it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, I can't say I can't say that. Oh, forget the new the new Star Trek. I haven't watched season three yet. But I could <clears throat> I could never say that I watched every Star Trek 
episode, you know, through Voyager, because yeah. towards the end of Deep Space Nine, I couldn't bring myself to watch one of the fucking Ferengi episodes. <laughs> I was so pissed because you know they, you, you know, when Deep Space much. Nine was great, it was great, but it was before like TV shows really became serial. No, so they were they were knee deep in the fucking in the war with the founders. Yeah. And like in between like these crazy episodes, they're like, oh, we need a stupid ass fucking Ferengi comedy episode. Yeah, by the way, we need to lighten this up a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So one of the episodes, I can't remember which one, one of the episodes I just went, I just went, fuck it, I'm skipping this shit. I don't want to, I don't want to see you go to Ferengnar and dress like a female, Fer whatever it was. <clears throat> and so I can never say that I watched every, I can never say I watched every Star Trek episode because of that. How, have you read? Have you watched Discovery? I, I've watched the first two seasons. I haven't seen okay. the, this new season yet. No, that's fine. But no, you've watched Discovery. It's it's the first season since I I am an unapologetic lover of of Enterprise. Love I, it. Me too. I love, love Enterprise. Yeah. I it's amazing, and it, it it's one of those things where I'm like, people gave discovery a lot of props in the very beginning and then started to be like oh and it started being cool to shit on discovery for a little bit yeah i thought I, everyone shit on it yeah no yeah the first like couple people were like maybe cool uh, let's do it hmm. i really like discovery i think it's really great i i think it's star trek if you don't like discovery i don't think you're that big of a star trek fan because it's very star trekian is uh, it is I mean I like Discovery because it's sort of not, but I guess the, but, the only no, the only but it's Star Trek for twenty what what, what the fuck year did it come out twenty twenty nineteen it yeah, was yeah. it was Star Trek for the year that it came out we weren't going to get the next generation think, that will yeah, never yeah. happen again I think that's reasonable because a lot of people couldn't see that though no the one the, all, what, like, what I was a little bit of dis Star Trek. What I was a little bit disappointed in was Picard. Like that should have been awesome. That and should have in been. The, in, I still liked it, but in the middle, like I was like, I got a little bored. I started thinking about watching something else. You know, um, it should have been. That should have been, you know, easily the best thing. <laughs> Hi Mo. Hey dude. Hey Mo. You want to come on and uh, hang out because Mo. And the fuck is he doing up? You got kids, I dude. Right? I do too, but she's with the mom right now. Um, you want to come talk uh, Star Trek slash comics? You should come. No, on. Mo, me and Mo want to talk about WandaVision. Oh my god. Let's. Can we talk spoilers on here? Who, 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 who has seen it? Who's, who has seen I it? Haven't watched it? I am going to jump off. I am Spoiler. caught up. I'm jumping off. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys uh, have a good night. No, wait. Whoa. Hey, Star Trek. What's up? Characters. Just dip them and then run away. Yeah, Star Trek okay. and close the window. We'll go. Um, Dangar. Jordy LaForge. <laughs> no. no. That's Star oh, Wars. I was so we'll in. Go I love, I love Jordy. <laughs> yeah. We'll go Jordy and we'll go Riker. Awesome. Oh, oh he, like he can mount a chair better than anybody in the world. Yeah. Todd could have been that, that actor that plays Riker could play Todd in the That's movie. A, that that if someone would movie. have put I I'd be all down. Jonathan Frank's won. down, you guys would have won it? <laughs> yes, they would have won. Uh, I'd have been like, fuck, oh my god. <laughs> we'll go um with Tuvok. I really like Tuvok. Oh, oh, said I respect Tuvok. Yeah, I respect yeah, that's that. Great. No, I those, those, are, those me. are great answers. Good job. Yeah, Steve. Steve, you're surprising me with both your star X. Yep, you picks. got me. You're Thank you. All set. You you definitely clear. <laughs> what about you, Andrew? Thanks for oh yeah. Thanks for letting Bye, me. Uh, thanks, thanks for letting me go. Yeah, thanks. You guys have so a good night. I, you too. I have Bye. Very little Star Trek like knowledge. Oh, even better. Yeah, um, I like the dude from the Reading Rainbow. Journey of the Forge, perfect. There you go, the bald okay. guy. Great. The bald guy. He's blind. He yeah. has to have a thing to see. Perfect. Then you um, like the bald guy. Yeah, bald guy's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's all TNG. It's Data. 
you're majority about, uh, and Picard. <laughs> it's all professor, said. <laughs> professor X, right? Yes, Professor X. Yes, <laughs> Patrick Stewart. There you go. Picard. Yeah. Um. So we got. Le- let's go with Leonard Nimoy. There you go. That is. That, I mean, honestly, those are three picks where I'm like, all right, you're not a hardcore fan. But Look, Nick's coming that. back. Hey, yeah, no. Nick's coming back. Oh, you can just sign language, dudes. <laughs> you can talk really, really. Quiet. You can just text while you're weirdly on. But yeah, no. Yeah. Really, how's it going? That's Maybe. why I learned ASL in case I need to be quiet while I stream. <laughs> I learned uh, English standard language. No one understands being American. No, no one's going to know that. <laughs> British standard same language. Yeah, no, yeah, um, yeah you fucked up. <laughs> okay, so WandaVision, and then I got to get off. I hear Is, you guys. You watched it, right, Andrew? Or you don't care? Ah, I don't care. Oh, okay. Oh, even Perfect. better. Did, did you watch even the – do you watch any I, Avengers I, I, or the X-Men movies? Do you watch the X-Men? All of it. Other than WandaVision. Okay. Oh, okay. You're you, you watch the X-Men movies. Yeah. Which one? Okay. So at the end, I'm just going to say it. So at the end of WandaVision for Scarlet oh, Witch. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Anybody who might mildly be watching, these are WandaVision spoilers. Super spoilers. Beware. The Russo brothers. We are treading into hardcore spoiler territory if yeah. you're still on still watching if you're replaying this fuck off leave <laughs> good night okay. thanks for getting wrapped up with us this is the end the last five minutes of the stream is going to be wandavision spoilers super spoilers so at the end andrew at the, since you don't care at the end of this last episode so you know how like quicksilver dies in in avengers 2 <laughs> yeah Hey, Dad. <laughs> your mom told you to go to bed. <laughs> He's in your room. So, so at the end of this episode, Andrew, Quicksilver shows up again, but it's the one from the X Men movies. It's the actor that plays him in the X Men movies. That's so good. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. Sad. So it's so well, good. It's multiverse shit just happened at the end of it. So you should probably go watch Wandavision now. You I ruined gotta that. Gotta go for you. watch it. Yeah, I ruined that ending for you, but so instead of but that so should there's be a whole thing to be like oh there's the whole thing in the in the in that episode too where Wanda they're trying to get Wanda to bring a dog back to life yeah. and she that's like her line apparently is to bring someone back alive and then at the end of it she brings back she brings back what is that clowns oh no it's just bring, blown minds it's blown minds yeah so at the end <laughs> of it you realize you realize it's Pietro. And then when they show his face, it's the one from it's the one from the Fox movies. It's the it's Evan. What's his name? Evan Thomas. Evan. Tanner? Yeah, it's the like creepy that. guy from American Horror Story. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, oh that's, that's the that's the that hook the at this best end of this last because one. I hated MCU Pietro. I was like, fuck well, you. You're like not Pietro. Fine. No, but like I hated but, him because of how much I loved. Sony version PHO. Exactly. Or Fox. Fox, Fox version. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just the like, only good thing about those movies was him. Was that quick yeah. Yeah. And I just like I want him and then like they bring him out like <gasps> let's fucking go. Like it's time. Like oh yeah. shit. So so Andrew, we gave you the biggest spoiler, but there's all a bunch of other cool oh, ass shit so that's going on there. Things. Yeah, I'm so it's sure. worth watching still. Absolutely. Yeah, Dude, yeah. check it out. Oh my god, it's fucking amazing. Um Andrew, before you go, top three Deadpool movies. I'm just kidding. Top three Deadpool movies. Yes. Green well, Green Lantern's number one for me. Green Lantern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you for being here, Andrew. Uh, Todd's got to get. Hey, Todd's got to get some sleep. He's got to. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I, I'm. Wait, I'm Todd, you need head. to. You need to Uber head. from. You need to Uber from the <laughs> attic to your fucking bed. From get my Uber, office don't go. to yeah. yeah to sleeping yeah to your bed. Oh shit! Uh, dude's talking comics. Also says Green Lantern. <laughs>
<laughs> Number one Green Lantern. He also said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the worst Green Lantern. Ooh, Evan well, Pete Whack is hard. still on, but that's because it's the evening for Whack. He's awake. I know, right? He's just like <laughs> I'm, he's hard eating hard like here. chicken breast. And anyway, yeah. it's that time. All right. So good night, everybody. Thanks for getting wrapped up with us. I am. I'm Todd. I'm, I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm Andrew. Yeah, and this has been Comic Burrito. A live stream. Thanks for getting wrapped up with us. Bye. Yeah.